Hello everyone, and welcome to the next installment of The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. I am Aram. A I'm Domino's going... presentation. Yes, 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 a Domino's presentation. Um, I am Aram, and I'm planning to be playing this game, and I'm here with Austin, Jello, and Mo. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. So yeah. uh, this week, what are you what are you getting from Domino's for nine? Oh, I'm getting a I'm, ge I'm getting a crunchy thin crust uh, pizza with uh, extra pepperoni and extra robust tomato inspired sauce. Uh, tomato inspired sauce. That is what the that is based, what it is called. Based on a true what? tomato. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, and are you taking advantage of any of Domino's uh, exceptional deals? Yeah. Uh, every day is a deal at Domino's. Are you going to perhaps splurge on a chocolate lava cake? No. But I should. <laughs> and so should you. The answer is no, but I acknowledge my folly. So what is this game? This is the technically fourth or fifth, whatever. It's a game in a series that in Japan is known as the Kiseki series. And in English, the game, it's usually called the Trails series. All the game titles are localized to use the word, uh, the word trails. Previously on this channel here, Surprise Round RPG, we streamed two games, Trails in the Sky, first chapter and second chapter, that are most of the Trails in the Sky saga, which is pretty much the first story arc in this larger series. We're skipping the third somewhat optional, not that essential installment in that series. We're coming to this one. So it is a JRPG. It has fairly distinct mechanics. So these games, these games are interesting. So this game, Trails from Zero, has a sequel known in English as Trails to Azure. And the, the two of them together make up a duology that is set in a city called Crossbell. Crossbell, unlike most JRPG settings, is a somewhat modern city. It's got a very Roaring Twenties vibe. Unlike most JRPGs, here our main opposition is going to be straight up the Mafia. It's a really unique setting and a pretty interesting story. You, you jolted right awake. Just like my text box. <laughs> you looked like you were having a nightmare. Are you feeling okay? Oh, oh, oh no, I'm fine. Just a little sleep deprived. That's all. I had the strangest dream, though. <laughs> a dream, huh? It wasn't a dream. Were you perhaps being swarmed by hordes of sexy ladies? I'm just a stranger on a train. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Who would say that to someone? Okay. No, I. This can't is my say wife it. here. We're, a, we're an open couple if you're interested. So, where are we going to live, Grandpa? Zephyr. What? <laughs> Zephyr's. Oh, you can't just. You can't just say some weird shit about me having sex dreams on a train and not take consequences for your actions. <laughs> I live you with you now. <laughs> Zephyr Zers asks, do we get sewer water in this game? Oh, do we? There's, oh, there's a lot of sewer in this game and plenty of water in it. Let's go home, son. This reminds me of like a Sonic game, actually. Yeah, it's like, it's got like a little bit of the Sonic Adventure City vibes. Sega feel to it. Are we actually going to live together? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Great! Let me carry your luggage home at the very least to our Steel. home. Steel. Oh it. no, we could never ask you to do that. The last thing we want is for you to be late to your first day of work. It'd be even worse She's if right. I was late to my first day of dinner. <laughs> She's at right. Your house. <laughs> no matter what you do, first impressions last. Remember that, grandson. Okay, I give up. You make a good point. Kiss. I'll, I'll see you later. Yes. Ah, that reminds me. Seeing as you just returned, do you have a place to stay? We're so yeah, lonely. just got one. Hmm. If, if you don't, I can introduce you to the inn over on East Street. Lovely place. We live there. I appreciate the offer, <laughs> but I already have accommodations set up. My things have probably <laughs> arrived there by now, too. 
What? Oh, you don't say. Well, the two of us live near the end of East Street. Feel free I to know. drop by in case you need anything. <laughs> We'd be more than happy to lend you a hand. Oh, I'm, I'm sure glad you... it took us all of two minutes to find our first elongated. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'll remember that. Once I've settled in to your I'll house, sure I'll make sure to stop by for breakfast from my room in your house. Of course. Take care, lad. Hope to see you soon, dear. Don't be late you... for dinner. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was my stuff I just gave you. <laughs> the Crossbell Police Department. Definitely not my first time here. Hard to believe that this is going to be my workplace from here on out. Especially after all those murders I was questioned for. <laughs> well then, enough standing around. I should go introduce myself to the receptionist. My typical M.O. I would befriend an elderly couple and then move into their <laughs> house before slaying them. <laughs> There's an elderly couple that's a, that has moved into my house. I think they have dementia. <laughs> my name is Lloyd Bannings. There's no information in the system about a new recruit coming for assignment today. Yeah, there was also no information about me moving into that old, that old couple's <laughs> house. But that's not going to stop me from that being what happens. Try to get this crit for myself. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> well... Wow, I walk close! Wow! Oh, holy fucking, fuck! Fucking Stan South Park here fucking <laughs> stole our crit. I hope they kill me! <laughs> I'm glad Austin had the same reaction to this kid that I did the first time around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a South Park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I was in the restroom when, when y'all did Unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, I stubbed my toe. You got no bonus points. <laughs> wow! That was a close one! <laughs> you, are you okay? <laughs> I could have handled those monsters myself! Your mic, and you like... you would have tried! Your mic, like, muted you itself. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, corrupted artifact audio in the background. Yeah! <laughs> I'm glad you managed to stay in one piece, too! You'll find my friend in <laughs> one piece! Seriously, you're so slow, man! You could have been Monster Chow if I didn't come save you! If you want to talk, two minutes ago you were this close to getting gobbled up! What the heck is your problem? I remember you being the one talking so much about this Geofront or whatever. You're turning into Marge Simpson. Marge Simpson, <laughs> yeah. But, 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 but I never actually wanted to go inside. Oh, oh all right. Bre Lord, all right. my boy. <laughs> all right, all right. Break it up, you two. No more fighting. Sorry. We took psychological damage from each other, negating the bonus points. <laughs> hmm, I haven't seen you guys around town before. <laughs> You're crazy strong. Are you rookies or something? Huh? Real smooth, kid. But you know, shouldn't you show us some gratitude before anything else? We did just save your hide. Huh, <laughs> fine. Thanks for the save. They weren't even able to hit me once. Enjoy your precious points. You Here, guys I'll throw are them at the ground. Pick them up, you poppers. <laughs> yeah. But hold me, I have to get back to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> are you guys really rookies? Y yeah, we are. Is it that easy to tell? We aren't required to wear uniforms. I'm impressed you noticed. Huh? Uniforms? Um, wait a second. Are you not from the guild? What? By guild, you mean the Bracer Guild, right? No, that's for good guys. We're cops. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you honestly think we'd be talking about the Fisherman's Guild? The are you kidding me? No. You aren't Bracers? <laughs> no, we aren't. We're all new recruits at the Crossbell Police Department. 
Yeah. Oh! You're the freaking police? <laughs> Damn. No way! What in the world would cops be patrolling the geo front? Well, it's sort of an odd situation. While we were on a mission here, we ran into Henry in a, in a ventilation duct. But what's so strange about the police being involved here? You suck! You gotta be pulling my leg! Everyone knows the police are famous for being a bunch of cowards! Screen cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dad's always saying, even though they act all high and mighty, they never actually help anyone stares at the screen. Ryu, don't be Ryu'd. Does it matter <laughs> if they're policemen or not? They're the ones who saved us, after all. Excuse me, it's pronounced rude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that. I just thought that some new recruits from the guild came to save us. That's all. Sounds like people cops have pretty, uh, <laughs> passionate feelings about the cops, huh? Wait, hold sound, up. You sound like a fucking One Piece extra. <laughs> yeah. She -ro 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 -ro. We got a problem here. Huh? <clears throat> Above us! Above! Below! Oh. Ooh! Hope you have some CP left, idiot! <laughs> Feed the children to it while we make our escape. Yeah. Are there really no other alternatives? N no way. Hey, hey, wait. I have to say, I'm disappointed. Self-sacrifice is admirable, but don't be too eager to meet your grave. It's me, but Blue. Boy. Don't be too eager to meet your grave. What the fuck? <laughs> It's me, Brightiest Cass. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Eat arms! That was freaking sweet! You're the best, Arios! Eat his arms! <laughs> Woohoo! This is the greatest day of my life! Thank you for saving us, Arios! But why are you here? Well, I read a report that mentioned two kids were seen entering Central Square's manhole, so I decided to look into it. What you did was incredibly foolish. What would you have done if no one showed up to rescue you? He is bisected, his torso slides off slowly at a diagonal angle. <laughs> I'm sorry! Uh, sorry about that! <laughs> You two are unharmed, so we'll leave it at that. It's late. Let's get you home. Sounds good to me. Wait. What's going on? Oh my god. Hello. Hi. Who is this? Well, 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 Arios. Accomplishing yet another astounding feat, are we? Snap. Snap. Saving these young boys from the jaws of mortal danger. No thanks to our city's sloppy management system. Brilliant. It's the perfect scoop for our next issue. Are we gonna be in the newspaper? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't think this will end well for us if our parents find out we you. We you, my favorite console. Uh, he said no. He said no. <laughs> Please don't make a scene, Grace. While I can't deny the city's shoddy facility management, these two children were in the wrong as well. And I don't appreciate. two guys under that tarp saying, What the fuck? <laughs> And I don't appreciate biased news stories. You have the wrong idea, Arios. I'm just gonna shimmy my, my thing back <laughs> Shimmy my here. text box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm merely living up to my reader's lofty expectations. My oh my. Looks like we have some new contenders entering the ring too. Huh? Who could she be talking about? The first mission of the team that carries the CPD's future on its back, the Shit Squad, the Special Support Section. Alas, these fledglings were unable to complete their mission and had to rely, as per usual, on the power of the Heroic Bracer Guild. Will this budding team, now aware of their utter lack of experience, be able to overcome the trials in store for them? Um, no, it's gonna be the trails in store for us, looks at the camera. Shut up! <laughs> what are you talking about? Now she goes through and looks at her 600 of the same two pictures. 
What just happened? That was just a flashlight. She was just trying to piss us <laughs> yeah. off. Wonder what the others are planning to do. I don't think any of them attended the police academy, but I'm sure they've got their own reasons for joining the force. Maybe talking to them will clear my head. Thank God they were able to move into the old lady's house, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is Randy's room. What's that noise? <laughs> oh, Jello. <laughs> Sounds like he was busy unpacking all of his stuff earlier. You open the and door right and now. You open the door and Randy's just going ham on like a a, a sucker. A <laughs> he's just chur he's churning butter. <laughs> like <laughs> that's one way. He's to got a it. fucking like apron on, like the full <laughs> Amish getup. Yeah. Doesn't sound like there'll be too much desk work, so the job sounds like it's right up my alley. Hell, having my workplace and my home under one roof is how I like it. So, yeah, I'm planning to stick around, see how this shakes out. Gotcha. 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 Got I fucking saw, saw that way of spelling it somewhere else and could not unhear your extremely <laughs> distinct dismissive gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Aram. Aram, you. I'll brew some black tea if you'd like. No, you, you don't need to do all that. From the look of it, you've already made your decision. Oh, regarding my assignment here? No, regarding the tea. Yes. <laughs> How'd you get recruited? Well, they needed a new coffee machine and due to my <laughs> mysterious upbringing. <laughs> In I'm Ouroboros, I was known as the coffee font. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Y you know, the more I learn, the more I feel like we're worlds apart. Hearts broken in two. Do you think? But it's pretty rare for rookies to have already learned earned their detective license, isn't it? You must have your reasons for joining the police too, don't you? Nope! Well, yeah. I'm a directionless burnout. <laughs> Smokes. If you were to ask for my personal opinion, I'd be happier if you decided to stay. You would? After all, we're both newcomers to the force who can strive to improve ourselves. No, but I planned on being a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me take up your time. I think I'll do a bit of self-reflection. In course. this mirror. Any time. Okay, you should go to your room, though, honey. <laughs> Good night, Lloyd. Good night, Lloyd. I live here now. No. You're my Good grandfather. <laughs> Just because I have the hair of an old woman doesn't mean you can. St I take it to mean that you didn't even think about refusing this assignment, huh, Tio? Hmm. No. Uh, what I'm trying to say is. Uh, when I was your age, all I wanted to do was play around with my friends. But you said you were transferred here from the Foundation. You aren't, uh, being forced to work here, right? What? You don't tell me you, you, you actually are? No matter your situation, you shouldn't tolerate being forced to work like this. If you want, I'd be happy to give you a helping hand. No, please calm down. No cause for concern. I am not being coerced into working by the Foundation. Rather, this recent transfer was the result of a selfish request of mine. Huh? I heard there was a kitty here, and I wanted something to match my little kitty head headband. I'm not sure what it is. Jeez, this is no good. All I'm doing is getting nowhere fast. I should consult with Grandma and Grandpa. Maybe some fresh air will do me good. Oh, great. God. <laughs> I wish I had known these two were going to be appearing often. You two. <laughs> We've been looking everywhere for you. <laughs> be safe on your way back, okay? We will. We will. Well, I'll <laughs> see you later. Hello. Goodbye. Mario. Mario. Yeah. Anyway, this is the residential district. It's mostly big mansions, and Ellie is weirdly cagey about it. God, could it be that she's the mayor's daughter or niece or something? Call me Ellie M. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this friendly looking fellow. Oh man, that's horrifying. <laughs> 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 yeah.
Special support section. Have you received my my request to end me? To pop me like a birthday balloon. Pop me like a balloon. A balloon. I will retain. When I explode and become bat bat flavored confetti, will I dream? God, I hope not. <laughs> what the fuck? Pop me! Pop me! <laughs> God. Jello? What the fuck? <laughs> I can visualize it. It's taking place on Grandpa's bed from Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> The bed is I... bowing under his great weight. I know I look like a balloon that can easily be punctured, but I am one giant cyst! It's oh. a nightmare! <laughs> not it, not it totally was. in love with how this bit has developed as it's gone on. <laughs> I'm incentivizing you to end me fast! <laughs> Is your turbo on? It better we be. We have to end him as soon as we, put, we can, Aram. After we five of this it. joke, my bowel movements. Hurry up! Fuck. I'm, uh, I'm trying. Boy, I can't wait to have Jello back in a game with me. I wonder <laughs> what kind of funny bits he'll do. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> We're talking about bat cysts. <laughs> and the sweet embrace of death. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Good work, everyone! Not to be a downer, but that guy was way weaker than the one Ario stuck down. That may be so, but as long as we work together, there's nothing we can overcome. Agreed. Wow, we're all best friends all of a sudden. I love you. Also, oh. I deactivated the lock on the inner door. I deactivated the lock on your heart. Smooch. Oh. oh. That should save us a lot of time, so we should go that way. Have you ever played Skyrim? Hmm. <laughs> gotcha. When did she even do that? Uh, sorry, can you can you read that again, Austin? Gotcha! Thank you. Hey, why don't you babes ditch these losers and come hang out with some real men? I am 14. <laughs> Are you out of your minds? She's 14. This isn't the time to hit on women. And children. <laughs> and children. Why don't, why, don't we <laughs> why don't we rid ourselves of these nuisances first? We can continue our fight after. You okay with that, red plagues? Like, <laughs> like the ten plagues were the test! <laughs> oh <my> God. Ah! <laughs> it's better. <laughs> ah, fine by us. Take him down, boys! Alright, uh, I'm a testament! Oh, yeah, with a testament! These guys look like they're little, little cult boys. That this is an acceptable get up to wear around town in broad daylight for your <laughs> gang fights. It's fucking embarrassing. At least the other guys, like, are just wearing what seem to be track suits, which is normal. To be fair, the, the hooded ones look like track suits, too. They just look like the track suits that you're gonna wear whenever you, you know, put the cyanide in your drink and wait for the aliens to arrive. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I have some I have some issues with these gangs so far, and they all have to do with style. I'm Ooh. a cool boy. <laughs> you guys haven't changed a bit. You friggin' disgust me, dude. Making your men dress up in those <laughs> creepy ass threads. You think you're a cult leader or something? Yes. <laughs> I didn't force anyone to wear these garments. Check out my midriff, by the way. You're not oh, much yeah. better than I. Check out mine! Mm, not bad. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's abs day! <laughs> You're not much better than I am. Look at you, taking your anger out on your subordinates. Is that any way for a leader to act? <laughs> 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 what's with these two? I uh, can't gauge what's happening with their relationship. 
My name's Wazy. Wazy Hemisphere. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind. That's so my is, real name. <laughs> is that what it is in Japanese too? This is yes. in the translation yeah. goof? Nope, that no, is just a straight this up is his name. name. Oh. <laughs> it's like That's the only excuse for how that I, could be his name. But this guy's Re name always reminds me. Like, you can tell this is like Bacano vibes because people have names like this. It's, yeah. it's on the same level as Jacuzzi Splot or my favorite name from the Death Note novels, Backyard Bottom Slash. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, like, uh, hello? Hello, Ryogo Narita? <laughs> Uh, yes, hello. Uh, it's me, the guy with the stepsister kink who writes the Kiseki games. Hi, why are you calling me? Uh, our artist recommended I should I should reach out to you. I cannot think of a character name for one of our gang leaders. Uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of like a, a turn of the century gang vibe, so I figured you'd be great. His name is Wazy Hemisphere. Perfect, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I suppose you could call me the leader of the Testaments. Relax. <laughs> Are you human? Relax. I'm Relax. lazy hemisphere. Yes. So no. <laughs> Why the uncertainty? His mouth that's uh, like on his back says yeah. because it's not on his yeah. face. <laughs> We we make the joke that they look like potato babies, but that guy yes. that guy looks a lot yeah. like a potato baby. <laughs> One of our members was ambushed by the vipers in a nearby alleyway. Uh, <gasps> ambushed. Would you say that it wasn't just a normal everyday fight? How could it have been a normal fight? He took a heavy boat blow to the back of his head and was beaten by a group of guys well after he lost consciousness. The whole thing was one-sided from start to finish. They beat him so bad, he was sent to the hospital. Damn, no mercy at all, huh? So how's the victim doing now? According to the latest report from the hospital, he has yet to regain consciousness. The doctor has finished treating his wounds, but he did suffer a heavy blow to his head. We are currently waiting for any further updates from the hospital. I'm sorry, uh, what, what, what accent is that? Where are you from? Crossbow. Libral. Crossbow. <laughs> Crossbola. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is what happens on a diet of exclusively sewer water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your throat grows too powerful. <laughs> I see. Now I gotcha. If you're not afraid of getting pummeled, how about you just leave the two ladies here instead? <sighs> this constant sexual harassment. She's Don't 14! Don't be sexist, I'm the best party member. Facts. You're pushing your luck. For real blood! You what? I don't know. Isn't that kind of scummy? <laughs> Shut up, you morons! What's the big deal? Just leave them with us for the next two hours while the two of you go on a little walk. Do it, and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> Sound good? You Tell him to fuck off, Lloyd. Actually, I have a better idea. Why don't you get down here and suck my cock? <laughs> Me and you, one-on-one. -on -one. There shouldn't be anything wrong with a friendly scrimmage. Scrimmage if... is such a white bread Lloyd <laughs> word. <laughs> shouldn't be if anything I wrong win. with a little scrim-scrim. If I win, you tell me everything you know about the case. Honest if you win, I have to bring oranges to next week's scrimmage so we can all keep up our vitamin C. <laughs> sure, kid, I'll accept your fight. They call me the Red... Oh, no, never mind. I'm Wald Wales, the Demon Smasher and leader of the Saber Vipers. I was about to give him a dumb nickname anyway. Although, unlike most of the characters with nicknames, you can kind of assume he gave himself this nickname and no one else calls him this. Yeah. <laughs> My showdown with that pretty boy is almost here. So I'll let Cha off the hook this time. <laughs> let Cha, that's a new one. It all happened. 
five nights ago. One of my boys was ambushed by one of those blue bastards. Happened not too far away from Ignis, too. Huh? Did it. Hmm. Well, those cowards claimed that one of their own was attacked by the same way. Of course, that's just something they pulled out of their asses. Us saber vipers like to throw down, but we fight like men. You really think we'd bitch out and jump somebody in the dark? Huh. What were the extent of your followers' injuries? Beat until his bones started to fracture. He's in the hospital now. So it'd be a month or so till he's fully recovered. And unlike the blue bastard, he didn't pass out right after the pummeling started. He took a hell of a worse beating than him, that's for sure. I see. You guys definitely share the testaments of the perps? You said he didn't pass out immediately, right? Can't you can he give us a statement? Mm. Huh? Did he even see the attackers at all? Guess not. But it was definitely those blue bastards. I'd bet my life on it. Black After balls. all. <laughs> oh. <yeah. gasps> After all, he was sniped by one of their rocks. A rock? Are you referring to the stones they launch with their slingshots? Man, yeah. imagine being a gang and using slingshots. Damn right I am. Don't worry, they fire orbal rocks. <laughs> oh, okay, I was worried. I seem to recall you mentioning that you had the missing piece to the puzzle earlier. Isn't it about time you filled us in on it? And what if I told you that I don't wanna? Did you, Let's did you turn forget over the, the table. part where I introduced myself as a bitch? Good luck ever getting us to trust you again, Grace. If Not you only that, do, I'm, Grace, I'm afraid that if you do a weed, I cannot be your friend. <laughs> look, look, Grace, if you do a weed, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, but it'd be the last time we'd ever talk. Because ever. I will be dead having because killed myself. I will be dead. So why the mention of Ravash? Are they involved with the incident? No! Oh, you betcha. You betcha. Anyway, since I'm sure we'll be bumping into each other plenty in the future, I've got a fun little idea for us. Any interest in taking a small test I put together? Here's a tip for you. You can study the contents of the exam over at the public library in the administrative district. It's called Game FAQ. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, I'm testing to see if you'll actually be worth your salt when it comes to helping out the average cross bellin. I'm glad he's southern. This is a fun sassy voice to get to do. Yeah. So anyway, you guys up for the challenge? Kind of a waste on this nobody. <laughs> Now, the first qu- Oh, good, I get to talk! How delightful! This one will be a cute freebie to get you warmed up. What's my name? What's my phone number? What am I doing after work today? <laughs> Sign. As we all know, the Bracer Guild has branches across the continent. But what I really want to know is... Just where in the heck are the main headquarters located? It's in Lamont State, obviously. Y'all Lamont, that's <laughs> right you are! <laughs> Our head- this is a really good fan translation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our headquarters can be found in Lamont State, alongside our biggest investors, the Epstein Foundation. In the event of a serious conflict, HQ can issue a direct order for all bracers to mobilize, which they have uh, never done. <laughs> See. Time for the ninth question. Let's get this shit over with. Oh boy. oh boy! You ever heard of that infamous thief that lives in Arabonia? He's a motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> he steals precious works of art and then sends out these terrible calling cards with riddles on how to retrieve them. Also, his identity is hidden behind a mask. You never know when you're talking to him. <laughs> he could be anyone. Apparently, people thought him as some extremely handsome hero. Sounds more like a hero to me. <laughs> anyway, I got a little off track there. Do you know what name this fella likes to go by? Oh, oh come on. Phantom Thief B. 
I've actually heard of him before. Wasn't his name Phantom Thief, uh, B? Unbelievable! You got it right! Looks like you've done your phone affairs homework and you know a little bit about handsome men. His infamy transcends the confines <laughs> of Erebonia, as people across the continent have heard of his amazing adventures. Are you fans? Nothing is safe from his grasp, either. He's stolen anything ranging from rare paintings in museums to a whole friggin' tank! He got away with it one time when Aram somehow missed the quest because the game was a motherfucker. <laughs> Rumor has it that he was recently running a muck in Liberl. Who knows? Maybe you'll run into him sooner than you think. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely heard rumors. I'd like to avoid him if possible, though. Not possible. <laughs> Damn. It's time for the tenth and final question. Do you tenth. know what your wallet is right now? <laughs> Here, why don't you take this card and figure it out, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> and Aram said this would be a short quest. Good job getting through that. Now get through my boss fight as Phantom DB, honey. Oh, oh thank Idios. It's finally over. Receptionist Michael is great. Can we take him with us? I'm your fifth party member, huh? Hell why don't yes. we take Why don't we take a look at your skull, then? I wonder how well you did. Oh, that seems okay. super necessary. Wowza! A perfect skull. Your knowledge is in line with our junior bracers, at least. Good job. Here's a stall sticker. <laughs> Looks like you've got some potential in you after all, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's relieving to know. Thank you very much. Wait, what'd you say? Relieving, like Jesus taking Christ. a shit. That's relieving to know. Thank you very much. Wow, <laughs> didn't think he'd compliment me straight up. Wait, he called me a piece of shit. Dude, I was clenching my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezed one out the whole way through. I'm glad I can finally take a pre- Oh, Randy. I love it when the game cooperates with us, like... Yeah. Anyway, I've got a cute little treat for the doggy who managed to bark out all of the correct answers. What is my deal? <laughs> oh, that's actually a pretty good reward. That's a good reward. Oh, wow. Are you sure we can have this? Yep. I didn't think you said a snowball's chance in Gehenna of doing so well, so think of this as an apology for my ignorance. And, oh, what's that? A little, a little, uh, string of phone number uh, right <laughs> on the back of that quartz. Oh my goodness, how did that get there? It's all yours now, sweetie. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Well, take it. <laughs> if you say there so. Nothing at all. Nothing, nothing at all. At all. <laughs> Thanks a lot. This concludes our little game. Phantom Thief B teleports away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all better bust your balls, making sure you don't drag us down, all right? You look positively famished, my good man. Why don't you come into my room for a, a, a spot of some uh, southern hospitality, some lemonade? Your friends can stay out here. I do um, believe I will let's... sit in this bed and I will take a break. I will sit for a spell as it is just hot as the dickens outside. Oh my goodness. This, with me sitting in this bed, I, f I feel like such a bed hog. Lord, why don't you come on down here and balance out some of the weight distribution on the mattress? I Listen, see no Lloyd, problem with that. Do. <laughs> do what you have to do, Lloyd. Do it for us, okay? Just know that we're all behind you 100% of the way. I would Wait. love to be one behind you 100% <laughs> of the way. Excellent. Wait a minute, wait a minute, why Why is this super necessary that I do this? Uh, <laughs> he, he doesn't, you know. he doesn't know us, like, we probably won't interact with him too much more in the future. Ellie Woo! just like, heart, heart pupils loudly salivating at the <laughs> idea. I mean, go on, don't let me stop you, please, do not be shy. Wait, Food why is she Ellie? <laughs> <Come> <laughs> All right. That's, that's pretty funny, actually. Let's let's carry on this bit because I like it. I doubt I'd be able to rest easy knowing you kids are getting beaten up by the mafia. So I'll do you a favor and introduce you to a trusty consultant of mine, Jack Daniels. Just what kind of guy is this lawyer? He's yeah, you'll find out when you meet him. <laughs> He's a he's like he really looks like a bear. He's a bear. A Ellie. Oh, does he? <laughs> oh, is that so? Looks over at Lloyd very slowly. 
that sees no reaction. Her eyes slowly move over to Randy. Hmm. I've hmm. <laughs> spoken with him previously about SSS related matters. Looks over at the chief. He, hmm. he, he'd, <laughs> he'd at least let you finish explaining SSS why you're there. If you tell him who you are. SSS in this case stands for special support suck. <laughs> This is the perfect opportunity for a little meet and greet. For a little pop and tickle. <laughs> a little bit of the pop and tickle. Oh, pardon me, I mistook you all for someone else. Welcome to the Grimwood Law Office. How can I help you today? Oh. You're evil. You're, you're evil. Oh, um... No need to hold that's... back. <laughs> Katsui does not draw a face like that and then make them a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> no need to hold back. No, no. If, you, if you have a question, ask away. Then again, Are you evil? <laughs> oh yes. goodness, yes. Who knows? Who can say? <laughs> we're all, we're all, you know, all the. Who knows what darkness lies within the hearts of man? Have a waffle. <laughs> then again, you look, you four look quite young. Do you have questions about loans? Wait Perhaps? a minute. You're a lawyer, and your name is Grimwood, and you look like this. <laughs> Yeah, you're evil. I mean, we shouldn't judge a book by its cut, by its cover. By its cover, glad... <laughs> its title, and the contents within. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you noticed that, Lloyd. I managed to pick up on the evil he's got there attached <laughs> to, his to his hip. His hip. My, sens yeah. my, my sensors detected it immediately. You did live here, yes. That explains why you look so familiar. Wait. I spent a lot of time checking out the kids to see which one I should sell into indentured servitude. <laughs> Bannings? Then you're Guy Bannings' younger brother? Huh? Y yeah, I, I am. You knew my brother then? You knew, you knew his you brother? Knew More than just knew him, we stares wistfully at the Ellie. Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they. Never mind. <laughs> No! Oh, shit. I suppose you're here to discuss something important. Come on in. A you question. can fill me in on the details once we take a seat. Oh, a question unanswered could be anything. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm Ian Grimwood, loner, loner and oyer of this law firm. Oh, thanks for showing us around your law firm. <laughs> I see. I was wondering when I would meet that special support section Sergey was telling me about. I actually read about you in the most recent issue of the Crossbell Times. You certainly showed diligence and spunk right out of the gate, didn't you? Spunk. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Grimwood, what sort of relationship did you have with my brother? Relationship? Mm -hmm. Relationship? Well, the same one you and I <laughs> Yes! Gripping the side, uh, gripping the armrest tighter. Guy used you to hear drop a snap. Mike. Guy, oh, you're cutting off the circulation of my arm! <laughs> Guy used to drop by occasionally to exchange information and other things with me. But as I'm sure you know, he was an incredibly talented detective. I'd wager he helped me far more than I was able to help him. Uh, hold, hold on. <laughs> uh, there's something we're missing here. Guy's not with us anymore. Oh, that's tragic. He was killed in the line of duty. About three years ago now. Oh. That explains why you moved away from the city for a while. My deepest and most sincere condolences. My... Believe my... Me. Deepest condolences. <laughs> My deepest, hardest, thickest condolences. <laughs> My, My throbbing condolences. <laughs> My rapidly, my rapidly pounding condolences. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've conducted my own investigations into that particular incident. Sadly, any leads that may exist eluded me. Uh, I see. Well, let's just forget about his case let's for now. Let's just forget about his case for now. I mean case! 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 <laughs> uh, it's not why we're here. Mr. Grimwood, I've already laid out our pa case to you. <laughs> if you have any information pertaining to Ravash and its activities, please tell us. I've already laid it out for you. Laid, 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 laid. 
What what cha thinking, bud? So, Ravash realizes this and plots to weaken the two gangs, intending to swoop in later and bag the remaining members. Hell, that must be it. Remember, this is still nothing more than a theory. All we've done is bring together the facts and try to make sense of them. Aw, oh, look at you being all modest. Good Come boy. over here, let me give Good you a boy. little chin scratch. You want a treat? You want a treat, starts, Roy? Starts flapping yeah. his foot against the floor <laughs> rapidly. <laughs> oh, you're such a good detective. You know I'm always up for a bit of late night wrestling. I knew it, I knew it. Of course I do. <laughs> Did you just hear the, the barrel say? <laughs> but alas, I am but a mere guest at this rendezvous. What? Zip? <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Did you also need to put a nail in your lower bat? Look, here they come. Whoa. I've already, I've already got a nail in my lower bat. You know that. Oh, you punks again. I'm sorry the punk. To, uh, <laughs> sorry, to keep you, sorry to keep the two of you waiting. Oh, no. It's a pleasure to be here. So, what's this fun anecdote you promised to share with us? I'm not sure if fun is the right word, but you'll at least find it interesting. Ellie's been writing a very compelling novel about the two of you. <laughs> Ready for me it's to start? Lot, Pat. Wazy, I'm postponing our duel. First, I gotta warm up by crushing the smug mugs of those mobsters. Wait, wait, you can't postpone the duel. <clears throat> Such a short temper. Calm down. Acting recklessly will only lead to... You really are a simpleton. <gasps> Say that again. Presses up against him. You simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie just falls off. <laughs> Ellie just grabs onto Lloyd's arm like... <gasps> Ellie, you know, wake purpose. up. You, you missed the part where they started fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shut it already. We don't know what'll happen till we try. Maybe you could survive. But what about your poor little vipers? But <laughs> catch the, what? Oh, I, I read that as catch they the bullets they can with their teeth. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> can they catch the bullets with their teeth? I'm putting a curse on you by speaking in iambic pentameter. <laughs> <laughs> what are we... What do you propose we do then, you bony wise ass? Bone, bone ass, ass, bone ass. ass. Bone <laughs> ass, yeah. You really expect me to just sit here and swallow the shame of having our men hurt like that? Swallow shame, men. <laughs> the light leaves her eyes. <laughs> Like that little anime, like her own a ghost yeah. that looks like her yeah. fell from her mouth. <laughs> of course I don't. Oh? Bees. It's, uh, it's likely just a handful of mafiosos were involved in this particular scheme. I say we give them a crash course in how us guys in the downtown district operate. Please. Come the fine... Come the final exam, they'll realize exactly who they're messing with. Come oh. mess. <laughs> writing. <laughs> I'll require help though, Wald. You what? Hold on, you two. Whoa, this is getting Don't a little stop us. It's getting what intense, are... right? <laughs> what are you planning? If if you do anything to break the public decency laws. <laughs> Oh, relax. You'll be playing the teacher's assistants after all. We're into role play. Uh, what? Oh my god. <gasps> You're cute. Isn't it your responsibility to resolve the conflict brewing in the downtown district? I'd claim that makes it your obligation to properly educate the mafia into leaving everyone down there alone for good. Down there. <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you agree? Why are you standing so Whoa. close to him? What is he talking about? She's just looking back and forth between them. I do not quite understand either. I am 14, 14. and what is this? <laughs> Sounds to me like he's just taking advantage of poor Lloyd. Remember, it was you who bothered to call us out here to share your grand theory. Isn't it only natural to see this case through? 
only natural, only natural. <laughs> Her pencil breaks. I'm Lloyd Bannings. Hey, it's me. Oh, I even put on this temporary tattoo on my arm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> One tiny blue bunny down. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> what a pathetic piece of trash. We don't got time to waste. How about you rough him up a little bit? Just to be sure not to kill him. Business is business. Hope you don't hold a grudge against us. <gasps> As if I'd let you! What? What the hell? I'm a little surprised. I really didn't think we'd get you to fall for the bait this easily. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. Moon transformation. If it were up to me, I'd be cuffing you and taking you down to headquarters already. But I'm not sure how the department would feel about using a sting operation as evidence. So we're gonna kill you. Don't tell me he's... He's a cop? Wasting <laughs> a thing. Not to worry, boys. He's just a special helper. Dude, are you serious? How the hell did they fall for this? Lloyd's prediction was impeccable. <laughs> are you all right, Lloyd? <laughs> Just a little concussed. Oh. Putting that shock, shock absorbing pad under my hood did jack and shit. Oh, <laughs> That's no. a nail bat. I am dying. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm bleeding out of my ears. I'm hemorrhaging right now. Oh, oh no. Lloyd is dead. Damn it. <laughs> God. If the boss finds out that we blew our cover like this. Well then, gentlemen, that raises the question. What will be your next move? Surrender peacefully now, and I may be merciful towards your misdeeds. Or, would you prefer us to hunt you down? That may prove entertaining. <laughs> Chat, are you alright, Lloyd? Yeah, I just took a pretty hard pounding from behind. Ellie falls okay, off Ellie the died. roof. <laughs> <laughs> Cross the line again, and a little birdie told me the braces might come get ya. Get cha. Get cha. Yeah. I'm not gonna read it that way. <laughs> you don't cha. have to, I'll just parenthetically add them. <laughs> okay. What? Huh? Please? Just a little FYI, Arios was strongly considered considering taking over this case. Naturally, being the grand bracer he is, he was totally up to his neck in requests. He figured he'd leave it to your guys' hands this time. I is that true? He's keeping tabs on us, huh? That appears to be the case. I don't know, they did pretty good for like their first fucking week in town. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, hell no! As if we'd ever be moronic enough to make an enemy of Arios McLean. He knows my dad! <laughs> What? <laughs> There's no point staying in this dump any longer. We're out of here. <laughs> Our crusaders ended. Let us withdraw. We're turning yeah. into a fucking. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are they are supposed they to be German? German is the most cr Christian of languages. <laughs> Uh, uh. What an incorrigible group of men. Meh, leave him be. Just a bunch of hot-headed dudes raring for a fight. Nothing you can really do about it. Hot-headed dudes, dudes head. Hot, yeah. hot dudes. Uh, yeah, this is just what is being transcribed <laughs> into her journal. It's illegible. It doesn't make yeah. any fucking sense. She's even like recreating the echo with different sizes of words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is a tome of madness. <laughs> For once, you might be right. No one may behold the Ellie Nomicon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, what are you writing in there, Madness Yowie? <laughs> Didn't work out loud. <laughs> I'll, I'll see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, we've successfully resolved our mission, Suck. and I have resolved this <laughs> chapter of my book. <laughs> Isn't that right, Lloyd? I guess so. Okay, do you want a treat? Chief, 
Is this man your boss? That is correct. He's my direct boss and the chief of the Orbal staff's development team. He specializes in Orbal networks and acts as the head of the Epstein Foundation's Crossbell branch. I suppose you could call him my sensei. Everything appears to be running smoothly at that new division of the CPD. I'm quite relieved to see you doing well. But why don't you ever come by to deliver reports to you? I'm really worried about you. I have a job, sir. That is the official explanation behind your gracious delivery of an orbal staff to the weapon shop for me. You know, now that I think about it, Wendy mentioned that somebody from the Foundation drops by pretty frequently. Well, you see, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for that. Ah, uh, uh, oh, crap. This is bad. Tio is definitely mad at me now. But how can she expect me to leave a child like her to her own devices in a city like this? Crumble mumble! Oh, cringe. Your behavior is sus, Sensei. <laughs> what way could you possibly mean? A mogus! Yeah, wh what does that mean? <laughs> <sighs> like those words. <laughs> the youth's lingo. Please refrain from secretly leaving new equipment for me at different locations. It's embarrassing. I'd rather not participate in a scavenger hunt. <laughs> okay, Tio, I, I understand. I'm terribly sorry, okay? Please don't be upset with me. Just don't send me out to the cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> it's precisely your behavior at times like this that upsets me, Chief. <laughs> I get it, you're right, I get it now. <laughs> uh, aren't you being too harsh, Tio? I'm unable to help it. I'm irritated beyond comprehension. Oh, wow, you did the thing I asked. All right, let me, uh, convert it into shmoney. Shmoney. Oh, okay. That's cool. So they give us some healing items, and we can continue using their, their uh, enhanced rate. You can... Yeah, you can turn in this shmoney at the bank in exchange for real money. The exchange... This what feels is the exchange like a, for me this feels at like, shmoney? This feels like a money laundering scheme. What? No, we're the bank of Crossbell. Why would it's we be... It's a cryptocurrency scam. Yeah. yeah. Shmoney Please is... Give, a, us, <laughs> give us 30 of each NFT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shmoney coin. I invested everything in shmoney. <laughs> now I'm broke. <laughs> now I'm poor. Now I have to go beat up monsters and take pictures of it in order to get these NFTs. <laughs> I should have known shmoney coin was a bust. <laughs> a scam. I mean, really, if when when they name their thing like money coin, you know they're trying too hard. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me something called shmoney was a scam? It was illegitimate. I can't believe that. <laughs> Incoming. Uh. Oh. Huh? Huh? The hell? Joshua! Right. Oh, we get a dual S craft. Wow, amazing. Yeah, it just comes up, miss. On one yeah, of them. Mi Joshua misses. <laughs> Fuck, come on. <laughs> They Come are, on! <laughs> they are incredible. I can't believe he missed when there were three right in front of him. We'd be happy to take it from here since you guys are busy. After all, we wouldn't want you guys to get held up on your own work. Are you sure? Look, we're following in our father's footsteps of jumping in and stealing the credit <laughs> at the last minute. Thank you. We'll take you up on that offer. God, how funny would it be if they jumped in and killed that group of three and was like, oh man, you guys saved us, and then like eight more showed eight up more and showed Cassius, up and Cassius comes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, she's oh, cute. Oh, she is really cute. Oh, no. <laughs> she does have dead mom hair, though. Yeah. Oh, no. Holy crap. Oh, she's so pretty. Is she an angel? Wow, Jesus. <laughs> oh, so Damn. Cute. Good timing. These police officers just arrived. They've come about some investigation. Uh, sorry for visiting all of a sudden. <laughs> I probably should have called first. <gasps> Strangles him. She stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm I'm not into dead brother cucking or like nurse kink, but like I'd say go for it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking shoot your shot, brother. <laughs> well, like I know we were, I know we were joking, and like, oh, it's gonna be awful, but like I didn't know she looked that good. <laughs> <laughs> When a character portrait changes your mind completely. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cassius Bright is the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Cassius Bright looks like. That is that is the True. best moment of anything, not only in these playthroughs, but perhaps on this channel on Twitch. <laughs> It was the pure reaction of someone completely disappointed. Whoa, Cecile, are, are you crying? Oh, yes. I'm on break right now. Don't worry about it, Lloyd. First, we'll head to the second floor of the hospital. Follow me, everyone. Oh. Um, oh, no, another also villain. Also suspicious. <laughs> um, oh, God, look so out. Hmm. Things seem to be progressing well. In fact, if things continue like this, I may even be able to discharge you as soon as tomorrow. Seriously? You aren't pulling my leg? I'm no liar. <laughs> I'm no once... liar. I'm no liar. Or am I? And once you get out of here, prepare yourself. I have a hundred torums worth of work stacked on my desk, waiting for you to tackle it. Uh... Uh... Dr. Gunter, come on! <laughs> uh, way to kick a man while he's down. Hmm. Lacerations, bruises, and a sprain. <laughs> Hardly anything major. Be a man. Besides, oh, mind, he's a good character. You've been resting quite a lot. You must have a surplus of energy, if anything. <laughs> yes, oh yes. I'd say you should be able to work ten times harder than before. Doctor, are you a sadist? Hmm. Always considered myself a masochist, to be quite honest. I like the what? leather. Good <laughs> should we be... <laughs> Should we be hearing this, Doctor? Please, there's a man right over there. We can't. Oh, it's fine. He's got a mustache. Oh? <laughs> Miss Nuez? Jeez, you two. You're going to talk about those sorts of things here, of all places? What if a child heard you? Sorry about that. Uh, my bad. <laughs> you know, just like, okay, hey, guys. You've caught me red-handed. Oh. Do we have visitors? They're officers from the CPD. They wanted to speak to Mr. Litton directly about that incident, actually. Uh... Oh! Hmm, that would make sense now, wouldn't it? I suppose you don't need me here for that, so I'll be on my way. I can make my rounds and all that fun stuff. Thank you, Dr. Gunter. And don't even think about sneaking out to go fishing. <clears throat> oh, I, I would never... Excuse me, then. Do, 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 do. Big Mouth Billy Bass, here I come! <laughs> um, who was that? That was Dr. Gunter, one of our associate professors. Though he's an excellent doctor, his priorities are rather... questionable. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> it's definitely not impossible for this to be the infiltration route, but... Even then, the drop is pretty high. Have we considered the canines were sent by God, so theoretically could have appeared anywhere? Can you imagine your detectives on, like, their second <laughs> yeah. the next, like, I believe the monsters, uh, were dropped there by God. <laughs> Besides, you rock that uniform. Oh, every lady here ain't too bad if I'm being honest with myself. But you, babe, you drive me crazy. Oh, Randy Blush! Ain't too bad! <laughs> Goodness me, I think I'm going red in the face! Is she that old? She looks, uh, I don't know, she looks middle-aged. Uh, hello there, Martha! 
This feels more like the right voice. <laughs> yeah. Don't act all innocent, Missy. Did you remember to take temperatures this afternoon? That was your job, right? Uh... Oh, and this weekend, did you somehow forget that we're overseeing an incredibly complex surgery? Whoopsie Missy, uh... I'm really what sorry, Randy. Al Don't you Alfred ass <laughs> hurt at me. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to reschedule. See you later, everyone. Perhaps you'd like to spend the weekend with me instead. Mm. Sadly, I'm not the angel you're looking for, am I? <laughs> oh, that's not true. Take a look in the mirror. You're beautiful. <laughs> uh, tug in, Lord. You're up. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, Randy. Zero percent of that was productive. Trails from zero percent of that. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry about him, ma'am. Oh, do you want to go on a date with old Nurse Martha? <laughs> Wait a minute, are you? I what? love you. Miss Martha? What's wrong? Are you looking at me? Oh, I knew it! It is you! Tio, right? You must be. Huh? You know Tio? I apologize for not staying in touch. I <laughs> thought it was you. Oh my, look how you've grown! Such a beautiful young lady. I hope disgusting adults aren't making passes at you yet. I uh... hardly recognized you. Hold on, why are you with these police officers? Come on, you, you can do better. Mm, tell me everything, dear. Um, it's complicated. I intended to visit you earlier, but... Unfortunately, police work has kept us quite busy today, so... <laughs> I understand. It's fine, Dio. Next time I'll brew it. <laughs> you want one? <laughs> Oh, they're bad. <laughs> yeah. These are nasty. You want some of Martha's nasty gum? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I go around the beach and pick up old cigarettes. <laughs> That's where they grow, right out of the sand. Next yeah. time, I'll, next time I'll brew us some tea and we can catch up. All right. Perhaps you've met her father before, Arios McLean. Oh, seriously? The Divine Blade of Wind. That guy has a kid? Do you guys know my dad? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you all know my father? We can't get away from it! <laughs> well, I guess you could say that. I was having a hard time falling asleep, so I stayed up reading my braille books. And then, all of a sudden, I heard a scream! Really? Yeah. Why would you need braille books? <laughs> what happened? Lloyd, she's blind. Look at her. Look how she's drawn. What happened what? next? Interesting. Did you tell the CGF that all that too? Mm, I don't switch? talk to cops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, uh, I thought I dreamt the entire thing. Oh, one last thing. When I see you next, make sure to tell me whether you're dating Ellie or Tio, okay? And it better be Ellie, because I saw that driver's license. I'll have to congratulate you on getting your first girlfriend, Hart. I told you, it wasn't like that. I guess Randy would be okay, too. I'm not one to judge. Just touch base with me, okay? I'm not completely unfamiliar with the genre, so I won't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what?! <laughs> And what genre is that exactly? Hey, if it'll make Cecile happy, I don't mind giving it a try. <laughs> I mean... Well, I mind! It's not that bad. I'd love to talk more, but I'll have to excuse myself here. Take care on the way back, everyone. We will. Thank you casually, for everything. Casually, just barely bisexual Randy Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Orlando Bicon. Yes. Oh, I think I'm in love. I'd have a Warm. bit of a preference, but I'm not against Ben. <laughs> Warm, reliable, open-minded, beautiful. <sighs> she seems like an amazing person, Lloyd. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, too. 
We may not be real siblings, but she's family in my eyes. Family in my Wait, eyes. Family. family in my real eyes. Real siblings. <laughs> oh no. Hey, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chio's hypersonic. Chio's hypersonic hearing. She's the one who's hearing all these echo voices. And it's just like, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> What exactly is your relationship with her? Oh, she fucked my dead brother. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little curious, too. I was definitely getting more than the standard siblings <laughs> vibe from you two, but, you know, culturally in this part of the world, that's a little vague. What are you implying? Oh, Boy, you know. You traitor! You've been slamming a babe like her this entire time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, and I wouldn't give to switch bodies with you right now. Slamming Randy? What the fuck? <laughs> you, you, you know that isn't possible. I don't have any genitalia, guys. <laughs> I am like an a never nude Ken doll. I am an anatomically uh, yeah. correct uh, fashion store dummy. <laughs> 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 Actually, I think it's about time we dropped this nonsensical conversation and headed back to Crossbell City. You know how in Flash games where you can dress up characters, if you try to be a horn dog and take off their clothes, they have permanent underwear? I'm like that. I was born with a pair of white boxer briefs just slightly off from my skin tone. <laughs> <laughs> when you pull on them, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> like a horrible skin tag. <laughs> God. It's already I... evening, and we have to put together a report of today's investigation before we go to sleep? We no dug on my skin boxers. That's where my spores come out. <laughs> he dodged the question, and now I have many, many more. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, quite blatantly at that. I curse you, Lloyd. She's totally my type, too. Dude, you can go for her if you want. I don't know what you're whispering about, but I'm sure it's nothing good. I asked the neighbors to invite you over for dinner while I'm away. Every night for two months. There's this old couple. You live with them now, Lloyd. <laughs> You live with them now, Lloyd. You live with them now, Lloyd. I live with them now, me. <laughs> By the way, are you friends with the deputy commander or something? You two did seem quite comfortable with each other. Perhaps too comfortable. Shoots him. <laughs> well, Spy lasers. deputy commander Bales was the one who recommended me here in the first place. What kind of relationship are you hiding from us, boss? What is she, your sister or something? Cry. <laughs> Calm down, she's just an old friend. What is she, your sister? You mean to tell me you've been slamming that hot babe this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Randy, no! Love to hear about that hot sis poo. <laughs> no! <laughs> Whoa. You're all fired. <laughs> Can I have some backstory on Austin's grudge against Trails Monsters? I think they look dumb. Like the like the trails monsters don't look like they fit in the world that is otherwise very well designed and like they they clearly think about a lot of elements in their world and I feel like the the monsters don't both don't look like they belong in this world and then are also just like the biggest afterthought that like just no thought was put into them they're just like yeah here's here's a jellyfish. Uh, this one's jellyfish, but it has spikes on it. Here's a ball with some spikes. Uh, here's... Here's a jelly, but it's not a fish. <laughs> and it's got spikes. Trails Monster sucks. I think you, uh, you had an interesting take at some point during Sky when you pointed out something that I hadn't really thought about before, which is that, um... Unlike almost every other... Uh, unlike almost every other, like, JRPG franchise, Trails doesn't really use classical mythology in its monster designs, no. and so there's a lot, there's a large, like, reference that they just, like, don't do. That they just don't do. And, yeah. you know, that, that to one extent could be considered creative if the things that they were replacing those monsters with didn't suck. 
It just occurred to me. There is a strong chance that monsters have bred inside of here. Bread. Truth be told, <laughs> just Tio's own brain. Bread, waffle, pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Truth be told, I have known about their nest this entire time. I can't stop hearing them. <laughs> it is a little deep. Constantly. <laughs> it is a little deeper inside the apartment. This is gross, by the way. There's still more? You're figuring that out just now? <laughs> That's why you're a bunch of trash tier cops. Damn. Why don't you drag your asses back to the city and patrol something a little safer? We fucking just helped you, you prick. Wait, where are you going? Hold on a minute. Who said you could go in there all by yourself? Well, it seems we can't stop him. Guess he's going to in to pummel the rest of them. Well, considering his ego, I presume he believes that he'll be able to neutralize the rest of the monsters with ease. Which I'm maybe... going to attack them head on. Oh God! Think he'll be fine on his own? Who gives a fuck? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe freakishly strong, but it's too dangerous to handle by himself. Hey, Ellie, Tio. Sorry, but can I leave you two to watch the entrance? What are you gonna do when we're gone? Hmm. Oh, you guys want to go in there alone? That's fine. He's Into a the bit on the grounds. louder. He's a bit on the louder side, so he might startle the monsters. I figure uh, they might try to escape by r running through here. <laughs> again. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, go ahead. You two, you and Randy, just go in there. It's fine. Do you plan to t go inside to save Vald from his own ego? Yeah, something like that, Zip. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> he isn't crying for mommy yet. Should probably get a move on, Lloyd. Don't want to be late to the show. A clam and an ooze? Yeah, all right. <laughs> another another out-of-the-park monster design. Austin. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's more like an onion. Not let it go, in case you're curious. No, I won't. <laughs> another fucking home run there. <laughs> God, how much did they pay the trails guy? I just, I love the. I hope that I hope that motherfucker made his money. I, I love his your back. your wearied resignation. Like you've kind of given up hope, but you haven't given up being bitter about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. Oh, what's this? Is it a, it's a rabbit on a ball? A rabbit on a rock? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's oh look at those beautiful un <laughs> un, un <laughs> alias <laughs> fucking mountain jake wow. there. This wow, is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> look at this. What a, what a fantastic <laughs> view. It's so flat and two dimensional. Oh man, guys. <laughs> Who knew a place so beautiful existed in Crossbell? <laughs> It feels as if I had not been walking at all. I'd imagine mean? with a background like this, it would be more likely I'd just sort of T-pose in midair <laughs> towards the horizon. <laughs> God, like, the individual sky and the individual mountains don't look that bad, but the area between them makes me want to fall. I like those, <laughs> those very pixely hills also as the next layer past the mountains. Your police officers? Funny, I've never seen police wander outside of the city before. Are you patrolling this area now? Not exactly. You see, we didn't come here on an official patrol. Then come back when you've got a warrant, you fucking hogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, we were hoping to ask someone about the local monsters. We finally meet. What? Father, <laughs> I feel as though you have been seeking us. Is there perhaps a message you wish to relay? Sounds bad, bro. Dog oh shit, I don't speak dog. Is that so? Hmm. My hypothesis was essentially correct then. Tio? You can understand it? Leans over to the wolf. I have no idea what you're saying, but if you understand me, keep this going. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. More or less. What is your message? <laughs> He says, grr, wolf, grr. Oh, that means... Uh, no! 
Crap, he's escaping! Sheesh, he's like a friggin' mountain goat! Tio, you have some explaining to do. Um, I didn't realize you could talk to animals? You must what do you say, Tio. The final fragment lies ahead. The rest is in your hands. How did you that? <laughs> that should be it. You know, I only intuited the basics. The final fragment? Indeed, that is as much as I could understand. <laughs> Whether we decide to believe him or not is our decision, though. Well, yeah. Anyway, no questions. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Goes without saying, the final fragment lies ahead. In other words, are we near the last piece of info we need about the attacks? Wait a minute. Let's assume. <laughs> let's assume Tio's interpretation is in fact true. Is it really fine to believe that a wolf that believe that wolf without any supporting evidence? What could it possibly have done to make you think yeah. final fragment? Can you explain that to you? Fair point. Yeah. Just like kind of a little a little shimmy. A little wolf <laughs> shimmy. <laughs> Fair point. He and his friends are the perps behind the attack, yeah? Who gives a hoot if they're intelligent? They're probably trying to throw us for a loop. No, I disagree. Animals can't lie. I'm fairly <laughs> positive that wolf isn't one of our culprits. Still, if, if he isn't responsible for the attacks, we need to adjust our thought process. By the way, I'd like to thank you all for not asking why I can talk to wolves. I, I'm getting to it. There are <laughs> two different groups of wolves acting on their own. Yeah, that's a safe assumption. <laughs> We'll have to go to the wolf's bar to ask no. what the wolf's story is. Great. <laughs> he was just about to go there. But not only that, but he may very well have been a divine wolf, like the one from the legends. And we forgetting something? The rest is in your hands. Kind of pretentious, isn't it? He too good to give us a paw? That may be true, actually. <laughs> I can't with you, Tio! <laughs> I did get the impression he was being condescending. Okay, hey. thank you. What, did he read the newspaper too? <laughs> no, he pees nothing, on the newspaper. Nothing we could do about that. Let's get back on track and put an end to this investigation. Right, I feel like we're on the cusp of making a breakthrough somehow. By the way, Tio! Well, <laughs> Tio, can oh, talk? Mind. I know no, what you're going wrong. to ask. I mean, I didn't mean to keep it a secret from you. My hair? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, now that we've cleared that up, on to the investigation. Yeah. It's all right, Tio. We didn't think you were keeping it a secret on purpose or anything. I'm glad. Even though it's only been a month, I feel I can trust you somehow. Much like that wolf who I can talk to. <laughs> All we can do is ask the mayor about it. Hopefully he gives us leads on the wolves and why the mafia decided to pay him a visit. That's a great line. <laughs> yeah. He can give us line, the, a lead on wolves and why the mafia decided to pay a visit. Hi ho, hi ho, it's home from it's work, we, work go. we go. Hey, I'm drunk. Oh, it's Me fresh. too. Me too. I was afraid of small monsters. Try push ice into the casino, slave away to the. Give me some slag, you have me a cup of drink to eat out of it. Dude, every weekend you go to that casino, bleed yourself dry. Boom, Hauer. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man, I tell you what, you must be their best regular, huh? You, you know how much mirror they milk out of you. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I would have been like, Just you watch us, go over here, rule that next time, win everything back. Ah! Dang, man, you, you don't hear all that, man. That, oh! <laughs> that, that <laughs> old scary the dog, hell? man. No, no way, man, that dang old wolves, scary dog. <laughs> Help. 
Yo, you two, I want to cover your eyes. Check out my new craft. Check out my new S craft. Yeah. Woof. Woof. What the? Dang, dang man, what, what, what was that? A flashbang. These babies are pretty useful against mutts like these, or if you have to escape after losing to some bracers. <laughs> you, you guys. From earlier? Save the talking for later. For now, go take shelter at the inn. Yeah, man. Don't tell me twice just uh, done came, came what from is there. What's going on? Just done came from there, man. I'm gonna go have me another drink. Wolf? You yeah. took real good care of our friends, so it's only natural for us to return the favor, yeah? Looks like you dealt with our warhounds, too. Perfect. We'll have you on your knees begging for mercy. You're resisting arrest? Ha! <laughs> Obviously, you moron. Get ready, cause it's clobbering time! Oh yeah. no, don't say that. <laughs> With the power of this delicious Dasani water, available as a beverage <laughs> when you order from Domino's.com. Here's my reverse flash bomb. <laughs> oh, that's good. Crap, they brought meds? <laughs> you seriously think pros like ourselves wouldn't come prepared? Sick em. Yeah, rip out their throats. Grr. Woof? Uh, here they come. Don't hold back. Sure, you may have caught us off guard, but we still have a trick up our sleeves. Is the trick more dogs? Of more course dogs. The trick is more dogs. Uh, so stupid to believe <laughs> anything other than that. There were more? Oh Same no! Now it's time for Estelle and Joshua to come help us! Or like Arios or something. Oh no! I don't like dogs nearly enough to play with ten of them at the same time. Ha! Huh, how does it feel to have the tables toined? We're gonna pay you back double for making us look like chomps. I'm we gonna clown enjoy... card our, our car full of dogs. <laughs> I'm enjoying to enjoy taking my sweet time torturing you brats. We'll see about that. <clears throat> this doesn't look good, Lloyd. <laughs> Situation yeah, our critical. Our back is against the walls. Man, oh, guess I gotta bust it out. You won't say your prayers <laughs> yet. Let's get this party st uh? started. Huh? What's uh? What's what's going on? Oh look! Oh, it's, it's, it's God Dog. Mm. Boy, I don't like the way it moves when you're fast forwarding. Yeah. <laughs> It is a little Wiggly uncanny. Wounds. Him. The white wolf? Nice, he even brought back up. <laughs> it's Tio's Wh dad. Wh what are you mutts scared for? They're totally outnumbered, so quit cow- uh, quit cowering. Stop hiding your tail between your legs. This is the difference between the real deal and your fakes. No kidding. No way in hell I'd ever put a dog against a wolf. They seem to be angry at the mafiosos for having smeared their good name. Have they come for retribution then? Uh. Give it up. It's over. You're under arrest on the charges of property damage and assault as well as resisting arrest. Wolves came in clutch. And also possession. Of dogs. No, I actually found hard drugs in your car. Shit! <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have drugs in my car. I'm clean. This is bullshit. You want to add another resisting arrest <laughs> to that? <laughs> Lloyd immediately lets the power go to his head. Yeah, <laughs> Lloyd's a totally dirty cop. <laughs> <laughs> think that the Mafia caused uproars all across the state in order to test their warhounds. And just because someone's backing them... Another great sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just because someone's backing them, they underestimated us. How did you... No. Why are you here? Hmm? Is this Wolf our new party oh. member? Tio, you catch any of that? Um, let me see. I am known as Zeit. 
Uh, how is it telling you its name? How, how does this dog? How does this dog growl body language proper nouns? I appreciate you clearing away the false accusations against my brethren and I. Something along those lines. So his name is Zite. Uh, he came to to thank us. Maybe so, but this guy still sounds like a pompous ass. Really? Tio, you can it, stop Tio? pretending to talk to the wolf now. It's not funny anymore, Tio. <laughs> How do I put this? Make no mistake, you four are still young and unreliable. I shall lend you a paw every now and then, out of pure necessity. But only when I feel like it. You'll do what? Help from a wolf. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we back up a minute? <laughs> wolf. Grr. Wolf. There is no need for concern. I let the pack to a subordinate, so they are incapable paws. All right, you can... That's <laughs> not really the issue here. <laughs> cool. Huh. Legendary Divine Wolf, huh? Eh, congrats. You guys just won yourselves one hell of an ally. You're just gonna accept this. Chief, okay. he can't be serious. For the time being, I'll just keep telling myself he's a police dog. But listen, this big guy is your responsibility, not mine. And with that settled, I'm off to bed. What? It's, Wait it's a second, 9 a.m. Just our luck. Is this really okay? I agree with the chief's decision. He will prove to be an invaluable member of the special support section. Besides, his fluffy white tuft of fur is really cute. Yeah, it's incredibly adorable, I guess. Well, I suppose we'll see how this plays out. Might be useful for when we're in a pinch, huh? Huh. <sighs> Maybe you guys are right. If we just leave him like that, he'll look like a stray. Maybe we should get him a collar. It is a wolf, Lloyd. Nobody's going to mistake this for a dog. You dumbasses. <laughs> Does it look like I give a damn about some brats from the CPD? The only ones we need to focus on crushing are the Haywa. Those damn Eastern Quarter pricks think they can waltz in here and take what Ravash owns? W well No, no, Garcia. Uh, there's no need to get so worked up. We'll fight them everywhere. We'll fight them at the halls. We'll fight them in the walls. We'll fight them at the shores. We'll fight them on the doors. I would fight them with a fox. I would fight <laughs> them in a box. <laughs> Done. We may have lost the vital route to the Republic due to their interference the other day. But the way to know is that we have connections with Speaker Hartman. Our stranglehold on Crossville is airtight. We have more pressing concerns, like next month's fast approaching auction. I understand, Don. I don't give a damn how much of a nuisance they are. We absolutely cannot let them interfere with this year's auction. We can ignore the police and the guild. Neither of them can touch us anyway. Ravash must organize and plan so that we don't get caught off guard yet again by he who is goddamned assassin. Understood. Brought to you by Domino's Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Don Marconi. Of course that's what his name is. Why would it be anything else? <laughs> Don Macaroni. Don yeah. Minnows. <laughs> oh, I love you, Crossbell. Information just flows into my open hands. This is how Aram voices G. Oh, hey, it's him. <laughs> a good haul, I'd say. This job was a walk in the park. Proper search of the database was all I needed to fish up that info my client wanted. Since those idiots running the net don't realize how important security is, I can do whatever I want online. <laughs> Life's a breeze. Heart. Um. Tell us, who the fuck is this Chungo? <laughs> oh, look, he's enjoying some Domino's pizza. Yes. Oh, yeah. our sponsor. Yuck, cold <laughs> pizza? I'd rather die. Looks like I'll have to order two fresh, two-topping large pizzas from Domino's using the online coupons available to all shoppers. 
I'll just have to have them deliver it to me at the Geo front. <laughs> you know what they say, information and pizza are both best served hot, and you can get both at Domino's. Who is he talking to? Just himself? <laughs> Let's see. Any farther, and I'll be in a private network. Maybe I should just hack the IBC's main terminal. That should give you some hints on Kitty's identity. Oh, I love my life. Bruh. <laughs> he, he, of course he's talking to himself. Uh, he doesn't have anybody else to talk to. An orb mail. Dear Mr. Yona Sacred, Placing my trust in your skill is a matter I'd like to discuss with you. Whoa, where's the source of this? Definitely coming from a strong terminal somewhere. It's redirected from the Harbor District? AUA Trading. Oh, yeah! Yen, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Things are starting to heat up, aren't they? Just how I like I it. like my pizza like how I from like Domino's. My pizza from Domino's! <laughs> it's me, Laurie Laurie! <laughs> Chapter 2 Golden Sun, Silver Moon. Oh boy, this salad, this salad from Super Smash Bros. Melee is delicious. <laughs> Weird. Speaking of sight, where is he? I uh, don't think I've seen him today. All I know is that he spent all of yesterday on the roof sunbathing. You know, it's great when he chows down on monsters for us, but what does he do to pass the time? As you can tell, he is a very proud wolf. To be honest, I'm surprised he decided to comply with our rules in the first place. I mean, he's registered as a police dog. Can you blame me for wanting to set some ground rules? It's a dog, Lloyd! At, at first I thought the locals would scream when they saw a massive wolf like him out in the public. But who would have thought he'd end up saving a kid from a car wreck? Wow! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> truck lost control of its steering and smashed into the side of a fence. And we wondered what that sound was, but had no idea it was that dangerous. Yeah, good thing Zite was nearby. The car almost slammed into Ryu after he ran outside. Hey, you think Zite would give Arios a run for his money? Yes, and I would bet on Zite every time. So you oh. can now oh. summon Zite? You fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm still baffled that Tio's like, yes, I have gleaned that his name is Zeit. Yeah. Through Based nothing. off of the body language that he is giving me, I can understand his proper nouns. I don't God. think she ever said it was body language based. I don't think she's said anything about it yet. <sighs> oh, Tio. I like to run. She's just fucking with us. She's just making it yeah, up. Yeah, she's just making just, shit up. It's just going real well, and so she's going to keep rolling with it. Yeah. Is this the place? What the fuck? Oh, hell yeah. Anteater doing a handstand? I love this one. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Those definitely appear to be anteaters doing handstands. Well, this doesn't seem like a problem at all. This is like, this is the sort of problem I wish I had. Just, <laughs> you know, close it off and turn it into a zoo. I still can't believe the monsters managed to turn this place into their lair. No kidding. It looked like it's tougher than the stuff you'll find on the roads, too. Those monsters are lucky if they even have distinct limbs, let alone being able to do handstands. Fran was being a little vague, but it looks like we've got a serious request. Let's finish up any unfinished business and head back to the SSS, okay? Roger. Yo, Lloyd. A clan of sexy lady this time? How do you expect me to know that, Randy? No, really. How the fuck do you expect me to know that? You're a fucking disgrace. I don't know anything! I don't know anything about this! God, Randy, you sure are one note! It's always sexy ladies with you! Fuck you, asshole! Fuck you! Fuck you, Randy! Huh, <laughs> this is idiotic. Threat letter. This reads nothing more like a, that, uh, this reads like nothing more than an overblown prank to me. Hey, bada be. Hey, bada be. <laughs> The hell Bada boom, saying, I'm the realest pal. guy in the room. How you doing? <laughs> Your reaction gave the impression that you know something. Eh, uh, bada bing? Bada me? 
<laughs> You're trying to imply something, Missy? Oh, no. Bada, bada boo. Bada bing boo. Nothing no. in that. How phony dare you say letter. that about my mother? <laughs> yeah. Nothing in that phony letter rang any bada bells. <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm that the Don didn't write it at the very bada least. Hey, bada bingle bells. <laughs> you guys are on a fool's errand, huh? No matter what you do, you can't change Crossbell's true nature. Nothing will ever change Crossbell. It's gonna be like this forever. <laughs> we can deduce that while Yin has no ties to Ravash, it is still a name they are familiar with. Is that an appropriate hypothesis? Yeah, something along those lines. It is a, is it a hypothesis worthy of ice cream? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. Well, if that's the case, I think we should consult with someone who's more familiar with Ravosh. Mr. Grimwood comes to mind. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. If we're as close to the truth as we think we are, then it might be a good idea to discuss it with Grace, too. Although... Uh, we give that woman any scrap of meat, and before you know it, she'll be print pining for the whole damn meal. The situation would grow into a colossal scandal for Arkham Seal. I was hoping you'd talk me down from that idea, to be honest. We should try questioning any other people that come to mind as well. Who knows? Maybe someone unexpected will be the key to finding a new lead. Uh, yes, maybe so. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing there, Ellie? <laughs> What's up? Oh, just thinking about getting some ice cream, you know, as a treat. It's nothing. <gasps> Shall we begin gathering information? Ice cremation. Hyperventilating in the background. <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> Investigation? <gasps> <laughs> On a boobies? Booba? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that strange sound is coming is coming from beneath the world's largest manhole cover two inches from us. <laughs> Did someone say manhole? <laughs> it's coming from the trash can. Uh, we're free to visit wherever we'd like, but we'll have to visit the law office at some point. And also get right. some ice because I think Tio is overheating and malfunctioning. Let's do our rounds and visit Mr. Grimwood once we're ready. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know who else we're supposed to talk to, but the guide will know. Do you know, do you think Lloyd Bannings would pull up to a McDonald's, order a coffee, and then drive away? No, I think Lloyd is all the way at the end of the we have food, we at, have home, food at home end of that mm -hmm. triangle. This series never uses ten words when a hundred will do. do. <laughs> Very well then. It all happened when I investigated the fireplace over in Calvart. It has been a long time. <laughs> While walking about, I heard a bizarre urban legend from a local. It involves a legendary... Oh dear. <laughs> oh boy. It involves a uh, legendary... Shang Shu? Shang Shou? Shang Shou, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Referred to as... <laughs> I'm sorry, please be nice to me. <laughs> uh, same as our perp. It certainly is an Eastern name. Luckily, the way we've chosen to romanize Chinese sounds into English isn't stupid or counterintuitive <laughs> at all. What exactly? I, I said that seeing that Tio is talking, not seeing what she was saying because I don't have my glasses on. So here I go. What exactly is a Xiong Shou? Uh, something along the lines of an assassin or killer. Pretty sure that's what they call them in most of the eastern regions. Aren't you well informed? I yep, Shang Shou is a word I just made up I to fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> Way to out yourself as a fucking fool, Randolph. <laughs> I'd say it's somewhat similar to how we customarily call mercenaries Jaegers. You mentioned this was an urban legend. There's more to it, I assume. Aram's personal hell pronounced Chinese words in a Canadian accent. <laughs> yes, well, 
It's said that no one knows for sure whether Yin is real or not. Though supposedly, he's said to wear a mask and shawl of ebony. He's never once allowed someone to see his face. If they say he's got silver hair. The one specific person described it as ash blonde. <laughs> He appears and vanishes with the shadows, never has never let his prey escape his fangs. In other words, he's a phantom. Oh? There's no letters associated with him, are there? A phantom? Pretty silly story if you ask me. I suppose that is why it's called an urban legend, Randy. You fucking fool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> it's cause it's cause we didn't get ice cream and now Tio's crouchy. <laughs> He's cranky. <laughs> However, why would this so-called legendary assassin send a threat letter to Ilya Platier? Oh, he hates creeps. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry about Tio, she's teething. Hey guys. Hi. Why don't we try paying Heyu a visit? Lloyd, this cannot be your only method of investigation. What? Why don't we go door to door throughout Crossbell and accuse every <laughs> single person of being in? It might take a while, but there's no way we'll miss him. I guess. Whoa, man, where the hell did that come from? Think about it like this. If you go door to door, no. <laughs> we know that Heyua is strong enough for Ravash <laughs> to keep an eye on them. To Ravash, Heyu is, is a rival that continues to spread its influence and chip away at their clutch of Crossbell's criminal underworld. Depending on the circumstances, they could prove even more dangerous than Ravash because they're foreign. <laughs> you may be right. Uh... Oh, I'm Tio. I see. This may be, I'm Tio, or am I? No, I'm Tio who didn't get ice cream. I see. <laughs> this, might be, this might be the perfect chance to check whether or not that is true. Hold up, are we sure we're gonna be okay if we suddenly barge in on him? We have no idea what kind of people we're up against, Lloyd. Hmm, actually, I recently met the manager of Heiyue Trading's Crossbell Branch. Seriously? Nope, gotcha. Pranked. Why? <laughs> Yeet! Oh, no. Ah. Allow me to dab on you. We requested an audit of the company to ensure that there were no legal barricades to the business operating in Crossbell. I saw no harm. I pictured him being like out of touch old man who doesn't understand what dab means. Allow me to dab on you, shoots Randy in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, I shall comply with your request. Free of charge, of course. Wouldn't it be great if, if a cop showed up and was like, we need to ask you a few questions about this crime. You could be like, pay up. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like something people in Crossbell would do. Just be like, listen, your Miranda rights, we don't have those here. <laughs> Just fucking pay me. Can't spell hmm. Miranda rights without Mira. Yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> That's a good fucking joke. <laughs> Yin, you say? I only know Zin. <laughs> We're aware that Heiyue's main office is located in the Republic's eastern quarter. I'm sorry, the Republic's what? It you still use the word that... eastern here? Wow, it, now it, go on. It occurred to me that you might actually be familiar with Yin due to that fact, right? Oh, no. oh. you all know each other. <laughs> oh, impressive deduction yeah. that occurred that to you, as did as it? Sarcastic. As sarcastic. As wow, <laughs> good job. <laughs> and to assume that you're implying that I have connections to Yin? No, no, oh no, 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 of course not. But oh, why no? Was that what I was? We haven't found a reliable lead yet. Yet. And no offense, but we left visiting your office as a last resort. That's big of you. None taken. So that's your game, then. You intend to seek any information you can. Listen closely, then. I shall recall a Calvardian legend sure to reveal deeper insight into Yin. Oh, yeah, this is like a, like a, a parable. Yeah, 
Oh, oh yeah, should I should I bow or bang a gong yeah, before yeah, you they, start? They, oh yeah, they love those. Uh, <laughs> we're listening. <laughs> you fucking golden retriever, shut the fuck up! Golden retriever hasn't learned about racism yet. Shockingly, they don't teach you about that in the police academy. Oh, oh you guys need to like. They don't teach you about that in dog school. <laughs> That's what I said. Isn't it just a spooky legend to keep the kiddos under control? He's not a boogeyman. He's an assassin. No, Mr. Orlando. Yin is very real. Why? He might even be in this very room. Well, he's in that boss. He <laughs> <laughs> said boss shakes nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it, starts like that. it starts like bouncing back and forth, moving to the, moving behind the desk. It just lurches that is and a, falls out the window. It is exactly large enough to contain a potato. Bait. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A master of all assassination techniques, a dark martial artist with incredible dexterity and agility. I hear that Yin has a six-pack. I hear that he's <laughs> shredded. No one dares deny his existence. What's the matter? Cat got your chess. I haven't given you the name. I haven't what? given you the name. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let me ask you this one final question. No. Do you like Domino's pizza? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you feel about two medium, two topping pizzas for seven ninety nine available at Domino's? He starts looking around for a camera. <laughs> What's going on? Thank you for your time, cow. We no. appreciate your. Uh, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I uh, forgot. I have to ring the gong while I say it. No, s Jesus Lloyd, Christ! Lloyd, stop uh, it. Oh, you said you. You say Jesus Christ? I figured you'd say like Buddha or Confucius or something. Bo Lloyd. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time, Chow. We appreciate your cooperation. Wow. I am so sorry. <laughs> thank you for your time, Chow. Wow. Oh, it's pronounced wow? No, wow. holy oh, shit. Oh man, that's not what I would have guessed at all. Lloyd. <laughs> you sure you're good, man? <laughs> Uh, I doubt we'd get much more out of him if we stayed any longer. And besides, he already seems more than busy enough. <laughs> so if you'll excuse us. Uh, Lloyd's right. Anytime, my friend. Anytime at all. And if the other three of you would like to show up without Lloyd, that would be fine too. <laughs> uh, one more thing before you leave, Detective Bannings. Oh, right. He does a deep bow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Smacks his head hard on the table's edge and starts Ow! bleeding. <laughs> Come now, don't look so displeased. You hit me. As one of your fans, I can hardly wait to see how you'll resolve this one. I am most certainly looking forward to it. <laughs> Evil! <laughs> Get out of my office, but please take some fortune cookies with you. <laughs> oh, I love these things. Lloyd. Oh. Uh... In the weeks that I have known you, in the months that I have known you, I have never been more embarrassed. What are you talking about? Back there. Oh. We appreciate the hospitality. Fuck. Bows. <sighs> Ellie? You okay? Are you feeling unwell? Uh, just Unwelly. thinking about ice cream. We're doing everything we can, despite the desperate situation we're in. We assess how dangerous each case is, and even if we can't solve the root cause of it, we can at least lessen the impact. So really, wolf attacks from Mafia Wolves ranked low? What are you, what are you dealing oh, yeah. with? <laughs> Handling yin is nothing more than solving one part of a larger puzzle. We've put all of our, we've put, we at the first intel, uh, first, uh, first investigative division have put all of our resources into finding the mysterious assassin known as G. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I guess hypothetically that is something you'll have to worry about for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Goodbye. This isn't my car. At the very least, I can let you handle contacting our Seal. his gun and literally just carjacks <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm a police officer. I'm commandeering your vehicle. Make sure you tell them that their case has been transferred to the first division. <laughs> I'm commandeering your vehicle. Gets in, drives five feet to a used car dealership and sells the car. <laughs> See to it that they're given a proper explanation. <laughs> Detective Dudley is a big dummy dum 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 and he took my wee. <laughs> he took <laughs> <laughs> Just hits hits somebody who's who's walking down that sidewalk. <laughs> what the hell? He said his peace and then peaced out. <laughs> Driving away in his personal vehicle frustrates me even more. Why do I not have a personal vehicle or ice cream? I need of ice cream. <laughs> we'll get you an ice cream truck. Yeah. The idea of them driving around in an ice cream truck like the Scooby gang is yeah. extremely funny. Yeah. <sighs> Listen, Ellie. <laughs> Chat, are you a little piss baby, Lloyd? A tinky dinky piss baby? <laughs> No! No, I'm not a tinky dinky piss baby! Lloyd, remember, if I ever die and leave you with a hot sister-in-law to bang, promise me one thing. You'll never be a tinky dinky piss baby. I promise! I promise! <laughs> you. I don't like the situation we're in either. I don't want it to end this way. <sighs> there has to be something we can do. If you don't want us to give up, then we'll find another way. No, it's it's all right. Okay, I give up. Let's go get ice cream, guys. Yeah, Yay! I just gave up because I wanted ice cream. You're right. I'm I'm sorry, everyone. It. I think we've just had a rough day. Is all. I wanted ice cream. Tia wanted ice cream. All right, let's go. Two ice creams, but uh, four ice creams, please, Mister. Yes. Here you go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait a minute! That's Yin! Get him, gang! Uh, Ellie? Yes? Well, we did spend our entire day running into one jackass after another. Let's go <laughs> report the news to our Seal. We can head back to the SSS and get some ice cream. That plant in the background looks like a monkey with red eyes that's just been looking <laughs> at us the entire time. <laughs> with red eyes. Oh, oh, the one way in the, oh yeah, okay, I see it. <laughs> Understood. That sounds like a reasonable ice cream plan. Sure, fine by me. Yay. Is that okay with you, Ellie? No. Yes, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Mamboy <laughs> Ellie is, is finished. Let's be off to our conceal then. Oh, oh, no. Uh-oh. Water surprise. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, please, oh, please I, don't I, do him as the mayor. I salivated that. more old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a surprise. What a surprise. Okay, yeah, I'll do Christopher. Ooh. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like Mo should do more boys, though. Sure. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Ellie. Ah, uh, hello, Grandfather, Ernest. It's a shame that I haven't seen you recently. You look well. Ain't any good yowling lately? <laughs> <laughs> How is work? Well, uh, I'm still new to everything, so we've made a few missteps along the way. Perfect. Uh, but I assure you, I don't intend to bring any shame upon the McDowell name, which I'm going to say aloud in front of my friends. <laughs> oh, really? I've told you, haven't I? Don't worry yourself with name or pedigree. You'll be worthless no matter what you do. Uh, are, are these your colleagues by chance? <laughs> Uh, yes, yep, uh, they are. Jello adds. <laughs> oh, 
My name is Henry McDowell. It is a pleasure to meet the three of you. Henry McDowell! I must thank you for taking care of my granddaughter. No, sir. I think you're mistaken. Ellie's the one that's always looking after us. Thank you, Lloyd. Oh. Oh. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh... Is that so? Well, what is important is that you're content with your post. Uh, you know, Ellie, it wouldn't hurt to stop by your home once every- what, uh, bleh. Stop by your home every once in a while. My apologies. Oh my god. Uh, I've been hesitant to rely on anyone ever since I became independent. Uh, even so, don't- It's fine. Ernest. I and love that just... Ernest is straight up 100% recolor Vino. <laughs> <laughs> if she wishes to stomp on her grandfather's heart, that uh, is her business. Grandpa, please. Ellie wishes to stand by her decision. <laughs> we must respect that. Listen, dear, continue down the path you've chosen until you're satisfied, and then you can return to the path I have chosen. <laughs> I cannot mix business with personal affairs, but know that I will cooperate with you to the best of my ability. A bitter end. <laughs> I know. Thank you, Gren. <laughs> now then, shall we go, Ernest? I'd like ice cream. <laughs> I have a meeting with the Business Owners Association next, correct? We've been looking at installing a Domino's Pizza. <laughs> yes, sir. It's uh, scheduled for 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? Why, Domino's Pizza could deliver us a pizza by before that time with their extremely quick deliveries. Oh, goodbye. Yes, they could, sir. You. Ain't that a bitchin' right? I knew your family was loaded, Mademoiselle. Uh, I wouldn't really, uh... Wait! <laughs> My lord. Holy oh, smokes, boy. dude, you okay? What seems to be the issue, Lloyd? He said Domino's Pizza, right? <laughs> <laughs> As in... Domino's Pizza? The mayor of Crossbell City? That Domino's Pizza? No. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. I did. You guys are so dumb. I did smell that aromatic crust. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Wow, it's him. Oh my god. Uh, oh dear. Honestly, um, it's a miracle that you hadn't noticed until now. Accurate. So why is something about your surname that bothered me? I think it was oh my because, god. I think it was because you're like Scottish, and I hate the Scots. Oh I couldn't for the life of me figure <laughs> out what it was. <laughs> I debated very briefly on the first day, introducing myself enigmatically as Ellie M. Because that would be <laughs> <Yeah>. stupid. <laughs> so, I know this is pretty silly. The only defense I can offer is Lloyd just got back to the city after several years. Tio also just arrived, and Randy probably doesn't give a fuck about politics. Randy doesn't know how to read, so he's never yeah. seen a newspaper. They, name, they name, said the mayor's name before! My, name, my name's not Reedy, you know? The mayor's was, name must have totally slipped my mind, I guess. Good thing the players are here to back me up. Jeez, and I call myself a detective. Game over. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't particularly mind if you know, I guess. <laughs> my, my, okay, my grandfather's position has nothing to do with me after all. If he oh. did, I wouldn't be working with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we should get back to the task at hand, please. I, 
can't believe it took me this many months to realize you, Lloyd, are bigoted against the Irish. I can't believe this. Well, first of all, I have no problem with the Irish. It's the Scottish that I hate. Those uh, up-jumped picks. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, oh, the other kids and their up-jumped picks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, loved that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I have no, I have no <laughs> winning response to if that. I, if I, <laughs> Ark and Seal puts a little sneak peek of their new show before it's be available to the public. That's correct. This will be my first time performing in one. People from nice the media stand right people... there in the foreground. It's five feet it's away. Yeah, it's I was close. waiting for you to say something. <laughs> I'll return to practice then. Thank you for your help, everyone. Oh gosh, she's gone. We should walk eight feet to the left. Yeah, wow. get some ice. Where to go now? Ready to head uh, back, guys? No. Nothing better to do. <laughs> guys, I feel exhausted, both mentally and physically. You know what can alleviate that? I can relate. No. No, don't fade to black. <laughs> no. Come on. Wait. No. <gasps> can you go up to it? Can you buy ice cream? No, not right now. We can't afford it. No, we Sean. just lost a case. They have yay uh, and villain alley. Gelato's basically ice cream. No, buy some. What? <laughs> Let's exchange for Sepeth. <laughs> he's, liter he's, he's literally Vino. <laughs> it's the same dude. <laughs> oh, uh, thank goodness. I was just starting to wonder if I came to the wrong place. I misread his name as S Security Ernest. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what they call Security him. Security Ernest wants to battle. Ernest? Se Security Ernest, my favorite Metal Gear boss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Liquid Ernest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ernest, did you um come to see me? Oh no. Uh, yes, I did. I had business to attend to at the office, so I decided to stop. Mm. Ellie? What's what's wrong? You don't look too great. You know, you and your grandfather have the same haircut, Ellie, but this guy who seems to almost maybe be related to you doesn't have the same hair color. What's up with that? Oh, he's my stepbrother. Oh! <laughs> <God. laughs> Please tell me that's not what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> I can tell you nothing. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, uh, you've gone to see Ark and Ciel recently? Related to your police work, I take it. Ah, uh, well, sort of. Someone in the troop was asking us for advice, and, um... We went to report what we found, and that's all. Leave, Ernest. Hmm. You know, Ellie, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to come here today or not. But, I know I made the right decision. What a weird thing to say. What are you? What a weird thing to say. What do you mean? <laughs> Allow me to be brutally honest with you. I love you. I know. That's the feeling I'm getting. Ellie, <laughs> I want you to quit the force and return to us. Oh, God. <sighs> uh, quit the force? He wants her to do what? Get through these. I know it was your idea to join this CPD, Ellie. Though I do like that Tio's line was, at least it wasn't a confession of love. <laughs> <laughs> but you have the eyes of a lost land. You look so exhausted. Come back so to that. me, your look, shepherd. Look, people, people just don't appreciate a gentleman these days. 
Oh no! <laughs> you are but a lost little lamb, and I, your guiding shepherd, come back to me, Ellie. Don't be so stuck up, Ellie. Men don't like that very much. <laughs> you <Right>. should <laughs> smile more. Yeah. Guys, I, we gotta get inside. We, I can't be here anymore. I, I, was... I followed you to your work. <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm not afraid of the police, since this is a police station. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Ask yourself, is this really the path you should be walking as an upstanding woman? What are you saying, Ernest? <laughs> Wouldn't you should put down the badge and pick up an apron? God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. I know you understand the current political climate and the despair that comes with it better than anyone. That's uh, he talks like a weirdo. <laughs> and that's likely, and that's likely where your initial urge to join the police originated from. Because oh. I know what you're thinking oh, better oh. than you do. Along with your <laughs> other stranger, more unsavory urges. <laughs> God, I'm like. I, I can just picture myself playing this game and thinking literally nothing of this man of, as of this encounter. But like every, like read aloud, he's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I know. But just try to think about the torment and pain the mayor is going through and how he feels in the current situation. I uh, never meant for a grandfather to... Uh, the anniversary festival draws near with every passing day, and Mayor McDowell- The eclipse is coming soon, little lamb. <laughs> Will you be upon the slating block when it comes? <laughs> coming. <laughs> and Mayor I McDowell- Go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. And after that, it's right back to arguing with the Imperial and Republican factions over the budget. I'm trying to guilt you. And the very next month, he'll be up for re-election. As I'm sure you know, Mayor McDowell has plans to retire, but without a suitable successor, he remains undecided. I'm sure that if you were by his side, he'd feel much more confident. What? Uh, you're trying to... Girl boss, gaslight cakey, oh god. Male I, wife, I, mansplain. I don't remember the third one. <laughs> God, I, I'm sorry, Ellie. You know what? This was perhaps this was uncalled. Yes. However, I can't ignore the issue any longer. As someone who respects Mayor McDowell and is your friend, I cannot stand idle any longer. In your, I'm your friend, Ellie. <laughs> you see, when you're. When you're by my side, it's great, but when you work as a police officer, it makes my dick soft. Return to our <laughs> side. <laughs> it hurts my feelings and makes my dick soft. <laughs> hey, Ernest, not in front of my friends, please. <laughs> I am your friend. I'm your best friend. <laughs> Ernest. I was friends, and I don't get it. I was friends with you long before that Lloyd guy showed up. But I guess that makes sense because he's such a, he's like a cop and I guess he's cool and everything. Are uh, you fucking Lloyd, I you guess slut? It's <laughs> Women only like douches, not nice guys like, like me. <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> this is not, yeah, like I'm with Jello. I 100% didn't read any of this into this character. <laughs> But like, I can't deny that it match. You can you can match this to the dialogue, and it kind of works. <laughs> when you when you open with the one-two punch of "I'm glad I came here today," quit your job, return to my side, lost lamb. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good look, Ernest. Obviously, what path you choose to follow is entirely up to you. But I will wait outside your house every day until you choose what I want. All I want is for you to not regret your decision. Follow what you know to be... Uh, uh, just, um, yeah, give me some time to think about it. Fine. I don't like you anyway. You're fat. <laughs> oh me, everyone. You're I just need a fine. I don't like you anyway. Boy, you must be confident to go out at that weight. 
<laughs> wow, Help you're me. so stuck up. Like, she <laughs> gets inside. Think I liked you, and I thought that we might be more than just friends. God, friend zoned again. Randy, do something. <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes later, she's just sitting inside uncomfortably. Like, takes a shower, gets out, has a like. Um, Ellie, there's a message for you on the computer. Hey, babe, I am sorry. Here's yeah. a dick pic. To make up for it. <laughs> oh Jeez. God, an uncleaned room is in the background. I hate this. I hate men. <laughs> I, I, hate, I men. hate men unless they're into each other. <laughs> I hate I hate men. T- looks at her collection of yaoi. Or do uh, I? I can't give them. I can't. Up. Yeah, I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> She's just like 3D PD. <laughs> Does my obsession with male-on-male erotic fiction come from the fact that I hate the idea of women being approached by men due to my own repressed feelings for this horrible stalker? Oh no! (laughs) I just hit a breakthrough! Excuse me, everyone. Um, uh, I didn't understand anything! (laughs) And so I'm going to retire to my room forever! (laughs) Sure. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. She locked the door. Uh, uh, my apologies. Uh, I know suddenly showing up out of the blue wasn't exactly tactful. It's okay. It sounds like Ellie's situation is more complicated than we thought. What has she told you? Are you dating? As long as you (laughs) stop bothering Mademoiselle. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Seconded. Thank you, T.O. Personally, it feels like you are attempting to take Ellie away from us. Really? Uh, that wasn't my intention. Uh, still? You're aware that she wanted to become a politician for a police officer, right? Yeah, we actually went to high school together. We've known each other for a very long time. <laughs> uh, a politician? Really? You don't say. Our Mademoiselle? That would explain her seemingly boundless knowledge of politics and economics. Stop talking to this guy. As the heir of our current mayor, which is hereditary, I guess. <laughs> 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 a hereditary title passed down. Very weird. It was only natural for her to pursue a career in politics. Her full her- name is Ellie W. McDowell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her years as an exchange student in so many nations should have contributed to her talent for international relations and politics. However, when she returned home last year, she was dead set on joining the CPD, probably so she could be surrounded by chads and helpless. <laughs> I'm sorry, I call you guys reens? <laughs> <laughs> Reens and Elises. <laughs> Man, <laughs> girls always go for the reens of the world. Even if they didn't actually rank up their bond points in CS2, when they made the console swap, they had to assume. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God. <laughs> so many reens in the world. Girl. So many Schwarzers get the girls. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, that's God. how it happened. <laughs> uh, classic us turning this basic two-minute conversation into a 30-minute fucking slot. I was unaware. I did always wonder why like, a fancy lady like yourself was working for the CPD. Would you keep an eye on her until she makes her decision to leave? I, yeah, I need to know if she leaves the city for any reason. <laughs> yeah. Would you keep an eye on her until she decides to leave? I, uh, used to do it myself, but she finally patched that hole in the wall. <laughs> She's too talented, too skilled to simply flounder about like this. Oh, oh goodness. It's already gotten so late. Uh, sorry for taking us up so much of your time, and I'll get out of your hair for now. I'll be around to uh, bother and harass women at a later date. Uh, see ya. I have no interest in your hair. The only hair I like to smell is Ellie's. <laughs> God. I, I call when I go in for a sniff. I call it my smellies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ellie is just like throwing, like just breaking things. Like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> I need to work. <laughs> 
Yes. Today has been full of such sighs. The sighs of ice creams that weren't. <laughs> the ringer we went through today? Hell, I'd say they're warranted. My brain's fried. The opposite of iced. Shut up. Oh, yours and mine both, Randy. I sure could go for some ice cream right now. Yes! Ah, we, we don't have time. Uh, yeah! Let's just report back to the chief and call it a day. <laughs> I want so little. <laughs> So that's where things stand. Oh, you were talking to Ernest? We have like eight warrants out for that guy's arrest. <laughs> the reform that my father failed to achieve and that grandfather is unable to pursue, I'll enforce with a gun. I thought that this new unblemished perspective could finally make it become a reality. Yeah, I'm sure it can. Perhaps, but... In the back of my mind, I know that joining the CPD might have only been an escape. I knew that what happened today was inevitable. He was going to find out where I worked and he was going to say some creepy shit. But still, the reality of things was even colder and crueler and more incel-like than I had imagined. Ugh. And when at, at least we have homoerotic street gangs. Yeah, that, that actually does keep me, like, here. Alive. <laughs> yeah, barely alive. Ugh. When I was confronted with all of it, I was, like, at a loss. Maybe I'm incapable of doing anything on my own app. Oh, no. Maybe I'm just a broken little girl, abandoned by her mother and her father, uh, pursued by a creepy incel, like... My S-Craft is okay. I don't know. <laughs> so what? Your S-Craft's great. It's very <laughs> helpful. Yeah. Sometimes we need healing. <gasps> I'd be happy to have you by my side, Ellie. Oh, oh that's so cute. Lloyd, stop it. <laughs> All of us were a bit of a... Across the street, Ernest crunches his no! face. <laughs> he's by those balloons he's hiding in the in the background. He's dressed like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the lines that sounded like they came out of a teen drama, I, I was a bit surprised. Huh. Ugh. I'm painfully aware of how cheesy they were, okay? Oh, you're aware? But what do you mean by surprise, Sally? Well, because, well, well, talking about how I'm needed and telling me you want me by your side. I thought you were confessing to me. Confess? Oh, you mean all the racist crimes I did? What? <laughs> Whoa! Wait, wait, wait! Hold the phone! That wasn't my intention at all. In case you haven't picked up on it, I reproduce I... asexually through spore dispersal. I'm sorry if I got your hopes up, Ellie. You'd be a great girl to deposit spores in once you're a cadaver, but right what? now it's useless. <laughs> what? What the? F what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Where are we going with this? You'd be a great girl to deposit spores in once you're a cadaver. <laughs> Damn. Uh... <laughs> Okay, oh. No wonder Jay said yes, right, guys? <laughs> Are you implying that I'm not worth confessing to because I take umbrage to that? While alive? Ugh. While alive, specifically. <laughs> you know that's not it, it's just that... Is this a sister-in-law thing? I feel like it is. Oh, oh, come on, you're just teasing me now, aren't you? Yeah. It's just a small dose of payback. For what? Oh, you know, being Lloyd. You should what? be a bit more self-aware, though. Come on. Honestly, I don't know whether to call you a natural smooth talker or an up-and-coming womanizer. You know, if you weren't, like, asexual. Hey, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm asexual. Are yeah. you still talking about me, or did you switch to Randy? Uh, no. Or are you gonna switch to Randy? He takes out Notebook. <laughs> uh, your denseness doesn't help your case any. Denseness? Good grief, Lloyd. Can't believe the words alone. 
get all flustered. Like, ugh, embarrassing. W what'd you say? I missed that. Nothing, Lloyd. Nothing. Hmm. I'm really sorry for leaving the Chief's report all up to you. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Let me open my gills so the sound waves can enter. Oh, oh here, let me bend over and scream into them. <laughs> you come up with a plan about the investigation yet? <laughs> One second, I have to deploy my satellite dish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just look I'm like quite literally a fun guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not yet. Right now, the case hinges on figuring out what Yin hopes to accomplish. Tomorrow, we can ask around and see if we can't find some sort of lead based around that. Mm, that's fine, my bee. Thanks to you, I have a feeling that I'll be sleeping soundly tonight. How about we hold a meeting tomorrow morning after we get our much needed rest? Sounds like a plan. Uh, super funny. If only there was some kind of diversion that would allow us to continue investigating. Let's do a series of arsons. Yeah, I'll make you're a right. Pipe bomb. Let's think for a minute. Who would know about the existence of Yin? I will produce Yin. a pipe bomb. Oh, just pulls it out of her throat. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, nothing came out. Darn, I have to usually make it out of a triglyceride that comes from dairy. Shame <laughs> nobody bought me any. Um, that was passive aggressive. Well, obviously. Hey, you it's wait. It's outright aggressive. Give me ice cream. <laughs> okay, a meeting adjourned. We need to get Tio ice cream. Tio? Randy? You two look completely bewildered. Is there something we're missing? No, it's just... You two seem to be in a much better mood. Oh, you seem to be in a much better mood today, Ellie. You know, I guess so. Did guess you I go out after out. dark and get some ice cream without me? If you do, you won't wake up again. Oh, uh, Tio, you know I would do that. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about yesterday, everyone. I wasn't acting like myself. I needed some time to repress the memories of Ernest. And some ice cream. Oh shit, Tio leaps and across the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't intend to be a burden to the team. I just had to repress a little bit of trauma. You've never been a burden to us, Ellie. Quite the opposite, actually. You help us out all the time. I mean, look at us right now. You're making connections in this case that I'd never be able to make. Like, who's related to who, and and why, and how are babies made, and all okay. that kind of stuff. I guess so, yeah. Mm, something smells fishy, and it ain't just Lloyd's butt spores. <laughs> they don't smell. Lloyd and Ellie. Sitting in a tree. No, stop, guys. Guys, get cut it out. T O ice cream. <laughs> See you guys next week. Y yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jeez, you guys are insane. Me and Ellie together, romantically, and say the odds of that happening are pretty slim. Uh, what was that? I mean, we're kind of incompatible. Everything last night was strictly professional. Maybe if she grew taller after a good rainstorm, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> right, Ellie? Uh... <laughs> What's the matter? Uh... Oh, numb skull. You just signed your death warrant, Lloyd. Hey, Doctor, what are you going to do during the festival? I will bury myself in the ground like a coward. Hmm. <laughs> Quite the question, that. I suppose I could always pack up my tackle box, sit down somewhere, cast my line, and wait for the fish to bite. I don't care too much for the hustle and bustle of the festival. After all, crowds drive the fish away. Is that all you think about? Yes. Why don't you ever look at me during? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now I remember. I I think 
the the cliff notes of this quest is that the doctor like used to be a priest or something, and this guy's like, oh, ever since he he left our spiritual healing house for that heathen doctor's back alley. It's more complex than that, but that's yeah. Now he won't participate in my MLM anymore. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. Gosh, if we have to pad for time, maybe we could go get some sort of confectionery. Yeah, we could get, like, crepes or something. Mm, yeah, yeah. I was thinking something more chilled. Oh. Yeah, I, I, uh, I agree with Tio, actually. We should get, like, a cold soda. <laughs> a tear rolls down her face. <laughs> what's that thing you can combine with a soda to make? A root beer float? What's, what's the other half of the ingredient? I... Um, well, if you have to make it float, you could put the can in, like, an inner tube or something. Probably mm, nitrogen to make it, like, fizzy. Why are you all doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> We're just, we boys, just spend just the rest here. of the time standing God. here. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, man, I'm dying for a snow cone. Tio, you, Tio, you all right? You, you have a really far off look in your eyes. She's like clinging over Ellie, who's too distracted writing her fan fiction. <laughs> hey Ellie, let's go get some shaved ice and bring it back to the friends. Oh, I'll take that at this point. I'm so stupid. Oh, Tio, man, I'm so sorry. I've been, I've, it was right in front of me, and I was just completely oblivious. We do need to check on, check in on Risha to make sure the case is going okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know. I wanted ice cream, but the only cold thing I'm getting is a shoulder. Is a shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, is, is, is this is this Dieter? Uh, no. Oh, it's oh, oh no! no! It's, it's normal man. Ernest, <laughs> 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 she's even stuttering. Hey. God, the game really makes it easy to read this highly uncomfy relationship into this. Ah, fancy meeting you here. Uh, I see you're with your colleagues, so I can only assume you're here for work. Right. Ah, uh, yes. Well, the reason are. for you to be with other men. Ellie. Oh. Oh God, I thought I'd gotten over this yesterday, but it hurts every time. Uh, yeah, we are. Um, there's something we'd like to look into. We don't need your help. Um, are you here to see Dana Croix? Is that how you say Dieter that? Dana Croix. It, it, it's Deep actually just straight up Croix. I hate it, but... I can't believe they pronounce the S. Okay, Croix. Are you here to see Dieter Croix, Ernest? Ah, yes. I went for a consultation regarding how to manage the office's operational things. You know, man work. <laughs> As you know, <laughs> work will uh, become much easier next month, so I'm trying to get a head start. Oh, by the way, Ellie... Have you given my offer some thought? God, it's did been you get a my day. Text? Did you get my text? Uh, yes. Uh, no, I haven't gotten your text. My phone is broken. <laughs> I, I apologize. But, your uh, phone is perfectly functional, Ellie. Here, I'll call it right now to demonstrate. Ellie fucking throws it off the bridge. <laughs> off the bridge. Uh, no, I have not only never had a oh, phone. Oh, no, but there I it goes. It. <laughs> What's a phone? I I. Uh, I apologize, but uh, I'm not ready to resign from the force just yet. I still haven't truly accomplished my goal. What's your goal? And... Right now it's to be chief. Uh, God, and as long as that continues to be the case, I'm only half the woman I could be. As a matter of fact, I'm positive that I'd only be a burden to grandfather with the way I am now. Uh, could you answer this at least? Would you go on a date with me? <laughs> Is the road you've taken the only way for you to achieve your goal? What if it's an illusion? All of your efforts would go to waste. Ah, uh, I don't deny the possibility. However, the knowledge I've gained these last two months has broadened my horizons more than I could have ever hoped. And I feel myself growing stronger as a person with each new obstacle we overcome. Had I followed your advice and immediately became one of Grandfather's secretaries, 
I would have missed out on all these valuable experiences. I've been shot at like six times. It's very exciting. And I'll have to apologize to you once more. I'm, I'm going to continue my work with the SSS as hard as I can until I've reached my full potential. Uh, go, go fuck yourself, Ernest. Seriously. <laughs> oh, friend zoned again. Uh, friend zoned. Yeah, <laughs> you got me. Uh, well, at least you're not as uncertain as you were before. Uh, is that so? Very well. I won't press you any further. How unfortunate. Just when I thought I'd uh, gain a the woman of my life. Hmm. God, I I do not like the fusion of fear approach in Azo and Claire Stanfield. <laughs> <laughs> You've defined my you've defied my expectations, Ellie. Oh, Ernest. You've defined my expectations, woman. <laughs> I now I know all women are whores. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not in front of my friends. I have one small request of you. I would like you to attend the anniversary festival festival's opening ceremony ne- next month. As much as I'd love for your mother to come, we know that won't. What a what a shitty thing to like slide in there. I know. What a jab. He's just nagging her. That's all this is. Your grandfather may become lonely if none of his family members attend. Uh, understood. I'll make sure to be there. Uh, well, Ernest, thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> well, um. I was your teacher at one point, remember? Just wanted to well, throw that, that makes this so <laughs> yeah. much worse. Just wanted to throw that extra creepy dimension on here. Uh, this is trivial compared to that. Oh. Ooh. Oh, would you look at the time? Uh, I didn't mean to take away from all of your duties. I just wanted to pop down here for a second and neg everyone. Uh, if you'll excuse, excuse me, everyone. Uh, also, I'll be leaving Ellie in your care. Hey. Right. <laughs> eyes darting to the side. I know no one's gonna care but me, but the IBC logo is awful. It's pretty oh, bad. Yeah, it's ugly. <laughs> I I hate that I the hate that Ernest was has designed by Monokuma. I hate that <laughs> Ernest has such a like a like a cute design. Yeah, for such a I like I don't <laughs> think he's supposed to read as rancid as we're reading him, but now that I'm like reading his dialogue more closely, I think he actually is supposed to have this undertone. Yeah, he seems some like a jerk. Uh, I get the impression you're on his mind a lot, Ellie. Oh, don't don't <laughs> <Now>? go there. <laughs> also, what was that about Ernest being your teacher? Oh, that. Uh, yeah, he was my tutor when I was a child. Sadly, uh, we haven't talked much since I returned from my studies abroad. <laughs> uh, for- Sadly, we- <laughs> he's like, you're 18 now, right? I don't understand why you wanted to study abroad right. now. Heidi ho, neighborinos. <laughs> it feels like it's been forever since we last met. Did you, did you just talk to that registered sex offender? <gasps> I knew it. <laughs> the news about last month's incidents with those monsters left me speechless. By the way, do you like this mustard look I'm going for or no? Veto? Yay? Nay? Don't you worry, my friends. I know you've been busted in your humps. Much like that guy outside your window. <laughs> Don't tell me. Grace, Grace, please. please. <laughs> but for Ellie's not on the first floor. That means he's there with like a stepladder or something. Like fucking Animal House. <laughs> A noodling guitar, Ellie. <laughs> he won't stop holds, singing Wonderwall. He stands outside holding up a boombox, an orble boombox, boom <laughs> and then they've got like a nine-line exchange about orble boomboxes being a thing. Yeah. As if anyone at this point would be like, "What? How do they have a radio?" Like, I don't know why they keep bothering. There's literally only one answer to that question at any given time. <laughs> and after all... I've taken a great interest in you. <laughs> Little bank humor for you. <laughs> that actually really got me. <laughs> I'm sure you've realized this already, but Crossspell is plagued with a rather unique set of problems. 
And I'm sure Ellie is painfully aware of this as well, as Welly. I believe that the most significant problem we face as a society is that justice has lost all substance. It has become a shadow of its former self. What do you mean, sir? How is that possible? I haven't been paying any attention this entire game. We Hi. just had a conversation about this on the roof. My um, name is Lloyd Bannings. I live in an old people's house. <laughs> say Farewell, everyone. It was a pleasure. Vanishes through the floor. Oh. <laughs> Mo. <laughs> oh man. A tactical retreat, if I have ever seen one. Oh, that oaf. Then could you please lead us to... I wasn't finished talking down to you yet. Oh. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> you there, with the fiery red hair and gaudy outfit. Do you honestly think that is acceptable? A built physique like yours demands to be shown off in a suit. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, but that ain't gonna happen. I'm a bona fide Casanova. I don't need no suits. Don't get me wrong, though. I would never try to seduce Mademoiselle, especially during <laughs> a romantic moonlit night. You know, like my main man Lloyd right here. Oh, here's what? the bus, and here's Lloyd. Excuse me? Oh, no. Randy, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you please stop retelling the story in an intentionally misleading way? I fail to see exactly what he... <laughs> I fail to see what exactly he said was misleading. No! Man, it would be... I would stop betraying you all if you would buy me some fucking ice cream. Besides, you your never asked for ice cream <laughs> even once. <laughs> Besides, your mood has improved dramatically since last night's fateful rendezvous under the stars. I, uh, T Tio, please. Oh come oh, on! God. You're making it worse on purpose, Tio. Don't say that you are. Clear <laughs> <laughs> bell. Put him down. Put him down. Lloyd, wasn't it? Care to elaborate on your friend's little story? Because there's something I'd like to know. What vile, lecherous things have you done to my sweet, innocent Ellie? Ellie, uh, is out of her Wattpad app. <laughs> I haven't done anything to her. Why would I? Um. Ellie, would you please back me up here? <laughs> Lift you up, you say? <laughs> I think I understand the situation now. Shall I show you to the terminal room then? That it's called the terminal that. room because that's where I decide your fates. <laughs> oh, well, please show mercy on them. Uh, I but... won't. Who's there? Man, is that? Yona might be a bad dude, but it does look like he's got great taste in Domino's, in Domino's pizza. pizza. <laughs> I'm hesitant to admit, but I'm guessing we found our hacker. Actually, it looks more like Sabaro. <laughs> what the hell? He really is just a kid, huh? Who are you people? What? That room has to be boiling with those oh servers. Oh my god, yeah. Wait, are you that special support section Yin was yammering about? Yep, nice to meet you. So, Yin is an acquaintance of yours then? Wh what? This can't be happening! Some dumb cops were able to track down a genius like myself? Oh my god. <laughs> you are the same as ever, Yona Sacred. Really? <gasps> That's his name. What a what a what a crossbell name. Yeah. T Tio Plato! What are you doing here? That is my line. You were the one who ran away from the foundation, you know. How did you end up in a dark, stinky, hot place like this? <laughs> Hey, this place Yo. is pretty well lit. You know this kid? <laughs> this is my own Ernest. <laughs> we both worked in the same Epstein Foundation Research Laboratory. Our specialties are two, uh, our specialties are on two opposite ends of the spectrum, so it is not like we know each other that well, thank God. Damn it, I forgot. If you use that stupid system of yours, you probably could trace the orb mail. Ah, oh, man! If I knew Tio freaking Plato was here, I would have been more careful! You didn't even look up the special support section at, uh, in the news when Yin mentioned they'd be trying to track you down, you fucking clown! I'm pretty stupid, to be honest! Careless as always, Yona. 
I like that Tio's just an excuse to be velvet again, but bored velvet. <laughs> you are aware of how much your mischief cost the Foundation, correct? Shut up! I don't want to hear it! Hmm? This dude hurt the Foundation? Yes. At a young age, Yona took special training as a systems engineer at one of the Foundation's research labs. During one of his foul pranks, he managed to ruin an important experiment from which the Foundation suffered heavy losses. Chat, you ran away from the Foundation and left behind your standard-issue robot cat ears. <laughs> <laughs> then, unhappy that the others were rightfully angry with him, he packed up and ran away. Uh, are you serious? Ugh. Mm. For some strange reason, that story doesn't surprise me. Oh, so he's just as big of a brat as he looks, huh? D damn you! Keep talking if it makes you feel better! Tio Plato! You aren't planning on ratting me out to the Foundation, are you? If you do, I'll post all your most embarrassing secrets all over the net! Oh no! Tio likes ice cream. Tio can talk to dogs. That is the end of it. Please, go ahead. To my knowledge, I do not have any particularly embarrassing secrets. Even if there were any, they would be nearly impossible to discover. <laughs> Not to mention that I could easily eradicate them even if you somehow posted them. C curse you! <laughs> yeah, there's only one way to read that in the Trails game. <laughs> <laughs> curse you! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like Teotot's a step ahead of you at every turn, kid. Why in the world are you holed up here? Shut up! I have no obligation to tell you anything! Yona, answer him. <laughs> we managed to trace you to this dump, so you've already lost. Oh, fine. Right After now. graduating from the from the Epstein Foundation, I found a way to turn farts back into breathable oxygen, <laughs> which is how I made this base. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I'm working as an informant in Crossbell State. Informant? Whoa, now, can't say a job like that suits a kid like yourself. Nowadays, being an informant has nothing to do with age. Anyway, I've built up quite a few contacts in Crossbell. I got info from Erebonia, Calvar, Liberal, Remiferia, Le Mans State to Arteria. I am the very model of a modern major general. You name it. <laughs> On top of that, I got some insiders in a ton of international companies and businesses. All thanks to the power and greatness of the Orbal Network. Since security surrounding the net is so weak, all that delicious info is mine for the taking. Unbelievable. That has to be illegal, right? Probably not yet, explicitly. Unfortunately not. Due to the Orbal Network still being in its experimental phase, no laws criminalizing hacking have been made. But I imagine it is only a matter of time. Eh, Crossbell's pretty laid back regarding this kind of stuff. After I got fed up with that foundation lab, I set up shop here as an informant. <laughs> I get tons of regulars and I'm making bank! Good grief. You really think you got the world in the palm of your hand, don't you? Don't cha. So do you think he had someone deliver him a pizza down here? I like Probably, to imagine yeah. he just cooked a DiGiorno's on the server. <laughs> <laughs> then again, you seemed as if you were unaware of my temporary transfer to the police. Some informant you are. <sighs> Give me a break, Plato. It's not like I know every nook and cranny of Crossbell yet. Jeez. Kitty keeps me busy enough as it is. Who's Kitty? Kitty? Ignore that, just thinking out loud. Wait, there's no way! You aren't Kitty, are you? When did you arrive at Crossbell? I do not quite understand the question, but I transferred to Crossbell around two months ago. Oh, that's a relief. Well, to be fair, your hacking style's way different from Kitty's anyway. You must have met Yin more than once then, yeah? Yep, yeah, he's one of my regular customers. Every so often, he stops by to buy... To bye 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 bye, baby, out that door, baby, bye 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 bye. <laughs> <laughs> Though this is the first time he's asked for something as strange as this. So Yen's been here before. Y Lloyd gets down on all fours and begins sniffing around like a bloodhound. Can you give us a description of him? Kinda. He was 
just wears black and covers his face with a mask. Not very helpful, I know. But, from what I understand, he's some crazy assassin from Calvard's Eastern Quarter. How sick is that? Isn't living in a place like this dangerous, Yona? There are monsters wandering about, and don't get me started on your diet. Don't worry about me. I get all the nutrients I need from delicious Domino's pizza. Caught at the juice from delicious recycled farts. I would not say that. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was worried at first, but it's nothing but pizza boxes as far as the eye can see. Our sponsor approves. Are you having someone deliver them all the way down here? <laughs> of course <laughs> not. I'm not stupid. I just have them delivered outside the geo front door. There's a ventilation duct near here that leads right to the entrance, so it works out. See, that's my secret to traveling through here safely. Music note. And there's, and I, since it's already a sewer, I can poop anywhere. <laughs> well, I think Tio has earned it. <gasps> yeah. Yay! What are you gonna get? What you gonna get, Tio? Ice cream. A snow Which gelato. One do you want? I think gelato is closer to ice cream. Buy me ten. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will now... <laughs> you can do whatever you want forever. <laughs> Something up to you? I think so. I think I may be lactose intolerant. Excuse oh. me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> luckily, I, luckily, I grabbed some of Yona's technology. <laughs> I should be able to make a scuba tank. Fire <laughs> oh, oh, God. This... You. this <laughs> Higher elements. <laughs> Higher elements! <laughs> ah, yes. The eighth quartz fart. <laughs> I'm the brown typhoon! Can I do uwu? Can yeah. she you can do uwu? whatever you want. I definitely want you one of the mill monsters, that's for sure. I don't think it's possible for a person to move around in that bulky armor. Someone of my size isn't able to move around in normal clothes either. <laughs> I'm ready for this. I knew it was a bad idea to weave this place unchecked. <laughs> Everyone, we should head further in. I plan to conduct a thorough so investigation. So so <laughs> a thorough investigation in this tower, no matter what. You can count on us, Sergeant Major. Or Sergeant Minor. As it were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm four inches tall. <laughs> Quick, here, get into my pocket. We'll keep on fighting. <laughs> okay. I've been waiting for you. And I see you brought along a fifth wheel as well. Be nice to Don. I'll just see his back on Don and me. Huh. Very well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, special support section. I am known as Yin. Now, I know you must have a multitude of questions for me. But before that, allow me to administer the uh -oh. final test. Of course. T test? What are you planning? A multiple choice. We, yeah, you must answer these ten questions about the lore of this universe oh, in order for to get two BP. That's right, it's me again. <laughs> I've been here the waiting. whole time. With that, I take my leave. I'll be expecting good news. Wait a second. No. Nope. I love you. Fucking see ya. <laughs> Don't move. Don't think you're getting no. away. I think you did. Jeez. Jeez! Everybody supersonic racing. <laughs> is this the cross bell? This is <laughs> one, one of them. <laughs> wow. Looks like it really is a cross bell in the demon <laughs> castle. Stop! <laughs> we finally made it to the top. <laughs> That's a long climb for Tiny Sergeant. <laughs> Where the hell did that bastard run off to? Tio, scan the area. 
What? Roger. Oh, right, I'm magic. What? Did you find him? He turned into a bell. Well, this was an unexpected turn of events. This yet is it someone to be taken whitely. Whitely? <laughs> Is that the cross bell? Is that the cross bell? Yeah! <laughs> Good work, everyone! I wish it could have been more help. Oh, no, well, you, you fucking sped speed down to all the clones. We loved you. Yeah. Story wise, I'm not sure why you're here, though. <laughs> we appreciate it, Sergeant Major. Really? You're very welcome, then. Remember, you can contact the Godsmith at Tangrim Gate if anything ever comes up. I'll give a report of what happened once I return to the Deputy Commander. Perfect. We'd appreciate that. See you later. Wadja! Wadja! <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Just runs over Just that guy. Runs over <laughs> that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next on the agenda. Uh, apparently, there's a rampaging tank that's been driving <laughs> through town lately. Wanting of a balloon stance. We'll be providing security for Arkansas's private performance this weekend, right? Major Seeker, why would you run over the balloon stance? I need the helium to power my voice. <laughs> I can't say balloon. <laughs> it makes me upset. Even Mayor McDowell came to watch the performance. Oh, right. Didn't he say something about being your grandpa, Ellie? <laughs> uh, right. yeah. Grandfather has been my grandfather since my inception. Pretty much. <laughs> this is actually like reasonably impressively choreographed potato babying. <laughs> the potato baby choreographing still to this day looks better than the full 3D models. Do. Yeah, it's it's more impressive just because like, you know, they have to make unique sprites from scratch instead of just, you know, flipping Ike. around a 3D model. Why is Ike here? Oh yeah, it is Ike, isn't it? I'm tired of watching that, but <laughs> The email sent to us seems to have been. It was sent to us from Yin via a stinky 12-year-old in a pizza <laughs> bunker. Um, yeah. As is tradition. You know, this is back in, like, Yin the... Being a stinky 12-year-old in a pizza the, bunker. The internet is very young, and so this is, like, the... This is the in-universe equivalent of, you know, using, like, an AOL.com email address. Is your mail all has to get forwarded by a stinky 12-year-old in a pizza bunker. <laughs> um, but now- I'm uh, sure everyone listening is old enough to remember. Oh, AOL. yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure everyone here is Absolutely. probably, everyone here is probably watching this stream on their AOL browser that they got on their 50 free hours CD in the mail. I'm really glad that MSN allows us to uh, video with each other so we can watch you play this game Yeah. Now. Yeah. I'm glad what? that you we all uh, fucking future. I'm glad that my carrier pigeon reached you all in time to inform you that this stream was occurring. <laughs> Siv and chat. Oh my god, I'm here getting is, a call. Everyone here is watching this stream from their nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pokemon 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, fellas? <laughs> I, Am I right, fellow retirees? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you can watch Pokemon... You can download Pokemon 2000 on Kazaa using your AOL internet <laughs> access? Shall we make another round, Lloyd, for some reason? Definitely. I hope when we go to my grandfather's box, he's not being strangled or murdered anyway. That would be very upsetting. Wow, those two are so in sync on that stage. It's almost like they're yin and yang up there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong here. Oh, bro, can I get Pokemon 2000 on LimeWire? I meant to uh, to address that. You can download Pokemon 2000 on LimeWire, but more specifically, you can download a file titled Pokemon the Movie 2000.mp4, <laughs> uh, but it's actually a virus. Yeah. The audience seems to be eating it up. <laughs> I know I am.
It's rare to see a play this marvelous. It's more or less perfect. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. I look at the fourth wall and keep saying over and over, it's so good. It's amazing. Now, only if it would end without incident. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope so, too. Mo, I... I know you'd never say this is like not the kind of joke you'd ever make on a stream, but I was like so clearly braced for you to say something to the effect of like, it's so good. I'm literally coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blessing. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. Well then. Um... <laughs> we have to resist. I'm sorry, it's simply too compelling. Should we, we? We really need to focus on patrolling. I just can't stop ogling these two beautiful women frolicking about. This is unlike me. This is out of character. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like Dudley is interested in the play after all. Not that it's making him neglect his work. I can hardly blame. I bet there isn't a soul that would be unmoved by one of Ark and Seal's performances. We just really yeah. won't stop sucking their dick, huh? Like, we just can't stop. <laughs> Risha's following them with a gun. It's so good, right, yeah. guys? It's amazing! Nothing suspicious here. Just a great play that everyone is paying utmost attention to. Oh. oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. Why doubles have to pick this spot to patrol? This was a perfect spot to wait for my big scoop, and he is ruining it! He's totally gonna catch me once I start firing off my camera. Grace! Fuck. Uh, isn't this play amazing? Whoa, Lloyd? <laughs> and Ellie, too? What in the world are you guys doing here? Placing you under arrest. Yin! Lloyd? That's supposed to be my line! <laughs> wow, uh, I can't believe I was Yin! What a scoop! <laughs> she just starts, she turns the camera around on herself and takes selfies. The scoop I've been chasing involves a dark rumor about the mayor's secretary. Oh, does it now? <laughs> oh. Um, oh, uh, you mean, uh, you, you mean the one that we probably started? <laughs> oh no, oh no. You can't be serious! I think his name is Ernest. Either way, he's extremely dangerous with a capital D. I agree. He's supposedly been secretly embezzling funds from the mayor's office. That fucking sick. And he, and he is the kicker. He's been covertly scheming with the Imperial Faction Diet members. You think he's trying to off the mayor? Nah, probably too far-fetched. Everyone knows that when I be when you kill the mayor, you get to become the next mayor. He says with a garrot. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. I just had a thought. If um, if grandfather were to be killed under these circumstances, the culprit could easily slip out during all of the commotion, so long as nobody witnesses the crime in action. That's it. That's his plan. What? Whoa, wait up! What are you doing? Here, I have to go before my crazy stalker kills my pat pat. I'll kill the mayor and then marry his granddaughter for the inheritance. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> we're going to pretend it's a fake wedding while actually it's a real wedding. We're going to pretend it's a fake assassination while actually. And I'll. Isn't this the police officer who is watching the box? It is. Oh no. I love the end game of Trails of Cold Steel 3. What the hell are you doing here? What? We'll talk later. Ellie, we're going in. Let's hurry. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit, he has a knife! <laughs> oh. Not so fast, John Will Spoon! That nice. is really funny. Damn! Grandfather? Damn it! He's got a gun! Holy shit, who would have ever thought that this it would have come to this? Who is Dolly? It's me! 
I'm just kind of in love with how we decided to make this guy the villain before he yeah. was. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was very Aaron, funny. I'm, I'm sure Aaron was just sitting there with a, a smile across <laughs> his lip. He just had a little <laughs> glint in his eye. What the hell is this? <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd show up in a place like this? Must be the goddess's idea of a blessing. Ernest, why? Why Why all this? You were always there to support Grandfather, so why? <laughs> we're cut from this- what the- I hate this man. You have no idea how fed up I am with Crossbell sick situation. And in the end, man only pursues true change when obeying the will of one stronger than himself. And that's why I had to act. Shut up! I can't hear the show! <laughs> I know! Like, we're yelling, there's like a knife fight. Yeah. So that's the reason you impersonated Yin and sent the threat letter to Ilya. You made us believe that Yin was behind everything, all while plotting the mayor's assassination from the shadows. Damn it. So that's what's really going on. Have you enjoyed playing this game of yours? <laughs> you may hail from the first division, but in the end, you're just a two-bit detective. Be it Ravash, Heiwe, or even the real Yin if he actually exists. They're nothing more than puppets dancing in the palm of my hand. Okay, slow your roll there, Ernest. Yeah, I I wanna I also wanna call out the uh, the illustrator whose name I always forget for being like, gosh, I have to design another secret twist assassin character, huh? The same design with a different hair color from Bakano <laughs> should be exactly fine. Put, <laughs> put the gun down slowly. You can still get. He was like Quigley, right? You can still get off with attempted murder. Don't take it any further. Don't take it any further? Isn't that my line? The life of this old, naive man, the mayor of Crossbell State? I could end it with one swift pull of this trigger. Please <laughs> stop this. <laughs> Pulling the hostage card, are we? O obviously. <laughs> Surely you don't want our dear Ellie to witness the moment of her gra oh god, the moment her grandfather's brain splatters on the floor, right? She so should leave. This is a man's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, yes, yes, we put that in. Uh, dub team, remember. Uh, so, uh, how about you ingrates line up on the wall there and stay out of my way? Ingrates? I'm having trouble figuring out your plan. Me the moment too. you step out of this theater, there will be nowhere to run. Uh, you're just gonna scream, Ernest? Shut <laughs> it, just do as I say. <laughs> Ernest sucks. Oh. <sighs> Bastard. I guess kidnap my grandfather, it's fine. Good. You have years after all. I do? Now, to hold up my end of the deal. <laughs> Cheez it! What's- Grandfather! So what's... What's your long game plan here, man? <laughs> Where the Why? fuck is he going to go? You won't escape! Yeah, he shouldn't. You've got a lot of cops. Oh, shit. Oh, he's fast. He's fast as fuck. Fuck, he's got two it. dots of celerity. <laughs> you get you get outside the door and Grace has just kicked his ass <laughs> he's on the ground. Yeah. How's he moving so quickly? Aw, oh, shit, he's a vampire! Randy, Tio, brace yourselves. Mayor McDowell's secretary is headed your way. He's our oh, man. God. Take him down. Not that guy. Oh, he's gotcha. the assassin. Okay. We'll get him. Ernest, very well then. We've been Everybody's like very this. excited to beat him up. They're like, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Fuck him up. Fucking get him. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Come on, just kick this. I wonder what we were doing out here. <laughs> yeah, what could it be? <laughs> this man is the true culprit behind the series of unfortunate events. <laughs> Randy, Tio! Oh, thank goodness. You guys managed to catch him. Yeah, it was lights out for him. As soon as I saw him pull out a gun. Good call, planting that gun on him. <laughs> <laughs> I love being cops. That <laughs> aside. Yeah. Why have you joined forces with Four Eyes from the First Division? Whoa. <laughs> Who do you think you're calling Four Eyes? Explain yourselves, now! What is the meaning of all this? I forgot we weren't even supposed to be here. Yeah. yeah. We've even brought back up. What exactly were you planning? Saving well, you see. 
Oh shit. Hi! The <laughs> hell? <laughs> you can still move? Tee hee tee hee tee Haha! As if I could easily. As if I didn't shake it down that Not easily. Secretary <laughs> Ernest! I will be the next mayor! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh. what? I forgot the dog. I forgot this dog was even. Everyone forgets the dog. dog. <laughs> this dog is on the police force, I forgot. <laughs> is, that your, is that your damn mutt? That's your reaction to this? <laughs> a distinguished performance site. Oh, Scream. give me a break. Ruined by a literal glory hound, huh? Oh, I assume Grace. this is Grace, yeah. 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 No, 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 that'll be my job. Oh, da, 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 da. oh what a great shot. A yeah. fucking assassin with a wolf on top of him. <laughs> Where did she come from? I can see the headlines now. You won't believe this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we can never let our guard down. You again. Would it kill you to stay out of police business for once? God, unhand me at once. I'm... I'm, I'll definitely be... This, this dog better this not be female. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the next mayor! I always knew some bitch would be the death of Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course it would be a femoid. It always is. <laughs> that's what that... That's what the pizza box kid calls women. <laughs> yeah. Femoids. <laughs> Femoid? Power down, femoid. I feel like I find it impossible that nobody in the audience heard this kerfuffle. <laughs> They're dancing very loud. Look, this is apparently the best play of all time. And to I, be fair, there's some cool stuff going on. There's some stuff I didn't anticipate. There's a chandelier section. This is nice. I mean, uh, uh, avoid the femoid. <laughs> I will say, I I genuinely was not expecting Ernest to pretend to matter in any capacity. <laughs> I, wasn't I, I figured he might have been like, he might have been like the secret snake cultist that would be like revealing himself next chapter. So or not instead next he's chapter, just, next game. Instead he's, he's just like a fucking loser. He's, he's Gilbert. He's just Gilbert yeah. again. I have to say, I find it very funny that she's holding her grandfather's unconscious body in her arms, but still has the time to say, that was amazing. Yeah, what a play. <laughs> what a play. Wow. Pat, Pat, are you all right? Uh, yeah, this, this fucking hella, bro. <laughs> Grandfather, you were awoken from your coma due to the beauty of this play. Thank God. Yeah, you know, yes, I'm... <clears throat> yes, I'm perfectly fine, Ellie. It's unfortunate what just happened, but I still intend to experience the performance with my own two eyes. It's, it's unfortunate what just happened, which is to say the play is getting close to being over. This is the highlight of my life. I wish I'd been killed after this ended. <laughs> I, I die now. Oh. <laughs> this is my way of paying respect to the wonderful people of Ark and Ciel. Oh, grandfather. You honor us, sir. <laughs> Trying to think about how Mademoiselle is feeling right now. Finally, her stock oh, is in God. jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little relieved, honestly. I mean, her grandpa didn't die. My grandpa didn't die, and someone I genuinely, like, despised is in jail. This is the best outcome, actually. Seriously? Ugh, tomorrow is far too early for you to return to work. It's nothing more than a bruise and a minor sprain. Five days of rest has been more than enough. Worry not, for I have recharged my batteries. Are you reading him as Christopher Lee? Yes! <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> I was gonna say, that's it's that. very Dracula. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, don't take this so lightly, Grandfather. Please think about everything that's happened. You no longer have Ernest, and you could have died. Don't you think you've earned more than five days of rest? You may feel so, but the anniversary festival draws near. Duty calls, so I cannot fall behind. I can't talk like a vampire a little bit. The festival draws near. Draws <laughs> close. Yeah. I must away anon. I do not drink. <laughs> 
I cannot abandon my role as Crossbell's mayor over a minor spat like this. A minor spat? Grandfather, are you not in pain? Are, are you not mortified? Ernest was like a son to you, and yet he betrayed you. Yes, so I why? raised him well. Why? What? what? <laughs> why? <laughs> Go ahead. Why do you continue to grandpa what? Always two there are, a master and an apprentice. <laughs> oh no, oh, oh yes. no. <laughs> the most critically acclaimed performance by Christopher, <laughs> by Christopher Lee. Lee. Count Dooku. <laughs> if I told you what happened didn't shock me, I would be lying through my teeth. My very sharp. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm sure you've heard, Ernest has long been embezzling public funds from under our noses. Twice the pride, double the fall. Perhaps his actions caused extreme stress, and being trapped in his own mind caused him to go berserk. I do it's... believe I bear some responsibility for not taking notice in the first place. It's very ballsy to embezzle the shit out of the mayoral funds as the, like, the secretary of the city, and then go, yeah, if the mayor gets assassinated, I'm sure no one will investigate anything related to yeah. anything. And like, no one will look <laughs> at me. This will go great. What a genius plan. I, Ernest, will get away <laughs> with. Oh, grandfather. Uh... Nevertheless, I am a statesman. I have sworn to serve Crossbell State in the present and future, forever. No matter what happens, it is my duty to uphold the oath and lead this state. That is a self-imposed commitment. That is the curse I of eternal life. Yeah. I stake my name on it. Ooh, poor <laughs> choice of words. Uh oh. I truly apologize, Ellie. Much like ten years ago, I was unable to stop your father, Ryan. Not only that, but my own daughter, your mother, left you behind. And yet... Oh! As, as, oh, right! Yeah, your daughter, my mom, how people talk. Yes. <laughs> and yet, as powerless as I often am, I continue to fulfill the role of mayor. Surely you must despise me. Right. Ugh, there's no way that could ever be true. You're my hero, Grandfather. I mean, I occasionally keep in touch with Mother and Father. It may be heartbreaking, but I know I can overcome it. Ellie. I originally joined the police because I wished to help you in my own way. And I thought this different approach would be a good way for me to help Crossbell too. However... Now that Ernest is no longer by your side, I was thinking, I should retire from the police and... Spare me the nonsense! Uh, Grandfather? If you truly regretted the path you chose, then surely you would have returned home immediately. However, such was not the case, correct? Imagine how insulting it would be to turn your back on the road you have taken. To your colleagues, to your me, to me, <laughs> to, to your, your colleagues, <laughs> to your me, to, and to your all, me, to your, to your me, your mother's father, <laughs> my daughter's daughter's mother's father. <laughs> I just, it's... Uh... You need not be concerned about your me. <laughs> However, after all, I have more than a single secretary, and if necessary, I shall seek Helmer's assistance. I have plenty of frogs. <laughs> Which is why Ernest went mad. <laughs> he, was like, he had been drinking from Mayor McDowell's blood. <laughs> my... However, my plan to retire as mayor seems to have been delayed, though. Well, I suppose I've got another five years until I am able to comfortably fake my demise and uh, come back again some twenty years later. You probably shouldn't be telling me this, Grandpa. <laughs> I think you mean twenty years hence. 
<laughs> Nonsense. The most difficult part of being a mayor was when I had to meet that intelligence officer from Liburl. Simply <laughs> being near his hair was nearly fatal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what a, I enjoy all the steps required to connect to that joke. <laughs> Therefore, Ellie, you must continue on the path you've chosen. At least until you have become satisfied with all you've accomplished. Your indomitable drive towards that end motivates me more than anything else. Grandfather. Not to mention... If you hadn't intervened, I likely wouldn't be sitting here right now, Wink. Stand proud, Ellie, of what you do and how you've grown. Oh, evil! <laughs> For you shall continue to shine even brighter and reach new heights. New heights of power! Power! <laughs> Much like Arkansas's new play, did you catch it? It was amazing! Grandpa, you have been bedridden. You... What? What is happening? <laughs> yes, Grandfather. I'm gonna go back and be a police officer. I, Ellie McDowell, will return to my post tomorrow and strive to make Crossbell a better place. And you will continue to be some sort of dark creature of the night, immortal, forever keeping Crossbell in political stasis. Goodbye, Grandpa. You haven't dressed down at all, Lloyd. The, yeah, the that's because these are the only clothes I own. <laughs> that's because we wear our casual clothes while on duty. Are the Seeker sisters out on a date? With each other? Don't, don't phrase it that way in this country. <laughs> of course we are, silly. Uh, I'd much rather be on a date with a boyfriend than- Wait, hang on, please. Let me screen cap that. Please. Just add, Why add the Jay fuck really does this exist? Trail. Who typed this? Who typed this and put this on in this fucking game knowing it's fucking history? This is- You have to imagine the fans are- like, cause this is a fan translation and they're making fun yeah. of it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not like I even have time to find one. No we. Ew. <laughs> All you ever do is complain about how busy you are, so the least you could do is hang out with me today. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, what are you doing out here, Lloyd? Are you waiting for someone? Oh, no, I'm not. I, I was just with a friend, but she had something else that she needed to attend to. I'm, I'm done with all my plans now, so I'm actually at a bit of a loss what to do. I was thinking of standing still in the plaza and filter feeding. You thinking what I'm thinking, Noe? Yeah, this poor guy probably got <laughs> stood off. <laughs> he was looking pretty down in the dumps when he called out to him. There's only one thing to do, then. Kill him. <gasps> uh, ladies? I think there might be a misunderstanding. Hey, Lloyd. Since you're already free, would you like to accompany two lovely ladies? Huh? There's actually a live concert down in the Harbor District. I mean, I'm sure it'll look like complete shit compared to that play, but... Yeah. <laughs> what wouldn't? And we were on our way there just now. A concert? It that sounds pretty interesting. I know you two don't get to spend much time together. Are you sure I wouldn't be imposing? Oh, of course. Excuse me. Was that a gag? Did you just <laughs> gag? <laughs> it was like, it was like a burp, and I expected it to be louder, so I was gonna lead into it as a joke, but it just turned into like a weird. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> friend, friend just like oh. spits an egg out of her mouth. <laughs> Can I offer you an egg in this trying time, you girlfriendless loser? Oh, of course we are. It's especially okay if it's you, Lloyd. Any other guy would have to face my sisterly wrath. But you're so non-threatening. <laughs> oh, calm down, Franuwu. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Lloyd. You don't need to worry so much. Nya. XD. Nya. <laughs> you said it, Noe. Look at you having two beauties on your arms like this. Okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, I want to die. Everyone <laughs> walks out of the stream. Yeah, that's Everybody definitely. Leaves. 
they definitely misunderstood something. Oh, well, can't do anything about it now. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Super cute. Lloyd. Lloyd is absolutely the friend who every woman around him treats him as non-threatening. Because I don't think Lloyd, I don't think Lloyd knows what kissing is. Mm -hmm. I think if he saw it, he'd be like, "What is that? Yeah. What are they doing with their mouths?" Oh no! Wow, they're really close. <laughs> That's weird. Like sisters or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the doctor in question is a man named Joachim Gunter. <laughs> Dr. Gunter is, well, despite being an expert in his field, he sometimes disappears at the most inconvenient times. All that's left to do is find Dr. Gunter. I wonder where he could be. All that's left is to hold all these fishermen's faces to the water until the bubbles stop. <laughs> <laughs> let's get him! Oh, wow! A viper Viperhead! And a pretty big one at that! Did you say a wiper head? Yeah. <laughs> I could tell my daily trips from the hospital are finally starting to pay off. They finally sent someone to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I like chat. You know me as Dr. Gunther, but I'm actually Ouroboros in Forza number 153, the Surgical Sturgeon. In case you forgot, it's nice to meet you all. I'm Doctor. We've already met. We've already twice. met. <laughs> I'm Joachim Gunther. I'm just a simple associate professor over a professor over at Saint yeah, Ursula. Professor Hospital. Light laser sights on the head immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what you? What's wrong? Professors are always nice in this universe. <laughs> hmm. I can't help but feel that we met before. Deja vu, perhaps. That's difficult to do in this accent. I suppose there's really no point in trying to remember then. Back to fishing! <laughs> no, I wouldn't call this deja vu. We should have started with an introduction. Oh well, better late than never, right? I'm Lloyd Bannings, member of the Crossbell Police Department Special Support Section. Now, Dr. Gunter, would you... It's fine, Lloyd. I understand the dilemma. So, does that mean you'll return to the hospital? Oh my, no. That's a good question. However, I've been looking forward to the Fisher Cup for the last two months, much like I'm sure many of the patients have been looking forward <laughs> to the life-saving surgery. surgery. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a big deal for us anglers. <laughs> Not that you'd know anything about that. I learned how to tie sutures by uh, putting hooks through things. And since I won't have any free time during the festival, I figured I'd treat myself with this little fishing trip. I hate this man. <laughs> Do you have no oh, sense I knew of it. He was fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have no sense of responsibility as a physician? A physician, you say? Well, of course I do. My wrist is awfully sore from all of the apology letters I had to write every time I snuck out of the hospital last month. It's a good thing my old charm Layton was there to help me write <laughs> half of them. We're getting a little off topic now. What do we have to do to convince you to return to the hospital? You'll have to beat me in Palm Poco, or whatever it was called. Palm Poco! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's just... <laughs> I see your tanuki scroll is as big as mine! I'm glad that you found that funny, Aaron, because if someone else had said that, I would have thought it was hysterical. <laughs> well, since we're already at the Fisher Cup, why don't we settle this over a battle of the baits? Or we're police officers and we'll just drag you back to your job. You mean fishing? Exactly. If you manage to reel in something larger than the viper head I just caught, I'll gla gracefully accept defeat and return. That's big of you. Simple, right? <sighs> so it all comes down to a fishing match, huh? Think you're up for it, Lloyd? No! Uh, fine. I accept your challenge. Any rules I should know of? Do you really think you can beat me with your stupid fish? I'll have that stand in for this line. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure, but I don't plan on losing to you. Yeah, I'm excited to see the results. If you'll do the honors, Selden, judge away, my friend. Mm, let's see. In Dr. Ginter's corner, we've got an impressive viper head. Out of all the fish Lloyd caught, the largest among them was a catfish. 
After judging, the winner is... Gulp? Lloyd Paddings! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, come again? Are you sure that what just- it's a measuring contest? Are you sure there wasn't an alloy on your judgment? Them's the breaks, bud. Lloyd's fish is absolutely massive. Trust me, my eyes never lie. You're kidding. Now I have to do my job. <laughs> no. You did you it, did Lloyd. It. Hell yeah. Good job. Congratulations. You never fail to deliver. We shouldn't encourage this. Uh, I, I won? Oh, fate is cruel. I assume that's what the family members of the now dead surgery <laughs> patients are saying. <laughs> well, Vins, Vin, here's a little present to celebrate your victory. It's a scalpel, the one I was oh. using to, to perform surgeries. A celestial balm is pretty good. I bet that would have been useful for the patient. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you, Dr. Gunter. I appreciate it. I held that in my pocket and I don't remember why. You can take it. Now it's time for me to hold up my ends of the bargain. Off to the hospital I go. Really? I was expecting you to throw more of a fuss. Well, I didn't say I would stay at the hospital after I got there. Excuse me, miss. I'm not some wildy child. Anyway, our little match has a great opportunity to get some quality fishing in. I'm more than satisfied for the time being. Huh? Uh, he's a crafty one, ain't he? He was totally using us yes. to buy more fishing time, I bet. Yo, man. Oh, wow, what a huge shock right there. <laughs> Utterly despicable. I love Tio. <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea of what you mean. I'm a Trails antagonist, Professor, but I have very minor goals. <laughs> <laughs> mostly about My goal ditching. is to rule the fishing world. My I'm... goal is to not do my job! <laughs> my goal is to play hooky in more ways than one. It was a oh! pleasure, Sheldon. I'll <laughs> see you around. Sure, pal. Looking forward to seeing you at the next competition. Likewise, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, special support section, I have a hospital to attend to. I'll be waiting at the bus stop if there's anything else you need from me. Perhaps help fishing? Another five hours of fishing with your friend Gunther? Ugh, that dude had us completely wrapped around his finger. Mm, he's cunning, all right. I do not trust him in the slightest. I have learned not to trust professors. <laughs> he, he might swim away the moment we take our eyes off of him. Swim yeah. away? <laughs> Yeah, we should take the same bus just to make sure he actually goes back to the hospital. That's a good idea. Everyone just sits there in the back, like, looking at him, <laughs> staring daggers at him. Where in the world were you, doctor? Due to your absence, staff and patients have been very inconvenienced or killed. Well, if you must know, I was competing in an intense event known as the Fisher Cup. The Fisherman's Guild ran it, and being a member of it myself, I couldn't exactly skip it, could I? Doctor. Just don't schedule work this day, you absolute cunt. Doctor, <laughs> this is serious. You do realize that Lytton is filling in for you as we speak, don't you? You mean filling in the chest cavity? Oh, it is? <laughs> I really am blessed to have such a capable pupil. I think it would be rude of me to rain on his parade. Now it is turning <laughs> nice <time. French. laughs> Yeah, it would be rude of me to rain on his parade, considering how hard he's working. So why not let things continue as they are? Yes, I think that's for the best. It will be very educational for him. Very educational indeed. <laughs> Get back to work right this instant. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure you're familiar with the two gangs downtown. Very familiar. Well, hmm. well, there's been reports that they're currently fighting over in the Harbor District. Seriously? Yeah. What are they thinking, pulling a stunt like this with all these tourists around? We thought the same thing, actually. 
Quite a few people called the police, but it seems all our patrols are preoccupied at the moment. What were the gang wars? <laughs> Since you've dealt with them before, could you could we leave this to the special support section? Are there actually any other police officers? <laughs> That's why you're the special support section. I'm going through a tunnel under my desk. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, you two look exhausted on that blanket. Should we leave you alone? <laughs> we need to keep our team together. I think we should leave them alone, Tio. We can just go behind these barrels. <laughs> Great race, Why? you two, really. Ugh, oh, I swear, you boys are all... Boys, boys, boys. <sighs> Simple-minded or stubborn? Why are you drooling? Well, um... I suppose there was also a girl participating. But Estelle barely counts. Oh yeah, you're right. You <laughs> like rewriting her fan fiction, Estello. Estello was also there. Esteban. Esteban. I was gonna say I don't know what the male version of Estelle is. No idea. You two sit tight for a minute. I'll go buy some cold drinks. Okay. Why did you say it like that? Ah, here. I shall accompany you. The marketplace on East Street is adequate, yes? <sighs> yes, you read my mind, Tio. Now let's just go, and you two, wait a bit. All right, we'll be back. Just hides behind the barrels. Hmm. Anyway, my brother was an amazing man. Almost as amazing as that play. Yeah. Uh, dude sounds like a real character in a play. Ah. Oh. Guess your life hasn't exactly been all sunshine and rainbows either. So Wow, yeah, you oh man, your brother died. I'm sure that's worse than whatever I got going on. <laughs> so you've been trying to follow in your bro's footsteps this entire time? Yeah, something like that. Actually, I have a confession to make. I don't have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Randy, you kinda remind me of my brother. Puts his hand on Randy's hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Keep going, you know. I mean, it's not like your appearances are similar. They aren't. Not in the slightest. But you know how you support Ellie, Tio, and me, no matter what we're up against. That part of you reminds me of Guy. Which guy? Hey, hey now. Cool it with the sappy speech, my man. I want my face to turn as red as my hair. <laughs> yeah, even the way you try to hide your embarrassment reminds me of him. Dude. That's and why... Supple pecs. A part of you really respect you, Randy. It's you know yourself <laughs> well enough to that help... That Yoi you know can take work! That Yoi can, Yoi take, can work take work! Others. Oh, wow. no! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? You you all just muddled together on my end. Why were you screaming? And what they, were you they, they typoed and it said Yoi can take care of other people. Instead of you? Yeah. Not just as a colleague, but as an adult. But as yeah. <sighs> adult, adult. To be honest, I still have a long way to go. Long. If you joy, joy, <laughs> laid, joy. laid bare, <laughs> if you laid, if you laid your past bare right here and now, I probably wouldn't be able to help you at all. So I have a proposal, proposal, proposal. Mm. Someday when I'm able to stand tall and proud, walking alongside you and my brother, 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 would you let me hear your story then, Randy? Penis, penis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lloyd. <laughs> oh! Randy. I love Randy. Man, I give up. I surrender. Jeez, you already made Mademoiselle cry. You might just be a natural-born lady killer. Wait, this make you a lady killer, killer? What's with you? And let's not forget that I'm already an adult, so please stop treating me like I'm some child. I have... I have dignity and carnal needs, Randy. <laughs> 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 
Um, what are uh, you two doing? That doesn't look like bareback sex. What? <laughs> The rock delegate going on here is significantly less than I thought that it thought it would be. I brought all these cold refreshments, and it seems I brought them for nothing. Here, drink up. She brought these from the barrel we were hiding behind. Hmm. That's my line. Ah. Yours is a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> yours, you know, for is, yours is a lemonade that a man dipped an entire pickle in. <laughs> yeah, I can't thank you enough. You glug, can really glug, glug. taste the pickle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> this is not the circumstances by which I wanted that, but I'll accept it. <laughs> <sighs> I seriously don't get boys sometimes. Literally, what? <laughs> <laughs> you just wore yourselves out in that race, so don't fool around too much. So don't fool around too much when you're tired. Do I detect hints of jealousy, Elsie? <laughs> uh, that's not what you're detecting. Uh, what? I would never be jealous over something like this. And more importantly, they're both boys, so why should I be? <clears throat> While I may be inexperienced, I have heard it is a popular genre. From you. <laughs> this scenario may serve to act as a flag. What are you doing to you? I think that you're reading me and it feels uncomfortable. You think so? I think someone leaves their BL novels lying around the office. <laughs> um, I, those are manuscripts and you shouldn't be reading them. I, oh, they're manuscripts. Oh, okay. Tio just puts her hands in the air and walks yeah. away. Ooh, manuscripts. <laughs> I stole a quick glance in your Ellie Nomicon. It was like staring amidst the maw of madness. There was it was like all of the tentacles of an elder god, except they weren't tentacles. <laughs> Sorry. They were dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mademoiselle, they were dicks. Love uh, is a battlefield, you know. All's fair, as they say. Yeah, you. <laughs> what are you guys even talking about? Uh oh. Oh no! Hey, Red. How about you and I go go at it for real backslash hey, next time? Hey guys, uh, we got an L for the word real. Hey, we got two of them. What should I do with the second one? Just, Just lean, lean it, it up, up against, against the first. first. We'll use it later if we need it. I, I, he. Uh. That last spurt of explosive power you had. Spurt of explosive power. Or had your claws sheathed, did you? Ah, uh, well, wouldn't say sheathed. A bit more to it than that. You know how I... some lizards, like, hide the dicks inside the bodies? I can't dicks breathe. inside their bodies. <laughs> hey, Randy. Is your body holding up okay? Why would you ask that? Yeah, I hope my is body he, is take it? it. Answer him. Huh? Uh, I didn't peg you <laughs> <laughs> for having the same background, but maybe I was off. Well, aren't you just the romantic? Maybe I should let Cecile know her little bro is putting the moves on my co-star. Oh, come on! You clearly know you're fudging the truth. Jeez, fudging yeah. is the most offensive word I know. <laughs> How fortunate for you, Lloyd. The rest of us have not had the privilege of watching the show, as our tickets are for next week. Not only that, but you got to watch Ark and Seal all alone with Ark and Cecile? Watching <laughs> a mesmerizing play in a dimly lit theater, enjoying the vibes. Ah, oh, you're killing me, Lloyd! <laughs> oh, the vibes, Lloyd! The vibes! <laughs> Your vibes are atrocious! Oh, that didn't pass the vibe check. It's okay, you two, calm down. Sure, he may be a lecher for immediately turning to reach you within seconds of being with Cecile. Whoa! What did I do to deserve this disrespect? Sure, I may have beaten you to the punch on watching the play alone, however. Uh... Scare. <laughs> you, you womanizing brat! Please, I beg you, stop! <laughs> oh, my favorite little guy has it hard. I'm sure if I were to announce my candidacy, we'd have plenty of fascinating reactions from each of you. Hmm. 
My life isn't your plaything. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. Scratches from a lockpick. They're Easy. small, but they're there. Whoever opened it must be relatively skilled. I used my pizza fart to open the lockpick door. Shall we take this as confirmation that someone broke into the apartment? I'd say so. That just means we have to catch him even faster. I bit my Domino's pizza into the shape of the key. You've hit a dead end. Might as well give up and surrender while you can. Shut up! You'll never catch me. I hate. I hate you guys. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> the hell? Quick old guy, ain't he? Brandy, focus. Follow him! Got, gotcha! Idiots, just try to catch me! It's me, Ernest again! Did you find Did him? Did you find him? Ha! You think you can catch me that easily? This city's filled with a bunch of useless idiots! <laughs> Just you wait. I'll have my revenge. Uh, huh? Your revenge is going to have to be put on hold. We knew how you'd move. Looks like we won this little game of cat and mouse. Damn it! Why don't you give up already? Whoa! Watch where you're touching, dumbass! Let go! Let go of me! No can do. You broke the law. Can't you just... Behave yourself! Damn! Damn it! Ouch! Hey, watch where you're swinging those things! Just how much energy does this kid have? <laughs> Hope you have a good reason for your actions. And for crying out loud, can't you just behave yourself for one second? Stop it! Let go! Let go of me, you jackass! And so they let go of him. So, out with it while the stalking. Something you want from me? Huh, <laughs> that's not it. I was just wanting to harass you a little, that's all. Jeez. Harass her? Why? As if you people could ever understand. You live in such fancy places and never have to worry about your next meal. People like you could never understand how it feels to live in a dump for most of your life. Huh? I hate people who get to casually live their lives without any worries. But you, I hate you the most. You prance around on that beautiful stage, representing an amazing world. You just stand there, dazzling, knowing it's unreachable for a person like me, a subhuman. <laughs> I know there's no oh, chance no. <laughs> I'd ever get there. I know I never would be able to talk to a girl. <laughs> I could work my entire life and never have enough for a single ticket. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I can get there someday. You can't. Ilya. Clean up my apartment. What? <laughs> Are you sure about this? I'm Ilya Platier. What's your name? Sting. Sully. Sting. <laughs> hmm. Sully. I like it. Well, Sully. I'm going to make you work as my assistant for a while. It's not like you can pay me off with Mira, can you? Oh, I'll see to it that you work your share. What? What are you talking about, Ilya? Sorry, Lloyd. I know you went the extra selge with everything, but how about you let me take care of my stalker for the time being? Fast acquittal, huh? Good grief. Now there's not much more we can do about the matter if Ilya insists. Oh, I've got it. I hereby declare that you'll be staying here with myself. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I own this child now. I... but that's... Yeah, I gotta agree. This is kinda... Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> How very much like Ilya to take someone without their consent. You know, I basically went through the same thing. <laughs> uh, all right, we're... <laughs> That's I'm sorry, you went through the same thing? Yeah, she caught me trying to assassinate her. <laughs> yeah. 
Good thing we called Ilya. She defused the situation way better than we ever could have. That's a word for it. <laughs> uh, agreed? Straighten up. No complaints. But, but, but I haven't even said yes yet. Your consent was never a factor. <laughs> See you later, Sully. Don't do anything like this again, okay? It's your obligation as a man to make sure you pay back your debt. Oh, I hate you the most. <laughs> Fuck. what I do? I'm a girl, you moron! How much longer do you intend to insult me? You're infuriating! You know what? Ah, oh, you don't say. Well, I guess you do kind of have a girly face. You did not notice until now either, Randy? How'd you make that mistake, you two? Wasn't it obvious? So when I caught you, and I... <laughs> Uh, with all my strength. Don't think about it, man. That's why I was telling you to let go of me, you absolute moron. But but uh, but I swear, everything about uh, about you felt like a guy. You yeah, remember. dig that hole deeper, Lloyd. <laughs> you remember how it felt, huh? A statement that is both incriminating and controversial. <laughs> <laughs> so were you two traveling together? <sighs> That's a roundabout way of asking if we're dating. <laughs> no, we aren't. Oh, what? that is a surprise. Uh, God. I just fucking younger sister just dating. Scary. Wow, we didn't. Oh. I didn't expect to encounter this here of all places. <laughs> On the bus. Haha. -ha. Here so we go. Again. So what you're telling me is that it's common in Calvard too. <laughs> There's nowhere you can escape. Can't wait for Kuro no Kaseki, guys. Contrary no, to what you think, we're siblings and not a couple. Since we barely <laughs> look alike, people are always getting the wrong impression. I both can't imagine I can't why. imagine why. <laughs> but we both <laughs> love to travel. We stick together during trips. Just the two of us. I'd I'm like crying. to leave, Lloyd. <laughs> wow, sounds like you two really get along well. Well, I'd feel bad if she went places by herself since she doesn't have a boyfriend. She's like blinking at them in Morse code, like, help me, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Aren't you hilarious? Isn't it you who mother's always nagging to find that special someone? Okay, you got me. How about we put that behind us and make this trip the best one yet? Help! Help me! Do you have a different dialogue? Nope. From that, we can conclude that this is likely the ring's leader. Whoa, seriously? Would their lead be working solo with no backup? It's possible, but what's your reasoning behind that? Well, that's what the walkthrough <laughs> said. It's relatively simple to explain. Go to GameFacts.com. <laughs> it's the her. The elderly woman. You positive? Definitely. Check the guide. <laughs> Check Given the guide. Evidence, <laughs> Given the evidence stated in this guide, it wouldn't make sense for the counterfeit dealer to be anyone else. I guess that's true. Ellie's just like, question marks? What? <laughs> we will arrive shortly. In addition to dog, I also speak intercom. <laughs> Once we arrive, we'll hurry and apprehend the suspect. Violently. Everyone get ready. <laughs> Don't have violently. <laughs> Get ready violently, Randy punches Lloyd in the side of the head. <laughs> Ow! I like your spirit. <laughs> Remember, Lloyd, it's up to you to get the suspect to drop their cover. You up to the challenge? Of course. Leave it to me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I got away with it <laughs> by framing the elderly. Look, like I'm listening to their extremely audible conversation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if it isn't, isn't those young, fine folk I met at the border, what might you dearies need the little old lady such as myself? Cut the shit! <laughs> <laughs> we apologize for not having told you this sooner, but we're with the Crossbell Police Special Support Section. My name is Lloyd Ban- No, uh, we'd like you to answer- uh, we'd like for you to answer a few questions, ma'am. 
Um, excuse me, Sunny, are you implying something? What am I guilty of? No matter the situation, is it rude to bother a frail old lady like myself? I understand your reservation, but the CPD received some interesting information today. A certain group of criminals are supposedly trying to infiltrate Crossbell. We were tasked with investigating Tangram Gate, so we covertly questioned any inbound tourists there. One of them stood out due, per due to a particularly strange remark. That remark came from you, ma'am. Well, what's that supposed to mean, son? One of your statements in the dining hall struck me as incredibly suspicious. It was when you said, I'm a smuggler. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> if you had really visited Crossbell three years ago, like you claimed, you'd have had trouble visiting Michelin Wonderland, considering it didn't even exist at the time. This, this can't be. I mean, uh, you see, the thing is, <laughs> this really will be the final test. <laughs> oh, well, this is all just a misunderstanding. A silly old me must have read about it somewhere and, and got myself confused. You know how she, it is. She has a freak out and, like, throws up her grandson out of her <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You know, Ace Attorney yeah, vomit Ace and freak out. <laughs> oh, it was a misunderstanding? No problem. Do you mind if we give your grandson's family a quick call to corroborate your story? I'm sure they'd be quick to defend you if the police suspected you, right? Uh, <laughs> but again, that's not even an option. You can't call someone who isn't real. Uh. It's pretty funny when you think about it. You went to visit a non-existent theme park with a non-existent grandson. This type of mistake would have only been possible for someone who has visited Crossbell in the past two years. He's dead, you monster! I came to visit his grave since the doctor who was supposed to treat his disease was unavailable due to a fishing tournament! <laughs> Coming here to run your crooked business is exactly what allowed for that contradiction in your statement. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you, do you seriously think a kind, elderly lady like myself would be heinous enough to pawn off counterfeit goods on unsuspecting people? I, uh, I, I do believe you just put the final nail in your coffin, ma'am. Not once during this exchange did we specify the crime in question. You know, it's so basic, but I never get tired of the I never said that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just told me, Fox Boy. Now, I didn't oh, say I... that. <laughs> <laughs> you just told me, Fox Boy, is one of the best lines in any <laughs> video game ever. Because you just told me, Fox Boy. <laughs> Tails! <laughs> Way to fall for one of the oldest tricks in the book, you old bat! Think it's Jesus, about Randy! Time, think it's about time you face the music. Bum, 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 ba -da, bum, 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 I am sure you have a perfectly logical explanation as to why you have access to sensitive information. Just a moment, let me put my iPod on speaker. Tio Top, that's just a recording of you doing the song. Yes. Why don't you just do you doing the song without the recording? Because I recorded it for this moment. Dun 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 I'll give you one last chance, ma'am. Please turn yourself in peacefully, or else. Who? Who'll go along with a bunch of idiotic whippersnappers? What? Ugh. She's gone off a rocker. Her true nature has fun. Dun 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 dun
You're all just a bunch of cowards trying to deceive a helpless old lady like myself. I'm sure the goddess will smite you all if you don't correct your nasty behavior. It is honestly laughable you can utter such nonsense without a hint of irony. Are you not guilty of deceiving others with your unscrupulous business? Shut up, you damn munchkin. You know, I'm like expecting her to like rip off her outfit and just be like, you know, a 40 year old guy trying to like <laughs> be in a disguise. I really hope it is an old lady. Oh, it's an munchkin. old lady. Munchkin. <laughs> Great. Munchkin. I hate you. I hate you all. This is exactly why the police and the bracers are trash. <laughs> I bet you're so righteous. Maybe you moron should get off your frickin' high horses. She pulls out a gun. Calm down, ma'am. If you could just come with us quietly. Zip it, punk! Got cotton in your ears? I said I'm not going with you. Show me the warrant! Show it to me! Don't make me repeat myself again! We don't need a warrant to arrest you! <laughs> oh, don't make me repeat myself! you think you can catch me <laughs> is she really about to try to run oh my god she is then I mean, why don't you go ahead and try me i guess why wouldn't you try to run at that point S seriously how can an old lady move so quickly you where know i'm starting to think you guys are just slow <laughs> where the hell would that whole nicest grandma you'd ever meet charade disappear off to munchkin um, is it really time for this, you guys? Come on! We need to hurry up and chase after her! She actually might escape. True! Let's go after her! Oh, right now I remember- I, I said before I thought there wasn't any combat in this. I just remembered there actually is, and I re- Oh! <laughs> I forgot about that! Oh, dear. I must have accidentally stuck my leg out while I wasn't looking. Are you still breathing, madam? You... bitch! <laughs> What the hell are you, you little bitch? <laughs> wow. Considering how fast she was running, is she... Huh? She, she ended up collapsing. Yo, check it out! The hot, black-haired lady's here, too! Wait, hold on a sec. Did you do this? Talk later. Restraining her is of the utmost urgency at the moment. She still has pep in her step, so I imagine she's quick to recover. Damn you. Good call, ma'am. You mind helping me out, Ellie? Not at all. We yeah. <laughs> I apologize, but could you accompany us for the time being? Having analyzed the situation, it is clear your assistance was crucial in the arrest. Very well. I wasn't intending on standing out, but perhaps this was fate. Uh, I suppose I was doomed from the moment I had a portrait made. But maybe it was fated. <laughs> Rest easy, ma'am. Allow me the pleasure of escorting a fine lady such as yourself. Okay, you never Lloyd and Ellie are just stomping on Grandma. A Bacchio and yeah. Skiff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could I ask for your name, then? Ha! Huh. Like I'd give my name to some lanky brat. All you could lanky? serve me was this pot pie! <laughs> but listen here, Granny, do you have any idea what you've done? You're aware we've already arrested all your friends, right? So can it, and give in already. Eat shit, you insolent, disrespectful hooligan! Did your parents teach you no etiquette? When talking to a lady, you must at least offer her a cup of tea. Common courtesy! She starts knocking stuff off the desk. <laughs> huh? <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll bring you a cup later, okay? Uh, is Raymond gonna be alright handling her by himself? No, this is funny, though. She's a tough nut, that's for sure. But don't worry, we can crack her. Visibly holding a bat in his hands. <laughs> Besides, this is a secure facility. No one will be able to hear the screams. <laughs> the screams of her or the rest of the Grand Mafia. Oh, you've got a, I see you've got a civilian here. Probably shouldn't have said those things. Whatever. I don't really I don't... care. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I could see her, like, brute-forcing her way out of anything, quite honestly. I agree. By the way, who's the beautiful young lady over there? You know, now that I think about it, I never asked. 
Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We're gonna need your name and occupation, please. For police business, of course. Kilika Moran, at your service. She looks quite good in this style. Mm. Actually, I've been wondering, how did the stakeouts at the train station and airport go? Oh, we didn't catch any of them. Um, couldn't remember that GameFox website. They just kept searching <laughs> GameFox and nothing came up on my orbold phone or whatever we have at this point in time. Oh, that! Luckily, the other dealers were caught and arrested. On top of that, we were able to confiscate all the counterfeit items they were carrying. So, if all goes to plan, they'll be out of business for the rest of the year. Rest of the year? Implying that there'll be other years? Yes, time is linear. <laughs> Don't fucking well, green text at me, bitch. Yeah. Ha! Bingo! Wasn't sure if I was gonna reach you. Uh, who's this? What? You can't tell by my voice? <laughs> Some detective you are. It's Yona, dummy! Yona Sacred, you know, the amazing genius hacker! Oh, let's hang great. on. Oh, wait a second, Click. <laughs> How'd you get this number? He's an information broker, you clown! <laughs> Pretty easily? All I had to do was run a quick search of the police database. Man, the security was a joke! <laughs> I was like water running through a freaking strainer! Don't worry, though, it's not like there was any top-secret information in there, anyway. Y you kidding me? Who is it, Lloyd? Our friend, the hacker. Ew. Uh -huh. He never did know when to quit. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> Who is it, Lloyd? Holds up the phone. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Surely you didn't call me just to show off your skills, right? I kidnapped your grandpa, Lloyd, and then I dueled him into submission. Wait, who is this? <laughs> My grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I was just getting to it. I was actually wondering if I could submit a request to you guys. S seriously? Well, not you in particular. I need Tio's help with something. Could you pass no, on thanks. the message? No, thanks. We're already really busy, Yona. If this is just some private matter, we can't deal with it right now. Well, private wouldn't be entirely inaccurate, but what I'm if- I'm a hacker! Nothing is private! What if I gave you a reward? Oh, well, in that oh wait, we are bracers, you know. In other words, we don't intend on accepting any direct compensation. Oh, wow. I you read that Austin was like, he like got excited like a puppy dog and looked up and Ellie was glaring at him like, oh, yeah. in that case, we will not do that. No. <laughs> not a bribe. Can't accept that. Oh, wow. Aren't you all high and mighty? And I'm not talking about Mira Duad. I've got a memory quartz loaded with info you guys might be interested in. Does that change things? Yes. I mean, um... Ha! That's what I thought! Well, anyway, just head on over to my place when you can. I'll fill you in on the deets then. No, oh, fine. Uh, what was that all about? Well... Now we all need to react. An exchange, then. Ew. Sheesh, what a rascal. He's really trying to take advantage of the cops, don't you think? Be that as it may, it may be smart to go and at least hear what he has to say. Besides, he wants my help. Why not flip the table on Yona and take advantage of him? Feels a little too unethical for my tastes. But really? Lloyd, Lloyd Macaroni is too unethical for your taste. I just you don't God like dear. its sinful curves. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I understand why he didn't call you to begin with, Tio. Ever since Guy told me what the definition of cheesecake is as it relates to pinup posters, I've avoided all dairy products. Too salacious. You're such a square. <laughs> this is simple. There is a simple answer to that. Fear. <laughs> he is likely too afraid to face me after I obliterated him in a puzzle game two days ago. <laughs> I love Tia. Yeah, I like her a lot. <laughs> Oh, nice of you to stop by. Oh, thank is... you. <laughs> Such a good theme. Yeah. 
Nice of you to stop by. Nice of you to stop by, he says. I assume you need my help with something? Uh, I'm Yona! Well, you see, uh, I kinda need a little bit of help with some hacking. Uh, Goodbye. Asking the police to help but, you with well, illegal wait a hacking. Sec. Well, why are you just leaving? You didn't even hear me out! Isn't it obvious, Yona? Sheesh, this kid's a comedian. Asking the police to assist in a crime is brave, that's for sure. I you asked the only police in Crossbell who would say no. <laughs> nice yeah. job. I told you guys before, hacking is not a crime. I'm not trying to wage a war against the IBC or something. I promise. I'm just trying to get the jump on my most fearsome rival yet. Yo! Fearsome rival? Explain. I am your fearsome rival. Ooh. Looks like you took the bait. Come on, Maybe won't you at least hear me out? I have a Maybe gut feeling. him. I have a gut feeling that you guys want to hear about this. Fine, Randy hit him. <laughs> if this ends up being boring, prepare for a world of hurt, Jonah Sacred. Or Yona Sacred. If that is your real name. I will 20 chain combo you in Palm Party. Or something equally frightening. <laughs> that, that would be pretty freaking bad. You ruthless Tio. Shit. Fucking love Tio. <laughs> to think there's another hacker in the city who's on the same level as my genius! Ooh, it pisses me off! Same level? From what I'm hearing, this kitty is far more skilled than you. <laughs> Come on! It's okay. It is okay, Yona. After all, your specialty was always in system languages, not hacking. You may have lost this fight, but perhaps you can still win the war. Kill the pity party, Tio! Back to the subject at hand. I want my revenge! Once I uncover her location, I'm gonna seize her access point! And you're gonna help me, Tio! If you and that Aeon system of yours work with me, Kitty is toast. Cat food. On... On toast. <laughs> uh, I, I prepared for this in advance, and trust me, I have no intention of going easy on her. Considering it's okay. two on one, there's no way she'll be able to weasel out of this. Have you considered that you suck, though? Fuck. Two problems. <laughs> Ow, my feelings! Two problems still stand. Huh? First, I need access to a suitable terminal in order to provide backup. I would rather not risk the integrity of the Special Support Section's terminal back at base. Oh, gotcha! I know the perfect place. Deep within Geofront's A sector, right. a certain Control Terminal 3 sits Wait, right where are you here. going? <laughs> <laughs> its main router is separate from this one, so it's perfect for our pincer maneuver. Uh, how convenient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, convenient. <laughs> Too many technical terms are being tossed around. Now for the other issue. It is the fact that you are wrapping us into your schemes while we're busy. That's true. This is a support request, isn't it? You can't just deny it because you don't feel like it. Do your job! Come on, I'll toss <laughs> in some information as a bonus, so please just help me! Yona, the thing is... We do this. I'll accompany Tio to this control terminal three while you two head back to headquarters. No, I don't want to hang out with you. Yeah, that should work out. Wasn't no. a fan of letting Tio Tot go in alone either. No. Yes, I think this is for the best. No. Oh. Randy and I should be able to handle the odd jobs the apartment will throw at us. They'll appreciate it. Wait, um. What's the big deal, Tio? It's just this guy you'll be with, right? Were you ever the type of person to worry about petty stuff like this? I'm afraid Lloyd has a history of touching minors, Claire. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> Which I am not, whoa. as I am 14. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, we're back with the guide song, back with the guide song. It's sung by your favorite character, Yona Sacred. 
Looking at the guide. Looking at the guide. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Actually, what? one of the giant fans created for the Geofence ventilation system, to be more precise. Why would they literally ever <laughs> design it like this? <laughs> Under normal circumstances, it remains inactive. Then why build it? <laughs> Who did this? I think I have located the issue. There's, There's a, a gear in the, in the middle of the walkway. I'm almost certain this fun is this fan is running to, due to a malfunction in the system. Namely, they built a fan in the middle of a walkway. They built a fan in the middle of a walkway. Who are these people? <laughs> this applies to other fans as well. A malfunction? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Get it? Oh, do, yes. Do you get it? I yeah. got it. Good, yeah. joke, good joke, Lloyd. The high five. Yeah. We should log in and contact Yona. Gotcha. I've got your back. Genshin Impact is a gotcha game. <laughs> is this? When he bought me that strap as a gift, Guy told me this. Rest easy, Tio. I know that you can find happiness. And if you have trouble finding it, just give me a call. Together, we'll send the source of your sadness packing. Yeah, that definitely sounds like something that dolt would say. But around that time, he... <clears throat> At the lowest point in my life, I met an Epstein Foundation researcher by chance. He saw potential in my enhanced sensory reception and recruited me for an Orbal Sap development team that the Foundation had just launched. His name was Professor George Weissman. <laughs> With that, I transferred to Le Mans State and spent three years as a foundation, re foundation researcher. Then, three months ago, I finally decided to return to Crossbell. Dio. Bad. Uh, come on, man, go for a hug. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that my stupid brother left us like he did. Not honoring his promise to a girl? That's not like him at all. Wait. Get a room, you two snerds! That stands for smelly nerds! <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes in the game. Oh. It must be Yona. The kitten has been spotted! Just now, I noticed her oh, it's a calico on the bait <laughs> I threw out. I'm about to corner her, so give me all the support you can muster. Understood. I guess I'm just along for the ride. Tio, try not to go too crazy, all right? I will be careful. Do not worry. Access Aeon System. Begin. Do you guys know I could speak Japanese? Yes, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know. That was, that was pretty impressive. Thank you. Beginning concealment near the network resources bo second boundary domain. I don't know if I've ever paused on one of these screens before. Just in case I haven't, I want to point out that this computer is uh, running the operating system Bindo's ZX Professional. Yeah. Oh, you've paused on okay. it. You pointed okay. it out. Standing by for Kitty. Aye, aye, ma'am. Whoa, are you serious? It's her. Kitty already deactivated all our protections! Ah! Do you know how tedious it was to prepare that bait? And now it's all... I don't believe this! How can one person do all of this? Hee <laughs> hee. Settle, settle down, Yona. She is likely trying to brute force her way through with all her processing power. Please focus. Stay two steps ahead and lead her toward my domain. Damn it, I'm not a machine! Passing through Control Terminal 4, Control Terminal 17, City Hall's main terminal. Here, I've caught her at Control Terminal 25. I like this lawnmower man interface. Yeah. yeah. She's entered your domain, T.O. Affirmative. Our war game has begun. So, <laughs> this is your arch rival? She is fast. Extremely fast. Activating Eon system, initializing parallel processing. We are facing each other in VChat. 
confirming Kitty's presence. Whoa, that's a strong current. If you keep it up, you won't even need my help catching her. Docker, I disagree. Unlike you and Kitty, I am not a true hacker. If my Eon system does not last, I will be easily overtaken. Damn it, then what do we do? In preparation for that, raise your processing power to max and block Kitty's exit. I am predicting that Kitty will try to shift over into your domain again. Choose her timing carefully because you, I need to cap- I need you to capture her in 0.1 seconds. Well, you fucked up. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, screw it! I'm Yona freaking sacred! Get ready. Fuck is occurring right now. <laughs> Hacking! I hate- No! Take this! Uh, Alright! I bagged myself a kitty! What's going on? <laughs> I'm also confused, Lloyd. I don't know what the fuck that was trying to represent. What sort of weird Digimon cyberspace <laughs> bullshit that was. Did Lloyd, we hack he's... into the internet? <laughs> Lloyd, my headset is made of processing hard drives and they are literally boiling my flesh. Please take this <laughs> off of me. Ah! Ugh. Ugh. I oh. hacked too hard. Oh no, she's Tio. overheating. Give her some ice cream. Tio, are you okay? I need ice cream to live. I will be in a minute. <laughs> Increasing the Eon system's processing power that much. The world is spinning around me. Lloyd, I need a confection. Didn't I, I did. tell you not to do anything crazy? You I turned did. on your ability to overclock! <laughs> a dairy-based confection I... slow churned into a delicious cream. I... I need... Uh, I made a mistake. I require a confection correction. <laughs> Please. Wow, your head is boiling! Lloyd? Oh, no. Hey, Tio! Shut <sighs> up, man. <laughs> hey, that, Tio! Quiet. That promise my brother made to you? Allow me to keep it. Every, every noise I hear ten times louder than a normal person. Hey, Tio! Fuck. Ow. Why, do you, why do you think I speak at this volume? Huh? You and if you have trouble finding it, just give me a call. Together, we'll send the source of your sadness packing. I hate to admit it, but my brother was amazing. In terms of power and the ability to take charge, nothing compared to him. But I'll do my best to compensate. Honoring his promise is the least I can do to prove myself. So, what do you say? Mysterious. Come again? You and Guy are almost nothing alike, but it's weird. At the same time, you two remind me of each other. The way your spirit shines, the way you look ahead with confidence. My brother and I are similar? You're brunette. That's it. In a lot of ways, yes. But of course you are a different person. You are who you are, Lloyd. And you are not, and can't be the same as Guy. You should know that better than anyone. Yeah. That aside, if you want to take over the promise, then the details should change. What do you mean? You don't need to worry about it now. Not yet. I would like you to make a promise that is your own, not Guy's. Whatever you come up with will be fine. Yo. If you'd like to promise getting me some sort of dessert, that would be acceptable. And I'm a member of the SSS, just like you are, aren't I? You're right. <laughs> You're exactly right. <laughs> uh Is there something on my face? Your flesh is melting. No, it's just I think that's the first time I've seen your genuine smile. I wasn't smiling. I'm uh, exhausted. That's all. 
<laughs> no need to be shy. It'd be a waste, in all honesty. Your smile is adorable. If you showed it more often, I'm sure you'd be crazy popular. You'd get more tips if you smiled more. <laughs> yeah. Adorable. What? It was just a compliment. Oh, no. Ernest um... has been incarnate. <laughs> the spirit of Ernest has possessed Lloyd. Uh-oh. Yuna! How long have you been listening? Uh, I think that's the first time I've seen you genuine smile. Somewhere around there. That was a dead <laughs> ringer Lloyd impression. Can't say I was expecting to hear a cheesy line like that today. What's more, you actually got flustered over it. What's with that? Spew any more nonsense and I will destroy you with a 40 chain combo and palm party. This is not even possible. Wait, actually, someone like you might be able to pull that off. Reminds me, Yona. Did you manage to find out who Kitty is? Ha! Who do you think I am? I wasn't in the Foundation for nothing. I managed to figure out her location. I'm sending it to you right now. Yona, what is the, this file you attached? An attachment? What the hell Oops. are you- The log shouldn't contain anything like this! was just supposed to uncover her location. We should open it. No, we shouldn't. Yeah, that's how that works. What? I mean, it's no worse than MI, MI6's top technology specialist plugging in a random USB to the most sensitive computer network in the world in Skyfall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah. What the heck is this? Wait just a damn minute! This this couldn't be. It appears the hackers became the hacked. Maybe she wanted revenge. No, perhaps we were dancing in the palm of her hand from the start. If true, it is possible that the information we obtained was simply a ruse. Oh, oh shit! Y y Yona, you okay there? I was stabbed! <laughs> Damn it! There's no way she should have been able to mask her address! If we can trace it and analyze it, eventually it'll lead back to the access point. No, that won't work. But what about... <laughs> Fuck. Yona! Yes. Hey, can you hear me? Yona puts his hand on her, uh, his head. <laughs> it's okay, Yona. <laughs> what? I would leave him- Wow, Lloyd, you truly are a flirt. <laughs> I would leave him alone. For now, let's return to his place. We still need to retrieve our rightfully earned memory courts. Oh, I nearly forgot about that. Well, that whole spectacle was enough to make it slip my mind, I guess. <laughs> there should be an emergency elevator near the exit. We'll take that and head back. Let's do it. That was very cute. Rosenberg Studio? I love this theme. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. The Rosenberg Studio is that doll factory, isn't it? It was near the mountain path, if I remember correctly. Yep, that's the place. When I was analyzing Kitty's location, it led me there. I'm a hundred percent certain. Ugh, the freaking doll factory? This doesn't make any sense. It is certainly strange. How so? If Kitty is at the studio like Yona claims, what's so weird about that? Well, currently the Orbital Network is functioning within the city and it's at St. Ursula Medical College. The health resort on the other side of the lake, Michelin, it's also part of the testing. Oh. See? Because wireless orbital waves are unstable, they're primarily only used for orbital telephones. And, and stupid, annoying side quests, hot and cold mini games. Yeah! Count how many steps you took in my new orbital shoes. And <sighs> since the orbital network is constantly exchanging large amounts of information, it's fundamentally a wired connection. A giant orbital cable runs along the bottom of the lake connecting St. Ursula. St. Ursula and Missalom. But I've never heard of any connection being made to Rosenberg's studio. 
It's done in secret? Ah, enough already! What kind of sick prank is this? Hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. No way. Ah, Wait through it! <laughs> I'm taking a nap! Tomorrow, I'll use what we learned today to finally uncover Kitty's true identity! Don't work yourself to death now. It's the anniversary festival, Yona. Why don't you go on a date or something instead of holing up in here? Shut up! You met, Yona. It's none of your business what I do or do not do! You damn normie, go to hell! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God. Lloyd, we are literally breathing recycled farts right now. Do you think this guy can secure a date? Mac macaroni is that what John Macaroni looks like? Yeah. Oh my god, he's a thwomp. <laughs> <laughs> macaroni is the current president of Ravash and Company and the dawn of its mafia organization. He is the fifth man to hold the position of president, but did not inherit it conventionally. Eight years ago, Macaroni gained control by overthrowing the fourth Don in an act of deceit and betrayal. I can't believe he did ravioli like that. <laughs> Rigatoni is rolling in his <laughs> grave. <laughs> Perhaps due to his Erebonian heritage, Macaroni prioritizes his relationships with members of the Diet's Imperial faction. His ties with Speaker Hartman in particular are well documented. On the other hand, I'm looking, and I thought I was gonna say, uh, perhaps due to his Erebonian ancestry, he is evil. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. I believe I have discovered concealed data within the memory cords. Oh nope, Yona's porn. Okay, back. Let, let's leave. What it's is that? Data. Can you what? pull it up? Why are they pressing their bodies against each other like that? Wow, look at the gnashing of innards. I die. So much more brutal than spore dispersal. <laughs> Undignified. <laughs> Don't forget that pit in your stomach right now, though. Do that, and your chance will come one day. I won't forget. I didn't know you weren't supposed to eat the entire avocado. Hmm. So don't get too down, man. Yeah, I chewed down right on that seed as hard as I could. I broke six of my teeth. I understand, sir. Now I'm pregnant. <laughs> From now on... Lloyd, what stop, are you? Stop oh, yeah. looking into the auction. Listen, oh. kids. Lloyd's... <laughs> Lloyd's biology is far beyond your pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> it was just agate, S-craft, agate, S-craft. Oh, Ooh, yes. A new fishing new rod. New fishing rod. With that rod, in addition to the one we got from uh, the professor the other day... Uh, we now can capture every fish in the game. Oh, excellent. Yes. Something we're definitely going to do on stream. With the power of my Millennium Rod, <laughs> I can catch any fish in the game. Ah, goddess, please have mercy. Hold it. You're under arrest. You're, yeah. <laughs> Talk about impeccable timing, huh? Save the dude from going splat by mere seconds. Please explain how this timing is in any form impeccable. We're with the Crossbell Police Department. Dinosaurs, you're under <laughs> arrest. Well, I'm thinking that we should probably go our separate ways. We can always keep in Bye. contact with our enigmas anyway. Please, let me help as well. If I don't, who knows what might happen to... Sophia, it's going to be okay. I'm going to escort Listen my wife. to the soothing sound yes. of my voice. I'm going to escort my wife home for the time being. She shall never embarrass me in public again. I'll make sure of that. We'll conduct a thorough search of the neighborhood once we've arrived. My sweet boy. Come now, dear. Let's get out of the heat and wait for Colin to come home. Who knows? Come now, dear. You know the rules. No talking. He may be waiting for us now. Harold, but what if... What if it's happened again? It won't. It will never happen again. I swear it. Damn you! Slaps her. <laughs> <laughs> ah! did, did they say again? Perhaps there's something we're missing. Excuse us. The heat seems to have gotten to our heads. It's just, this is a lot to deal with. 
No, I, I completely understand. While you're here, do you have any of Colin's possessions on hand? Uh, our police dog might be able to pick up his scent. Oh, uh, of course. Does this work? It's his stuffed animal. Yes, this works very much. It's mine now. <laughs> we'll make sure to re return it, looking at Theo <laughs> once it's found. Theo shakes her head no. <laughs> Well, let's get a move Lloyd on. Lloyd grabs it and gets a scent. This way! As long as he's still in the city, he should be relatively safe. Leave it to us, Haywards. Yes, thank you. I leave my son's safety in your hands. His blood, too. <laughs> <laughs> let's use our nifty enigmas to update each other on our progress. Sound like a plan? Yep. Right. Anyway. Yup. Individual agreement. Good. I'd feel weird if we didn't just, you know, all say something. Can I finally know? ditched those agreeing losers. <laughs> it's been hard being so deep undercover as enforcer number 28, the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> just... Do any of them just have one word? I'm trying to think. I guess the fool. The Walloping Mollusk. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so... BB. Lloyd, he's not in this giant vat of ice cream. I'm gonna go across the plaza and check the other vendor. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd, he's not in this giant vat of ice cream. I think, but I'm gonna need another 45 minutes to know for <laughs> sure. Wall. <laughs> How exceedingly vague. You're a boy, are you not? You should act like one. Harsh match! <laughs> That's right, this was the kid who sounded like Marge Simpson. <laughs> oh, I could have seen him for a sec. I was kind of focused on the parade, so I wasn't looking at the other kids. <laughs> I can't blame you there. Thanks anyway, Ryu. You're a big help. Stop talking. Preferably forever. Hold on. Hey, quit clicking on all those pop-ups. Haha, <laughs> uh, uh. I've already installed eight toolbars. <laughs> Are you searching for information on that vehicle through the Orbal network? Correct. I'm attempting to locate anything on vehicles parked at the southeast part of the Harbor District in the past hour. Of course, I'm searching every Orbal database accessible from within Crossbell City. Oh, perhaps I should hack the IBC's terminal and that Geofront one that Freckles is so very fond of. Chat. She downloaded, downloaded Bonzi, Bonzi, buddy. Bonzi, buddy. <laughs> it kind of bothers me that Ren is good at hacking because, well, like, not... Not unbelievable for her skill set and training, like... It's kind of annoying that she's it's good at like, everything. It's just like an extra layer of thing that she's good at despite her age. <laughs> Ren is now uploading all the Ren edits from Trails in the Sky <laughs> streams. You can do that? Ren, just who are you? Everyone, we're headed to the west exit. And Ren, you can... Everyone, we're heading to West Egg. Hmm. Get your eyes of TJ Eckelberg on. I'm tagging along with you. What the fuck? I'm you didn't along. like my great Gatsby <laughs> <laughs> I promise that I won't slow you down like that great Gatsby reference did. Is that a good idea? She's just a little girl. I thought it was a good idea. The great American novel is right <laughs> for comedy. I think it would be safer if you waited here for us to return. All right, everyone, to the west exit. Our plan is to get to West Crossbell Highway and commence our search for Colin right away. Right. Mission accepted. West Egg! Fucking... <laughs> Mission accepted. So what you're saying is you're giving our mission to West Egg the green light? Y yeah. <laughs> These jokes are hilarious. <laughs> Listen, Ren. It's obvious that you're something special. Girls your age aren't supposed to be able to do what you do. 
You're so cool, looking directly at the camera. I mean, how cool is Ren? Everyone, clap as hard as you can if you think Ren is awesome. Your skill with that scythe? You hacking as Kitty. Your logic and analytical skills were the key to finding Colin. Honestly, it's hard to believe that someone as brilliant as you even exist in the first place. I don't think it would be an exaggeration to call what you possess true genius. I literally Boy. looked away and I thought you were continuing the bit, but you no, sure that was made, real dialogue. You made us look like a bunch of fucking scrubs. <laughs> well, I am Cassius Bright. <laughs> Looks like you could put that brain of yours to good use. Yes, that's the essence of who I am. I can process information and immediately make the appropriate adjustments to nearby any situation I'm placed in. My combat hacking, doctoral dissertations, archaism control, and not to mention tea etiquette, all of it is made possible by my true essence. D doctoral dissertations? Never mind, that's not important. Your tea stuff, though. What I mean to say is this. You are painfully aware of what it takes to make your dreams a reality. How could you not be with how smart and cool you are? I'm inclined to agree with you there. Despite how impossible something may seem, I know what is necessary to make it happen. No, that's not quite right. To be more accurate, I know how to manipulate the world into giving me whatever I want. That's my true power. So that's how you see it. Wow, you're even cooler than I thought! <laughs> then, what do you actually wish for from the bottom of your heart? What do you want most? I'm just imagining being like the creative writing professor looking over this as like the turned in homework and just like marking it all in red, zero, zero. <laughs> Pardon? You said it. You're the world's very own princess. One who can be granted whatever she desires. But I don't buy that. To me, you look like a lost kitten. Confused about where she is and where she should go. Because she needs some flaw. I take that back. Maybe you do actually know where you should go. Because I can't tell you that you have a flaw. I take that back. You don't need any flaw. You're amazing. <laughs> Perhaps you think that there are too many obstacles standing in your way. You don't think that you can make it there. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, this scene sucks. That's just what my intuition is telling me. So I apologize if I'm out of line or off base. <laughs> P purple Girl? Yeah! You should have seen her. She was so strong. She was nice and smelled nice. And she had purple hair, just like Papa's. I think I'm in love with her. What? Shut up, Austin! <laughs> Excuse no, me. They're okay. actual siblings, Austin. That's oh, obviously yeah. disgusting. <laughs> no, it, they're, because they're they're separated. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Just who is this girl that he's talking about? Well, it was a girl who offered us to help us search for Colin. <laughs> If I'm someone, like, even as someone who played the last game, I hated that because it's it's not like, like, I liked seeing Ren when she showed up early in the game and she's like, oh, hee hee, ho hum, I'm Ren. And you're like, ah, you piece of shit, get you out of little here. Goblin. And, and then she kind of does, but then she comes back and like literally 50 times, Lloyd's just like, why do you talk like a 70 year old vampire <laughs> who knows everything? And she's like, oh, who can say? And at that point I would be like, no, say you little cunt. Like, why are you, this is so annoying. <laughs> yeah. Like they, I... it's like they felt the need to be like, well, we can't spoil, we can't say she's in the society or like, have her be too cool right away. So instead, we'll do the worst of both worlds. Have everyone just be like, wow, Ren, you're amazing. And have her constantly be like, hee hee, wink at the camera. Like, yeah. 
I understand that in Cold Steel 3 and 4, when literally, like, every high-level motherfucker is walking around with their dick out, going, <laughs> I'm an alien, or whatever. <laughs> but, like... In this game, it's so completely out of place because everyone's just like, we're normal people in a fairly yeah. normal town with real white collar crime. And then Ren's like, did you know that I can hack your bones? <laughs> <laughs> I have a sight. <laughs> oh, sweet Idios, what am I gonna do? Oh, I recognize you. You're the special support section, right? Yes, we are. Uh, is everything all right, sir? We're here for your support request. I can tell that you're in a bit of a panic. Has something gone missing, perhaps? Uh, actually, yes. Something really important was stolen! Whoa, bud. <laughs> are you certain it was not misplaced? Are you telling me someone had the stones to steal from City Hall? I figured the festival would bring its fair share of problems, but man... Can you tell us what was stolen, sir? Right. Uh, do you remember the giant statue oh, that used no. to sit on display here? That! You know, we didn't... <laughs> we didn't have to do this. <laughs> it's... You, you, you know, now that you mention it, it does feel a little more spacious than usual. Unbelievable. <laughs> How could someone possibly steal something that heavy? I could hardly believe it myself. The statue is known as the Saint's Prayer, a renowned sculptor crafted it when Crossbell State was founded. This is the very same Saint's Prayer by the famous Magnus Hector, yes? The magnum opus of one of the greatest sculptors known to Crossbell. It was a gift right. celebrating the founding of the state. not impressed, Ellie. Hmm. Everybody sit and listen to me talk about art. I've heard it's historical. Listen, story. I got this art degree for a reason. <laughs> Tears it. <laughs> I've heard its historical significance has made it the unofficial symbol of City Hall. I find it a little ironic that the Republican and Imperial factions hold hold so much power. What, what does this have to do with anything, Ellie? Uh, over a diet under its protection. Ah, well said, miss. What the fuck is she on about? Anyway, indeed, the statue is incredibly important to City Hall. We consider it well to be- Well said, miss. Stop saying stuff, though. <laughs> We can go. Oh boy! Well, here we are. Here Special we support section. Oh, I. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm assuming a character voice. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, this. yeah, you're making a pretty big leap, but I'll allow that's it. That's a that's a pretty bold uh, assumption there. Special support section. With my riddles, I challenge you to a game of wisdom and wit. For the starting key, lift your eyes up within the city's beloved symbol that tells not time, but can show the dark sky. <gasps> Phantom thief! <gasps> Phantom thief! <laughs> I never expected him to come to Crossbell. Who does this guy think he is? Why does a thief get to give himself a sick nickname? Wait, a I sick did. name? <laughs> I feel like I heard that name before. I also recall hearing that <laughs> name in passing. You two are familiar with him, yes? Yeah, but uh, I've only heard a few rumors. He's an infamous thief known across the continent for his exploits. He is both elusive and mysterious, and also responsible for the theft of countless works of art. He primarily operates in the Empire. This is the man known as Phantom B. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Lloyd, I don't really care if this guy is some infamous thief, but we gotta take him down. Right, but don't forget, there's a missing statue we need to retrieve. Let's accept his challenge head on, everyone. <laughs> right, let's agree. All all of us, come on, let's do I'm it. I'm agreeing. The riddle Sounds says, like it's okay. Time to agree. Hey, Please. Lloyd, what if... You read my mind, Ellie. You think there's a way we can check inside of it? <laughs> Hey, Lloyd, what if you read my mind, Ellie? Oh, my God, you're dating Randy? What? <laughs> no. the oh, yeah. <laughs> you said it. You guys are what? begging? <laughs> what? No, we're fucking. I mean, no. <gasps> For some reason, my gut, I wanted to like have Tio chime in, but my gut response was going to be, Pego of my egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best response. Because... Wah, 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 wah. 
Huh. Interesting. Uh, we had to call them on such short notice, too. I'll have to give them an extra tip later. On that note, I have a reward for all of you, too. Um. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'll be off, then. I'm going to escort the shippers from the freight company. Doobity doobity. Ellie sweats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, case closed. All this walking has made my feet incredibly sore. What is in okay, the package, Ellie. Lloyd? Package. <laughs> oh yeah, let me open it. Oh, we got a we got a rare quartz. Ooh. Ooh. This appears to be a rare quartz. Hell of a thing for a city hall official to have, huh? Yeah, I have no clue why you'd have something so rare. Oh, I know. we're all back. Oh. Uh, it's true. Did you really uh, the statue? <laughs> there it is! I can't believe you managed to find it! Wow, color me impressed! You've even managed to put it back in its original spot! Thank you, special support section! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Weren't you here just a second ago, Chief Clip? Huh? What do you mean? I've been in a meeting for the closing ceremony until just now. Wait a second. Then that must have been. This was all Phantom Thief Buzz doing. He is an incredibly cunning man. Leave it up to an infamous thief to pull off a party trick like that. <laughs> Catching him is going to be more than a simple game of cat and or mouse. Hmm. Um, what are you guys talking about? Anyway, thank you so much. Now we can rest <laughs> easy and hold the closing ceremony without reservation. Glad what are you guys it. talking about? Actually, I don't care. <laughs> Phantom Thief B, I don't sense any ill intent, but that doesn't excuse the fact that he's a criminal. We'll have to settle things with him another game. And by we will, I mean... And by we will, I mean not Reen us. Schwarzer will, maybe, but probably will, not. I mean, not really. <laughs> I'm the Grandmaster of Ouroboros. You know, I we have seen the Grandmaster at this point, yeah. and I would love, they need at some point for the Grandmaster to deliver a speech to like, you know, some of the Anguis or whatever. And then like, that Grandmaster leaves the evil space <laughs> the meeting room, comes. and then the, the real Grandmaster <laughs> yeah. shows up. Sorry, I'm late, everyone. <laughs> we just saw you, Phantom Thief Boy. <laughs> that would be actually fucking hilarious. I love it. Da 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 da. -da. What am I doing? I'm jerking it on the edge of this yeah. cliff. <laughs> I've been standing jerking off on the edge of this cliff for three weeks with no food or water. <laughs> Once you do it while That's looking someone in the eye, you can never go back. That's why my stomach's growling all the time. Hungry so, for cum. <laughs> so this is what the cruise ship looks like. Ellie you writing hear a, in her journal. It's just you hear you're a splatter on the on the glass next to Ellie. Oh no! no I think a bird shit on the window. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <Lord. laughs> huh. oh, that's foul. <laughs> the interior is surprisingly elegant. If you ignore the, I'm gonna assume that's bird shit. As opposed to the exterior, which is covered, covered in, in filth. Which is covered in cum. <laughs> I, too, like to sit in the villain's chair on my <laughs> cruise ship. Oh, so I see that everyone's just here to go to the weird eyes wide shut villain party. Oh, it, Bring it, us it, a song! I'm the guitar man! <laughs> I had a voice paradise waits! Oh no, he's, he's <laughs> alleviating us. Uh, Let's join hands and run along the shore. I can't sing Austin's Austin's drum solo is over playing. <laughs> Parasols, pine tree, palm trees, pine trees, and pine cones. The place where you are, that's my paradise. Cool, that was the end of the song. 
He certainly knows how to entertain himself all over the world. This window. guitar is filled with cum. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that he's not a half bad singer makes me kind of pissed. All the yeah, <laughs> blast. Something tells me that visiting the theme park isn't your real objective. That's a weird thing to say to a tourist you just met and don't know. Oh, didn't I tell you earlier? I'm coming as a representative of a certain shrewd middle-aged dude. Who are you talking about? You ever met Noseborn? Uh, well, I doubt you haven't heard his name before. The grumpy guy I'm referring to is named Gilliath Osborne. Come again? The grumpy gut! See, what did I tell you? Grumpy! All the <laughs> grump things! God. <laughs> He'll stuck up all Zemuria inside his giant nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> Us? Police officers? <laughs> They're wearing the yeah, jacket! Yeah, he's wearing <laughs> his CSP no way, that's jacket. true, right? <laughs> but, but wait a minute. Are you implying that you are attending the auction as well? Don't say as well, Tio. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Because yep. you just told me, Fox you, Boy! Because you just told me, Wolf Girl. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. By the way, forget all that nonsense about me being the Blood and Iron Chancellor Secretary too, okay? I'm just your run-of-the-mill son of a rich noble family in the Empire. The lovely ladies aside, you guys don't seem very noble either now, do you? Ugh, yeah. <laughs> Got us there. Irrelevant. We received invitations same as you. Invitations? Oh, shit. I was just planning on coming on the guards' faces until they were blinded. <laughs> I thought you, you were gonna go like a work? little more subtle with the joke. Like I was just planning on coming and seeing what I, what would happen. <laughs> no, no, nope, we just go straight to Phil from here. <laughs> yeah, all the cum oh. things. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I come. Say it ain't so. I will not come. Turn the lights <laughs> off. Carry me. She left me calm by the stair. <laughs> Surprises let me know she comes. <laughs> 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 Is it possible to run into each other on the way to the mansion? Fuck. <laughs> the last 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> She just go out the area surrounding the uh, uh, surrounding the auction venue first. It's being held at Speaker Harton's mansion, right? Correct. If we take a left inside the mall, we'll end up in the residential area, which is lined with all sorts of mansions. The she speaker took a left inside the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who comes on all. <laughs> My Gilliath Osborne's <laughs> ultimate plan. <laughs> Darkness. No. Hiya. Welcome to Missile of the Wonderland. <laughs> we, oh boy, <laughs> have fun. Mishy, fur and all. T My favorite tail? part of Michelle is his fur. Y you okay? <clears throat> Nothing. You did not hear anything. Wazzy, what are you doing here? Is your is your Ooh. top even more cropped than usual? Oh, Mr. Hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to use my room? There's plenty of space, but I'm afraid that Tio and the other one can't come. I mean, that's all right. You could take them. Take take both of them. Really? Yes! She she leans over to the manager. Listen, I'm the mayor's granddaughter. You need to get me the room directly next to theirs and a cup right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Listen, I'm going to cash in all of my mayor's granddaughter uh, social currency right now. 
Ellie, I see you're striking up a conversation with receptionist Dan as written on it. Oh, no, it's like an O, an A, and an H. Yeah. Oh, receptionist. Oh. Whoa, that came out of left field. Come on, oh, this way. Did I say whoa? I meant oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oof. Oof. C come on. Uh, let's take him up on that now. I don't like the way he is dressed. <laughs> it is too suspicious. It is too fabulous. <laughs> His getup? <laughs> I think the real suspicious thing is that a freaking gang leader is hanging out in Michelin. Well, it's not like we haven't worked with him before. For now, let's find his room. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, that was quick. In the air. <laughs> Truth be told, I didn't expect the sis to have such refined taste to sis sis sis. <laughs> Getting a vacation day on the last day of the anniversary festival and spending it at a place like Michelin? <laughs> Bravo. Uh, yeah. We just decided to take a short break from work. More importantly, what's with this outfit, Wazzy? Rude. Pretty stylish, isn't it? Let's just call it my side jobs uniform. You have a side job? What kind of job would require an outfit like that? Oh, Ellie, I think you know of all people. In the cold, cold world of high society, many beautiful lone- Oh, I was joking! Oh many my god! <laughs> many <laughs> beautiful lonely ladies search for that spark of love they've lost. My job is to simply ignite that and give them the time they desperately dream about. Wait, With God, you're, you're straight. What? 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 I'm very disappointed. You, you can't be Ellie, you, <laughs> straight. You basic bitch. Of course, I'm Pan. Ah! Fucking someone doesn't make you straight. Uh, oh, I didn't think of that. You work as a host, Wazzy. I work my ass off the <laughs> CPD while you get to have a good time chilling with babe. I, I, I mean, you're too young to be hosting. If you think I'm doing it for the money, you are sadly mistaken. I'm a little cum bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. I'm, I'm, I'm a little cum bucket, and I've heard that the biggest cum fountain in Zemuria is here as well. I... Vald walks in in a suit. <laughs> Wazzy! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm a little bucket short and... Cum. I'm a little bucket <laughs> filled with cum. Here is my... Here is... Here is... Here is my handle. Open my bum. Uh, Mr. Bucket? <laughs> Yeah, you. you put your balls oh, in the mouth of Mr. Oh, Bucket, <laughs> and then it'll spit them right out of Mr. Bucket. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm like, I'd love it if Dawn joined us more, and then I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Be... Hey, Ellie. Do you know where we can get some new clothes for the auction? I have been waiting to dress you two for months. <laughs> God, I'm so tired of watching you wash, oh, wa wear that same unwashed jacket every fucking day. <laughs> what? I wash it? Oh, no, you you shake it out, Lloyd. You shake it I out. Need that's to, not I washed. need to lose the spores. Oh, God. The, the boutique downstairs should be perfect for what we need. Oh, you're a spory too? <laughs> so is the lady I'm escorting, Small World. Uh, what? <laughs> I've been there before, so there's no need to worry, and I can pay too. Everyone's been making cum references, and Lloyd has just been standing there pretending. What is to cum? Like laughing along <laughs> yeah. the group, but he has no idea what they're talking about. What are you Why guys are they talking about arriving at somewhere so <laughs> many times? I'm in your party now. Since the opportunity has arisen, I'll figure I'll often eat. Ah, ascends to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw in a way to trick the people running the security checkpoint, too. Well, I guess we don't have any reason to refuse. It's obvious that he is compelled by curiosity rather than a genuine desire to assist. That's good uh, enough for me. Ah, uh, hell, let's see the guy out. That's good enough for me. Unrelated, uh, why don't you guys talk about cum a little more and also define it? Just for fun. <laughs> yeah! I mean, I, we all let's know all what just, it is. We all... Are very familiar with like you know. Oh, I, 
arriving at places and things like that. And, I'm uh, I'm a real come come get I'm I'm cummy. Are we all cummy? <laughs> I is that a no a name? Your faces Wait. are implying no. Look, are you having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. A pair of noble siblings, naive in the ways of this corrupt world, who hail from a small, insignificant country. Yeah, Northambria. Does that... <laughs> said a country, not a disaster area. <laughs> Does that backstory suit you, Fancy? Uh, it could work, yes. Yeah, we're from the Jirai Special, Special Economic, Economic Zone. Zone. I said a country. <laughs> Remiferia? So, so that means Lloyd and I are siblings? Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. We're we done! <laughs> Cursed. Despite looking completely different, considering the game we're in, I think you two could pull that off. No. Please load the save! <laughs> you look great. Yes, so. keep that up. Everyone will believe you're siblings. <laughs> Though I'm not sure if these outfits are good for the sibling story we had lined up. Had maybe we should dye my hair. Maybe I should dye my hair pink and just be Lecter. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm a big dumb idiot coming in a guitar. Check it out. I'm, check it out. I'm coming, and he just walks in playing a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I know what coming is, and Tio just zooms into Tio's face. I wish anyone else had been here instead. <laughs> I wish no I big was deal. dead. <laughs> no big deal. How about we change it to a butler escorting his young mistress to a lovely party? Perfect! I think I would rather stay siblings. No, Tio! No! I doubt I am cut out for being a mistress. Well, why not both? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure she has her reasons for preferring that one. Am Shoot I right, me with a gun. But that's so genuine. God. Well, I'll do you another favor. Where are these, Lloyd? And some assless chaps. Oh. <laughs> Glasses. Lloyd seems like the kind of person who would have the flattest ass in <laughs> he's, he's got like the Hank Hill butt. <laughs> when women get all dressed up, it's as if they become a whole different person. I oh, have a narrow urethra. What? <laughs> However, form, formal attire doesn't do much to change your look, Lloyd. My urethra is hideously shivered from spore damage. What? Let's stop this one. <laughs> I don't know why this is worse than the cum line of jokes, but it is. Something about the idea of a mushroom having a urethra is beyond unacceptable. <laughs> well, Just you're one? No, I have thousands. I'm a bleeding tooth fungus. <laughs> Don't look it up. While you're at the auction, it'd be better to wear something that will add to the disguise. That's a good idea. Thanks, Wazzy. <gasps> All right, yeah, how good. do I how do I look? They call me Feral Prochineso. Hmm. hmm, interesting. Wow, I'm surprised. I bet you'll give off a completely different first impression now. His his potato baby model kind of looks like Walter now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, what's going on? It's me, Walter. Wazzy, your map sprite is. Caked the fuck up! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh really? You said you were meeting with some lady, right? <laughs> oh yes, I am. They I am are a high, fun of me. <laughs> high class with ass. <laughs> Something like that. You need. You need a. You need a wide alley to hold a big dumpster. <laughs> I'm dying! I, well, I, I, it's, it's somehow relieving to find uh, what our uh, most grossest uh, session will be in any. It's this! God, I hope it's this! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> May the goddess watch over you this lovely night. And if your plan actually pans like me out, try and come. Try to come and find- try to come. Find me at the auction. I'll be waiting! Adios! 
Oh, he um, said a prayer. <laughs> bounce, 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 yeah. bounce. <laughs> May I see your invitation? Of course. Here you are. Everything checks out on my end. For security reasons, could you please give us your names for verification? My name? Uh, uh, P, uh, T, T, -er. <laughs> I'm Guy Bannings. I presume it's not mandatory to use my real name, is it? Guy Bannings? A, literally a guy who lived in the city until like three years ago when he was killed, possibly by us, the Mafia, since he was our enemy? Oh, God. That's King deeply Lloyd. sad that you would pick that name, Lloyd, when you my name is you want. Tino Burrito. That sounds more... That no, sounds better that, for this game, let's be honest. That won't be required of you. And yeah. your guest? Um, brother? Do I really have to tell this strange man my name? No, that shouldn't be necessary. This young lady is my little sister. Is that gonna be a problem? No, of course not. Forgive my rudeness, but you two hardly resemble each other. Are you adopted? <laughs> Are you adopted? There's a simple explanation for that. I joined their family after my mother married and died. So my brother and I are actually just uh, I'm dying. Just, uh, just screen capping that one also. Me too. <laughs> uh, uh, you can never win. win. You can never win. Add it again. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Ah! I can't. We can't get away from it. Whoa! We cannot escape. We, we can't just let them keep getting away with it. I have, I have never seen a writer who wears their fetish so openly on their sleeve as <laughs> like this, this dude. This dude just gets to make, sh make all the shit he wants. And he has a team of people who just have to sit there and be like, all right. I guess we're doing maybe, this again. Maybe he's the and he's just an alter ego, and he's the same person as the blue skin guy from Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, because blue skin guy. Uh, what? It's like fine. We'll give you one blue skinned character, and then you never talk. You don't talk to us for a year. Just <laughs> seal. <laughs> But, like, this guy is just like, I'll give you like... one minute. <laughs> He's just so fucking transparent. He's just, nobody else could get away with it on the level that this man has just gotten away with it. And I can't. That means we could get married if we wanted to. Wow, it's fucking disgusting. Get out of my sight. Super Mutant 6112 in chat. Go back to come, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for the new person in chat, uh, this writer has this obnoxious, over-the-top step-sibling fuck fetish, and I hate, hate it. Everybody what am does. I gonna do with you? You're not old enough to be worrying about marriage, because the fact that we're siblings has not has my not, first is not the problem. Yeah. There are a lot of complex things going on in our family, as, as you can see. see. Uh, I was too. tabbed over. I was tabbed over uh -huh. and uh, thought you were doing a bit. No, <laughs> no, we we couldn't be. On that. a different note, my sister here has some of the sharpest eyes I know. I brought her along in order to help me size up some of the items that will be bid on tonight, like a marriage license. Tee, I won't let you down. <laughs> Haha, -ha, you don't see siblings <laughs> get along this well every day. You what literally do! Throat. Well, throat. well, <laughs> well honored guest, we hope and pray that you enjoyed tonight's auction to the fullest extent. Turns to it, turns to his partner. Right, so as soon as they're in, we lock the doors and we set the place on we fire. We start gassing the place, right? If you don't mind me asking, you planning on staying the night with us? Oh, we aren't. You see, we've already booked a room at Hotel Delphinia and have friends waiting th uh, for us there. We appreciate the offer, but we'll have to pass this time. 
Very I'm gross. his stepsister. We can get married. Gross. <laughs> if you change your mind, please do not hesitate to inform one of the attendants. We'll prepare a room straight away. Also, you are more than welcome to stroll around the estate as much as you would like. However, please be aware that there are a few restricted areas. We apologize for the inconvenience in advance. That shouldn't be an issue. Thank you for informing us. I can kiss him freely and legally. <laughs> uh, my very much displeasure. <laughs> if you need anything or have any complaints, please make sure to inform me or one of the other attendants. Now, if you'll excuse me. You know what adds extra insult to injury on here? If Tio is trying to like channel some crush on Lloyd or some reason, then I'm like doubly mad because uh, as much as I hate the step sibling thing, I am deeply weak to like, uh, like mistress or master and their butler or maid, especially yeah. if it's like a bodyguard situation. One so of my she favorite passes that stuff. up in order so she to. Was like, why do that when I can kiss my flesh and blood? For <laughs> <laughs> anybody, nobody else could get away with this. I can only, I can't even think of another occasion in which it's like this. Like, this is like Hideo Kojima and piss. And piss. No, actually, no, you're right. Hideo Kojima, somebody has to piss their pants in every single game and we have to get like a close up. So I guess that is close, but they don't feel the same. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Macaroni, president of the Larson Company and sponsor of this cherished auction. By my count, this is our eighth annual auction. My, does time sure fly. Odd, uh, could, you could drive a train through his mouth if he opened <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm happy to announce that attendance increases with every year, and of course, we've expanded our lineup of auction exhibits to account for that. Everything you see before you is the fruit of your constant understanding and patronage. The night is yours, my guests. There is still one other thing that must be addressed. Every year without fail, one man graciously hosts us and our auction at this breathtaking mansion. I present to you a representative of Crossbell State, a powerful politician within our diet, Speaker Hartman. I can feel like some of the spit that's yeah. being ejected. <laughs> Yeah. Though previously mentioned, allow me to introduce myself once more. I am Hartman, the Speaker of the Crossbell Diet. It is a great honor to serve as your host and offer my humble home for tonight's festivities. Believe me, this is no ordinary auction. Famous individuals from a multitude of fields have come to socialize and mingle tonight. Remember, the night is still young. I have prepared a modest after-party for you all following the conclusion of the auction. For tonight, it would be my pleasure if you would all consider my home as your home. Everyone, please enjoy yourselves. No, don't tell me you have that kind of a relationship with him. This man has soothed my troubled heart in my time of need, I'll have you know. After coming to Crossbell, a strange place I've never been to in my life. Wazi came to my rescue when I was lost and confused. He even went as far as escorting me to the Schwartz auction. We're in love. Our relationship is nothing like this suspicious or well, whatever it is between you and that woman. Oh. I'd be more than happy to make this something more, Evelyn. I have a proposition. How about you ditch your heartless husband and make love to me? I can't deny that fi I can't deny that feisty, cute ladies like yourself have a certain charm to them. Wazzy, I could never. <laughs> How about you try to pull your moves on someone else's wife, pal? I'm literally doing that. <laughs> right oh. now. Oh. In front of everybody. Yeah. yeah, I think I've had enough. I think. Cut this thing short. 
James, if you want to have an affair, try to handle it with a bit more tact next time. Pshaw. <sighs> now I gotta find some other sucker to leech off of. The kids are white! <gasps> so I was right. Her being a co-worker was a lie after all! I'm fed up with your crap. If this is how things are, I'd rather go live with my parents again. Evelyn, hold on! I think I called you stepbrother. Ah, damn it! Uh, <laughs> I wish our parents never got married! <laughs> <laughs> God. I see. This must be what they call a lover's quarrel. Ah, it's just a sibling rivalry. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna head out, Wazzy. <laughs> I can't say I hate this shit. <laughs> Enjoy the party, you two. That's I, a very funny scene. He I'm just... afraid I... Well, you know, a little while ago, and I can't remove myself from the chair. God. <laughs> oh, yeah, you shit yourself. <laughs> That's right. Full blowout. <laughs> yeah, I was keeping my eye on some of the desserts in there. Oh... <laughs> Gonna cry, gonna piss your pants, maybe, maybe shit and come. <laughs> going to cry, going to shit your pants and come, maybe. That, that really is a lazy line. <laughs> it's a very pretty room. Yeah. I love you, brother. <laughs> I hate you so much. Don't. Don't put that energy here, because we know where it's going. What do you mean? I didn't put it here. <laughs> don't speak it. Don't manifest it, please. It's hey, Tio, let's get married. I don't know. How much Shimira do you think it took to build all of this? Ooh, there's not much use in asking me. I just know it was an absurd amount. Oh, what's with Speaker Hartman? <gasps> I you know he's from nobility, but is he really that wealthy? Hey! Ah! <laughs> what? Uh, you! Oh, what's up, guys? Hey, those clothes don't look too shabby on you. Looks to me like you have some taste and style after all. You're one to talk. You showed I up here in shorts and, and those little Naruto sandals. At least my pants aren't full of cum <laughs> or shit. <laughs> Only my pants <laughs> are. <laughs> Have you heard what Hartman's been saying? He's telling guests to make themselves at home. Don't mind if I do. Bad enough about my clothes. You guys look like you're having fun. Well, you have a long way to go before you're able to have as much fun as me. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I love Lecter, what a piece of shit. Uh, let's see here. I think I found the sweet spot. <laughs> Did he just pull out a vape pen? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? This man is way too laid back. And the likelihood of you catching a fish inside of a man-made pond is... Zero, unless I on brought one, one with me. Oh, oh, yep. Yep, that's cum. <laughs> Here we go! Is there a fucking fish? Never mind. Just eats it whole. Oh. Woo! I believe that's what the pros called a beaut. Wait, can't you see how messed up this is? <laughs> see you later, guys. I hope you all are able to fish up something this great, too. Huh? That, 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 come. Uh. Trying to understand what just happened would be a waste of brain power. My name's Garcia Rossi. I'm in charge of tonight's security detail. As a part of that, I make sure to patrol this area every so often. Please forgive me for any inconvenience that may cause. <laughs> it's fine, You're, you guys are doing a gr great job. I haven't seen anybody get in. Hey, uh, what would you consider your weakest parts in your patrol routes? Hmm. Just asking. We have to find some excuse to leave, or... Where? Where? Sir, <gasps> something tells me 
that we may have met somewhere before. The glasses mm -hmm. fucking fool him, yes. Aren't you simply imagining things? No logic, just wrong answers, head off. like. <laughs> I doubt I'd forget meeting a mountain of a man such as yourself. <laughs> you make a good point. <laughs> Met? Us? Maybe you were at my and my stepsister's wedding. Met so us? <laughs> More like, come, am I right? Am I right, Theo? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Crying? Still, just to be safe, do you uh, mind telling me your don't. name? Sure. I don't see why not. Guy Bannings, pleased to meet you, Mr. Rosie. I'd Guy. Sure. Something about that rings a cross bell. Pretty common noun. Yes, you clown! <laughs> Crap, did I screw up? Uh, things are looking grim. <laughs> Looks like I'm late. Yep. Hey. Oh, yes. Huh? Mariabelle? Good evening, guy. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> yeah, you too. I I read that as yeah, me too. I'm like, man, you are staggeringly bad <laughs> at this. <laughs> Hang on. I may okay, be sorry. guy, but I Lack but I'm, guile. But I'm not good. <laughs> but I'm back, Fennel. I did not anticipate this. Hmm? And who might you be, madame? I'm Mariabel Croy. Croy? Cross? Croy. What is it? Croy? Croy. 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 Oh, Jesus. fuck. No. Jesus. No, it ain't. No, you <laughs> ain't. The pleasure's all mine. You have my sincerest apologies, Miss Croy. You miss quats. I assure you, I'm well aware of who you are. I take it you finally decided to accept our invitation this year. <laughs> I thought it would paint me in a bad light if I kept on refusing your kind offers. Also, these two guests are dear friends of mine. Do you have some problem with them? Oh, of course not. Allow me the privilege of welcoming you to the Schwartz auction one more time. Would you like to? Sh would you like me to show you to where Speaker Hartman is? I will pay our beloved Speaker a visit later. In the meantime, could you have a room prepared for me? I love. It's such a subtle thing, but I love this bit of characterization of. Would you like me to sh like? I offer to show you directly to the most pivotal political figure in our city. And, and she's Mary like, like eh. Eh, maybe later. <laughs> That's a power move. Ellie is very important to you, correct? Yes. Yeah, well, yes. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that I love her. Come again? I mean, isn't she just the cutest thing? Despite being blunt, stubborn, and proud, she still has an elegance and calming aura about her. She's my best friend, and I'm proud of her. She's definitely all of those things, yeah. We're all proud to work alongside her. If Ellie heard you say that, I imagine she would have the world's brightest but <laughs> I almost missed her at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want to sully our cum stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that Ellie wasn't able to accompany you to A cum. Cum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fucking Christ. Oh, boy. All right. If she did, I would have loved to inspect all the beautiful artwork with her. Actually, is there some specific reason to why you came to the Schwartz auction? If our previous conversation is anything to go by, this is your first time attending. Well, you see, I received invitations for speak uh, from Speaker Hartman every year, practically begging me to come. But, as I'm <laughs> sure you know, he's a man who has connected a lot of Every individuals. Lloyd sweating. <laughs> My father would always come up with excuse after ex come in order to <laughs> <laughs> in order to keep me from attending. With so much to do, I was really never able to accept their invitations. 
what was different this year? So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the calm? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm in charge of all of Michelin's current construction projects. Construction? Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the cum stream, everybody! I I didn't know if anyone else was going to expect this, but we are here. We managed to hold off here. for a good, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many viewers do we have? Uh, four, including all of us? What? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you people doing that's, here? <laughs> that's, that's pretty good, all things considered. Guys, are you here for the cum stream? All things considered. Is this our audience? <laughs> Oh. Is that our target demo? That's the uh -oh. reason why I couldn't bear to decline another invitation from Speaker Hartman, who's lived here for so long. Also, I heard rumors of something being sold in the auction that piqued my interest. And yes, because of that certain something, I decided to attend the auction. So... What is it, exactly? An antique doll, crafted during the early days of the Rosenberg studio. Uh, I'm sorry, Mary Bell. I think we're going to have to excuse ourselves for a little while. <laughs> Things have started to heat up on your end, haven't they? Well, don't let me hold you up. At the very least, I can make some bids in your stead. A hundred million, Mira! <laughs> that would be great. Wire it directly from Lloyd Banning's bank account. Lloyd Banning's? <laughs> Good luck with the auction. What's with this trunk? This thing is massive. There has to be something in it, right? Next up is the empathy trunk. Tell hundred million <laughs> more. <laughs> Even if it's locked, I should be able to handle it. As long as I take my glasses off. Yeah, I was gonna say, what are you doing, Lloyd? Good thing I decided to learn how to use these during detective training. Would have never guessed I'd be using it in a place like this, though. Got it. So who's going to be this character? I think we should give this character to Mo. Yeah, I think okay, so Okay, that was also my my recommendation. Wait, there's what? a girl in the what? box? Oh. Yeah, we Hi. haven't we haven't done this anime trope yet. Oh, wow, real ass potato baby. Is this a Rosenberg doll? Uh, I know people have said they almost look alive, but this is on another level. What's going on here? Hmm? Oh, she's cute! Huh? Who are you? Oh my god, it talks! What?! How do you stealth, Lloyd? Yeah. Scream! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Lloyd? A girl. A baby. Y you're... Why would you be... What's wrong? Your eyes are super duper wide. <laughs> you look pretty funny like that, you know? I, I think it was warranted. Did you get yourself stuck in there? What's your name? Lloyd, you're at a black market auction for billionaires. You should you really should have had human trafficking <laughs> on your radar. Wait, do you know where your mom and dad are? Hmm. Uh Mom? Dad? Uh what are those? The only thing I know is that my name is Kea. Uh, it's Kia. I, Kia. I know I have no idea why it's capitalized that way, but it's consistently written that way. It's weird. Mm. All you can remember is that your name is Kia? But who are you? I'm from Sweden. I only know one thing, points at chest. I, Kia. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd, look. Judging by her clothes, the odds that she is the daughter of one of those auctions, uh, the auction's guests are slim. Then she snuck in. Hmm. Yeah, I got that. Uh oh. Oh, uh, so that's it. Friends, I think we found our mysterious bomb. Oh no! We have, we have a large suitcase with a Rosenberg Studio doll inside. Just imagine what would have happened if it was taken to the auction and they opened its lid in front of everyone. Yeah. I see. Oh, um, your name is Lloyd? Lloyd. Lloyd! 
I like it. <laughs> Thanks? Wait, my name isn't important. Kia, do you remember anything before you were put in this suitcase? Like your home, or maybe even someone you know? Um... Oh wow, she's really baby. Yeah. Nope, <laughs> I don't remember a thing. Sorry. She's pretty much the the babyest, na meaningful named character. Like she's older than like the orphanage kids from Sky, but yeah, as far as actual characters, she's as baby as it gets. You've got to be kidding me. Still, we can't leave you in a place like this. We've got to get you out of here. Damn it! Alarms. Oh dear, it seems our time is up. What the hell? <sighs> Intruders, seriously? Quick, check on the goods. At the da. Yeah. Whoa, oh, shit, yeah. all right. <laughs> Whoa. What incredible speed. Wazi. You're prepared for the worst, aren't you? If you aren't, we'll most likely be overwhelmed and caught. You're right. Why would you do that? Lloyd, please. I need to be able to move comfortably in my dirty I jacket. To, I need to be Kia, able to have my running animation again. Yeah. I promise that we will protect you until the very end. Hmm. Uh, I don't really know what's going on, but I don't mind going with you. I'm ready when you are, Lloyd. Good girl. Don't worry, we'll find your mom, dad, and inevitable stepbrother. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! I can't wait! You two, let's change into more comfortable clothes. We'll need to be as fast as possible. Also, we should contact Randy and Ellie, who are on standby. We're going to escape and take this girl with us and escape the mansion, and then we're and going then to we're escape. Gonna escape. <laughs> Roger! <laughs> It looks to me like the real party is just getting started, which is to say that we've got new party members now. Oh, we actually do. Hey. I was kind of joking. There they are! The intruders! They found us. Oh Kia, God, get she's back! She's so tiny. Okay. Damn it! We have you still haven't found the intruders. I guess so I'm much to start a riot in there. So much mouth on one man. <laughs> you have to be patient. The mansion has been completely sealed off. Those pests are nothing more than a bunch of scared mice now, desperately looking for a way out of their cage. Damn it! If this keeps up, the speaker Hartman is going to. Just hurry up and find them! Kill those brats if you have to! The front door isn't an option with those two there. Uh, look at him, Lloyd. That old man is as round as a ball. <laughs> looks so silly. Uh. Throw me in the water, Lloyd. Do it! I float! Doesn't! <laughs> <laughs> I think I like this one. She is obje She is objectively correct, you know? Oh, would you look at that? You guys went and caught yourself a pretty impressive fish. Fish? B uh, by fish? Are you, t are you talking about me? Oh no. <sighs> are you gonna eat me? <laughs> I am. I'm gonna gobble you up from head to toe in one bite. Get ready. Here I come. Ooh. Ah, shoot. I got something stuck in my throat. <laughs> what a weirdo. Good <laughs> observation, Kia. <laughs> you all have quite a lot of odd acquaintances, don't you? That Yin, the IBC CEO's daughter. <laughs> Is the SSS that magnetic, or what? That's the plan, uh, but I'd prefer it if we weren't, actually. I find this statement ironic when he has been even- uh, he has even more outlandish friends than us. Guys, aren't you being a little too calm right now? Last time I checked, you guys were trying to break out of here! 
Don't you feel even the slightest bit nervous? I really wasn't expecting Lecter to be the voice of reason in this mess. Uh-oh. Hey, uh -oh. did you find them yet? Lecter, hide them under ah! the bed! Make sure to check the speaker's room, too! We've got trouble. Oh, we got trouble, my friends. What are you guys hanging around here for? Don't you remember where I was hiding? Lecter? We do not have time to be indecisive. Nailed it. Wow, yeah, you guys are invisible. Hmm. Oh, hello, Mr. Arundel. Yo, good work patrolling the place, guys. I heard some cook I heard some kooks broke into the auction. Catch them yet? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. Where exa what exactly were you doing in here, Mr. Arundel? Oh, me? I just heard some crazy noises in here and decided to do some snooping. Oh, I'm stealing. Cr crazy <laughs> noises? Could that have been the intruders? Hey, come on out. There's no need to be shy, okay? What does he think he's doing? He must have planned to <laughs> He must have planned to hand us over the moment we stepped into the room. No, be patient. A cat? Hey, Noir! What the heck are you being a scaredy cat for? Everything's all right, girl. Psst, 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 psst. You must have had some bad memories of being chased by some big bad dogs, huh? Well, you can file all your complaints with these gentlemen here. Ooh, <laughs> I, oops, I dropped that's my... Great. <laughs> yeah, that's a great potato that baby pose. Oh, so good. Ugh, false alarm. Excuse us. Hey, bada bing. Oh, hold on a second. I just remembered something important. I could have sworn I saw some shady people hanging outside that window just now, but I'm not positive if it was the people you were looking for or not. Maybe it was. You are pulling our leg, are you? Can you describe them? Ooh, I'm so bent over, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that they had a younger girl with them, but I could be wrong. Does that mean the intruders escaped to the back courtyard? That matches witness testimonies, word for word. Crap. How and when did they get out of the mansion? We gotta tell the boss about this. Hagadabu. Bravo, a splendid performance. You have that cat prepared before the situation even unfolded? Can't say I know what you're talking about. Huh? So, how did the intruders from the back courtyard get in here? Oh, the world's a crazy place, I'll tell ya. <laughs> you really are a weirdo! <laughs> you really saved our skins, Lecter. Do you know how many of my men have already infiltrated this mansion? <laughs> <laughs> because of Lecter's bit of misdirection, the front door might be short on guards. Everyone, it's now or never. Let's head for the entrance, ASAP. Roger. Do they do the cat gambit in every arc? It does seem to be a tradition, yeah. They like that trope. What? Who, 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 who the hell are you people? <gasps> He's even rounder up close! Ravash is done! Forget about him! We need to keep moving! Arrivederci! What the hell are you lying on the floor for? Get up and follow them! Where the hell is Garcia? My, <laughs> isn't this an interesting turn of events? But that girl that Lloyd was carrying... Don't move towards the dogs, guys! Now that the guys with the guns are gone, I want to pet the dog! <laughs> Rush? That, uh, that icon was, you get an extra turn. Oh. Uh, I like that the dog went up to the woman but didn't attack her. It was like, oh shit, pets? Pets? Can I have pet? 
<laughs> and then we just run up and brain it. Are you two all right? What a mess. You can forget your bonus DP. <laughs> There's no time. Please go take shelter in the hotel. You should be safe in there. Uh, okay. Fuck you. Die. <laughs> I never should have come to this horrifying place. I mean, I imagine have... being attacked by dogs like right outside of Disneyland, <laughs> Disneyland, and like right on Anaheim in front of the Denny's. <laughs> like dogs just come out of nowhere and start mauling people. <laughs> Hurry! Are they gonna oh. jump? Nope. Oh, the boat went away. Away? Oh, Was not supposed to leave yet. They might have decided to depart early after hearing the uproar inside the resort. Ugh. I might have made the same decision if I was in their shoes. Well, from ours, it's the worst case scenario. Found them! Don't let them get away! Bada bing, bada bing, bada bong. They caught up. That's their, their passive running noise. Yeah. Bada, 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 Keep on bada, bada, running bada, down bada, the dock! Bada. We might get lucky and find a small motorboat or something. Will do! <clears throat> Let's steal a boat! Damn, looks like my plan was a bust. Way to go, Randy! You got us all fucked! <laughs> Have I mentioned that I can turn into a boat? <laughs> <laughs> Literally! There's <laughs> uh, not much time. You gotta turn into a boat, Tio! <laughs> yeah. And then no one ask any questions about it. Oh, jeez. I hope I don't miss every single shot! <laughs> Damn. I am Kia, but when I become Key B, I uh, turn into a boat. Hmm. <laughs> the B stands for boat. <laughs> the B is for boat. The bad men trapped us. Is this the end of the line? <laughs> oh, would you look at that. The brats have nowhere else to run. Garcia Rossi. Long time no see, special support section. <laughs> I was wondering why you and your fancy getups look so familiar. Hard to believe you actually got your grubby hands on an invitation to the auction. What's more, you had the balls to sneak in. I don't remember seeing any rules against police attending, or did I miss that? I couldn't care less. You see, we don't turn away potential clients. But to be honest, I regret being as naive as I was. Never imagined you'd team up with who you are to bring down our auction. Congrats. Hey, you, huh? Uh, what are you talking about? We are not connected to Yin. You can confirm that with your lackeys. Granted, they might need some time to wake up and readjust. In actuality, I'd say we were the ones who stopped him from crashing the party. Huh. That's so. Well, it's not like any of it matters anymore. All we gotta deal with is you making us look like fools in front of our customers. And trust me, we'll pay off that debt in full. All right? I take it you won't surrender if I pull out my badge? Why? <laughs> Would you Come even on. say that, Lloyd? Come on! The best part of the hunt is hearing your prey scream when you finally catch them. Don't look too down. I don't plan to kill you. <laughs> I'll just toss you aside after crushing a bone or two. Ugh. He means business. Jeez, it ain't healthy to be doing all this at your age, old man. Oof. <laughs> Don't patronize me. Try your best to keep me entertained, okay? The killing bear hasn't been on a hunt in ages. Let's make this one to remember. Crap, here we go. Here he comes. <laughs> what is oh, the he's got a mess I didn't remember that. Driver. Ow. Come here, Ow. Twink! Oh, yeah. I'm it's... used to going down, yeah. but not like this! Oh, man, it's, 
Bear. It's Twink vs. Bear. Uh, we'll see At you, Wazy. Sweating. Ooh, wedding. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, that, that causes faint, huh? That sucks. Yeah, I'll get him up. You d d d do it to Lloyd next. <laughs> Use an item. Are you, you alright? <laughs> I was just planning to have an appetizer. But that was the full course. Yeah. That's right. You didn't really win. Wow. The big man's already back up. That can't be possible. I thought Vol was strong, but he doesn't even compare. Color me impressed. What'd you say? Yeah. An absolute monster. That's what he is. I don't know. Huh. What's with the trash talk? A monster, you say? Funny you say that, because aren't you the same as me, Randolph Orlando? <laughs> Randolph? Yeah. Randy? I was spot on then. You come from one of the strongest Jaeger Corps in Western Zemuria, the Red Constellation. The Red Reaper, son of its infamous leader. A kid given his own squadron, slaughtering any foe who would stand in your way. Son of the War God, Randolph Orlando. Ooh. Son of the War God? Red Constellation is one of the most notorious Jaeger Corps in Zemuria. No way, our Randy? I can't believe that. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag, huh? You must have studied, old man. Got most of your facts straight. Though, I want to puke every time someone calls me Son of the War God. Huh. Can't help wondering how you ended up in Crossbell. Must be quite the story. You know, when I was working for Zephyr, the Red Constellation was always the biggest pain in our ass. Isn't this just perfect? How about we have ourselves a little clash of destiny? You and me! Right here! Right now! Well, you heard the man. Do it. Have it your way. <gasps> hey! Randy! Leave it to me, guys. I wasn't in the main party for the last fight. If I take on this geezer, you might be able to find an opening. Just forget about me and focus on getting out of here in one piece. That's not happening! We're dying here! Randy, you can't! Get a hold of yourself! Oh, he's going Super Saiyan. His hair! It's turned red! Oh, <laughs> cry. A Jaeger exclusive technique that brings out one's very own battle aura. Now that's the spirit! <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> over, and Kia was just like, "This is stupid." <laughs> we should probably what? back up. This is not fucking. What the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> Incredible power for sure. Oh wow, they're shining. This is stupid. If this keeps up. <laughs> Fucking kidding me? How did the fucking wolf? Get God, that is a miserable. Wolf yeah. Noise. After oh, all the, after all the, the like Dragon Ball Z power ups, it just goes. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't be a chicken. <laughs> ah, that guy's dead. Ch damn dog. Ah. Is that who I think it is? Who is it? Who could it possibly be? It's your chief. Oh! Hello, hello. Can you hurry it up? It's not as if I have all day. Chief! Oh, a boat. Nice timing. Nice timing. You aren't getting away. Damn it, you bastard. You broke my hand. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but it seems like our clash of destiny will have to wait. 
More importantly, were you aware of what you guys were doing? Trying to auction off a freaking kid? What are you talking about? This girl was locked up in, in a trunk inside the storeroom. Surely you know what that means for Ravash and Co, right? Huh? What the hell are you on about? That trunk had a doll from the Rosenberg studio in it. Not that kid. Maybe so, but that doesn't change the fact. Depending on how this whole debacle is handled, it might be hard for you to get off the hook, hmm? What a shame. Sounds like the situation's gotten more complicated than we thought. Hey, Ravash. We'll need to have a chat sometime soon. I'll let you sort out this mess amongst yourselves first, though. <sighs> Special support section, retreat. Come on, move your asses. Yes, sir! Sergey's like your cool stepdad that you're calling from, like, hiding I'm a wolf. in the cupboard at a friend's party when the cops were called. <laughs> yeah. And you're, like, hiding under the sink. Damn the it! Through. And he's like, don't worry, I'll show up. Damn it, aren't there any other boats? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> No, are people upset that they can't buy a child? Everyone, pause. quiet down! There has been a minor incident, but uh, the auction will proceed as planned. Minor incident, my ass! Those were gunshots we heard earlier, right? <laughs> Who do you take us for? I'll bring the diet into this, don't think I won't! Please, everyone, just, just calm down! Useless morons. Who do they think they are? How dare they make a fool of me! Speaker Hartman! Where are you going? Please, wait a minute! Yeah, every time I see his mouth, it's like, oh! Blah, blah. <laughs> I suppose that means the auction is cancelled. A pity. I'd say this visit was still worth it all in all. Who else? Where else would I have been able to see such a show? Oh, look, Emma Besides, of here. course, Ark and Seal, which is incredible. <laughs> you said Ravash is trying to extend an olive branch? Yeah, let's talk about that again. Yeah, let's see here. Don't worry, I can explain everything while we have lunch. Thank you, Lloyd. Are we I'm to explain everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's at least some good news. You guys want some salad JPEG and egg rolls? Yes. Our fears of the Mafia trying to bite back seem to disappear, at least for the time being. However, there is still such a fundamental issue to deal with. Yeah, well, all the decision-making was left to us. Right now, we should focus on our past and figuring out where she's from. Hey, Kia, do you really not remember anything? Anything at all? think so. Did you leave my manual in the box? Hmm. I, I do remember seeing your funny face when you found me, though. Your eyes and your mouth were wide open. Ugh. Wait, are you talking about when we first met? Uh-huh. I don't really remember anything before that. Well, that's okay. Still, not much we can do if she doesn't remember, Lloyd. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, remember, Kia, remember harder. You have to remember. Remember. Her. I can't stop, please. Leave me alone. Think she, harder. You mentioned, you mentioned you were going to ask around about her, correct? Did that yield any fruit? Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> about that. I looked into the train station, airport, even the city exits, but nobody knew anything about our mystery girl. Yeah, knows, dude, she was trafficked. Maybe it's a dead end. There goes that plan. Hmm. <gasps> What's wrong, Lloyd? Does your tummy hurt or something? Is it I don't tummy? have a tummy. I'm a mushroom. Oh. Yeah, the salad's oh. just a lot sharper than you think it is. The sa oh. <laughs> yeah, so I, I ran my hand along the salad and got a paper cut. <laughs> yeah. 
Chief, I have a request. From this afternoon on, would you mind if we brought Kia into the city with us on dangerous missions? Hmm. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, do you have any potential leads? Yes, so go ahead. In case it wasn't obvious, I was appointed to the SSS branch because I'm terrible at my job <laughs> and no one wanted this group to succeed. Listen, Kia, why don't you start using the room we prepared for you? You don't want it to go to waste, right? Um, but when I'm next to you, it makes it a lot easier to fall asleep. No, Kia, those are my spores. They're poisonous. <laughs> yeah, you can't breathe in my hair. Oh, oops, I've been doing it on purpose. If it's annoying, I can stop. Well, uh, no, I, I, I wouldn't call it annoying. Look what you've done, Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be so inconsiderate, Lloyd. Knocks over his salad. <laughs> She's probably Careful, still that's sharp. <laughs> good, good. Cut yourself on it, Lloyd. She's probably still anxious from everything that happened to her. No? Slaps the salad off the table. It shatters like glass yeah. on the floor. <laughs> By the way, I uh, think we should avoid going on detours or what? I'm not sure. After all, somebody's got a book somewhere, and we've got to get it. <laughs> this will be our only chance, too, and they'll be in the last place that we'll think to look, so it's probably that little nerdy kid with his pizza in the geofront. I started out a book! <laughs> no, I'm not sure. After all, it might help jog Kia's memories. Just go up to him, he's like, of a book. Check, check out what I shit out after my latest pizza bender you got, Chapter 9. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd, why does this room smell bad? I hate it here. <laughs> we should definitely be careful, but looking around the city afterwards shouldn't be too big of a deal. Got gotcha. A car! A car. <laughs> <laughs> Runs run in front of the car. <gasps> what the heck is that big metal box? All I did was move and go boom, boom. That's a car, Kia. You're a car, too. A Kia Soul. <laughs> a Kia Soul. My, oh my. I was wondering whose voice that was. It's good to see the SSS is in here again. Oh, don't be shy now, I'm not going to buy it. Welcome to the base again. I love this guy. <laughs> I know, I, I love this man, too. Good morning, Michelle. Been busy? Sup, man. Long time no see. I'm surprised to see y'all in here. Then again, Crossbell's been having its fair share of surprises these days. <laughs> Tell me though, are you guys okay? A little birdie told me you guys were being naughty with Ravas. I... It's kind of <laughs> wild how, like, Southern gay managed to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I figured you'd already heard about it. I did. Do you want us to get their ass for human trafficking? Well, that mess has been settled for now. Do you want no, us it to... It's, it's, it's just fucking... I'm so angry about this. It's so insane. They wouldn't, like, bare minimum use this as leverage against Ravage to, like, get someone convicted or, like, exchange for information for their silence. There is no reason they wouldn't go to the Bracer Guild for this. Literally none. They're cowards. Do you want us to get they ass? Hmm. Yes. Uh, hey, Lloyd. Why the heck is this guy talking off? Ah, well, you see, Kia, he's... Southern. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa, Kido, settle down there. Sorry about her, Michelle. She's a dog that we found, and she doesn't quite grasp the whole concept of manners yet. Woof! Oh, ooh, the little kitten has claws. Listen, dear. Everyone has their own style, their own moxie, their own pizzazz. As for me, little one, I have found that this style suits me best. This accent is fake. <laughs> Just as that outfit suits you. Simply adorable. Tell me. Does that make sense? Pizzazz. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think so. Uh, thanks, Grampy. Uh, uh, besides, I like how you talk. It's cute and nice and super pizzazz. -y. 
and Super Pizza's E. It's oh, pizza. I like you! <laughs> However, I'm not sure if I quite like Grampy. I'd much rather you just call me Michelle. Michel. I don't know how it's pronounced. Come on, I think with it's something. I think it's Michelle. It's, it's Michelle. Michelle, okay. Michelle. I'm sorry, Michelle. Mikhail hanging out with his friend Joachim. Joachim. He's a good one, this girl. Friend of yours, I presume. Well, about that. We actually wanted to talk to the guild about her. Us? Is this your baby? Are those requests I hear? The Bracer Guild is ready. <gasps> oh, a new daughter to adopt? To help? Hey. Huh? The special support section. Hey there, you two. Yo, been about a week since we last saw each other, huh? That sounds about right, but this is rare. You guys hardly ever visit the guild. Ooh, ooh, don't tell me. You came here to hang out with us, right? Man, I love Estelle. Hold on a gosh darn second. Who's the kid? <gasps> She'll match my other one. Oh, Hi, I'm baby. my goddess, who is this sweet bundle of raw, unadulterated cuteness? Is she okay? Do you know her? Can I keep her? Oh, yeah, she's okay. Her name's Kia. And as for that last question, I'm not sure I can answer that. Um, <laughs> I like that your hair keeps jumping up and down. It looks fun. Oh, are you one of those bracer people? Yep, I'm Estelle, and this here is Joshua. Kia, right? Nice to meet Cha. You too. And they're already best friends. <laughs> I'm not shocked. Estelle and kids just seem to mesh well together. But you know... Except for that kid she shoved in an oven. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if she's ever been this friendly. Heck, not even when we first met Tita. Just, well, I think went back when they first met the Ruan orphans and Clem was being a fuck, we did oh, a bit yeah. where... You, uh, you, we baked him. Yeah, we baked <laughs> Clem. I don't remember that. She's on cloud nine, that's for sure. So back on topic, if you wanted our advice, what seems to be the issue? Would the second floor be more appropriate? Yeah, as long as it's not a hassle. And it's about her? Must be. You seem on edge, Lloyd. Oh, please don't fade away from me. Oh, good, I'm still here. Delightful. <laughs> and and I would know a thing or two about being on edge. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I knew that back alley felt sketchier than usual this past week, but who knew? Goodness gracious. To think if things have fallen on this low. Y yeah, and as representatives of the CPD, policy dictates that we accept the reason Ravash came up with, real or not. If possible, I'd like for us to keep that in mind as we continue our conversation. Oh, I understand your organization is useless and you want us to fight human trafficking for you. Yeah, you guys Great. should actually be the main characters of this game. Hmm... Oh, well, we are only consultants in this peculiar situation, unfortunately. Even so, taking matters into your own hands and investigating the Schwarz auction undercover? I liked the SSS before, but I respect you now. You didn't respect me after I answered your ten questions? <laughs> I saw this you using bullshit. a walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Maybe you should have stuck to that walkthrough, Mr. I Missed Chapter 10. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <sighs> Same here. We tried so hard to figure out how to check it out, but we kept hitting roadblocks. You're telling us it was Ren, of all people, who gave you the invitation? That little punk. She could have saved us the trouble and just given it to us. I'm sure she had her reasons. She must just need time before she can see us again. Well, be that as it may. I'm sorry if we stepped on any toes. I promise that wasn't our intention. We should have contacted you at the very least. Don't sweat it. We're all in the same boat anyway. I'm just worried about Ren, that's all. But yeah, 
She's a real mystery. That's putting it lightly. Huh? Now, Lord, I assume you want me to look into her family? Using the guild's connections, that is. Yes, if possible. That's the reason we came. Is that... On the wall, is that just a picture of tits? I, th I, th I think that's a globe. Yeah, I, it's it's one of those maps where when you actually <laughs> partition okay. it out into two dimensional space, it curves like that. But I okay, you can just see like the tip. Yeah, right? no. Yeah. As, as yeah. soon as you said over on the wall, is that I was like, ah, okay, he's probably seeing that as a giant pair of tits. <laughs> <laughs> Something just hit me. The cell hits him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> She she smacks him with the uh, her pole, and on the end of it, there's a little note that says, "I want to adopt this child, no matter what. Yeah. Say something, Joshua." <laughs> Perhaps you could go further than just having Michelle look into her identity. Yeah, <laughs> Joshua reads the note. Um, <laughs> look, you, you we mean... already have yeah, um... we already have the purple version. We can't have green <laughs> wait, and purple. Wait. You you meant adopt, right? Looks at the note. It says, "I want to abduct this child." <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you should consult with some sort of expert on amnesia? Joshua produces a pile of salt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> they're eating lunch. She brings out salt. Anyone wants some? <laughs> I built up mastery in a few of these techniques. I've also dabbled in thaumaturgy. The church's secret techniques pertaining to the mind and spirit. If I hit you with this magic crystal holds up a rock, then it's possible your memory may return. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> holds out her arms. I am ready. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I was imagining. <laughs> Thaumaturgy. Oh, you're talking about that prayer stuff the clergy uses, right? Essentially. There is an organization within the church that specializes in thaumaturgy. But those specialists rarely come to Crossbell, unfortunately. It would be hmm. weird if one had been here already. Yeah, seriously? I'm not supposed to let this out. <laughs> but the church is not entirely a uniform institution. <laughs> Your name is Kia, correct? Do you mind coming a bit closer to me? Holds up rock. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, yes. I need you to close your eyes and take slow, deep breaths. Can you do that for me, little one? Uh, yes. Easy peasy. Great! <laughs> oh. Oh, no. You, you, it sounds like you might actually have a lung infection. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Here, I'll cure her pneumonia using a spell. Her hair turns back to a normal color. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> this is great! Now we've got fleshies, fungies, and bacterium! <laughs> the SSS really is pulling from all walks of life, and by that I mean the kingdoms of life. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, Kia. Keep it up. In the name of she who dwells above, do I hold this consecrated septium? What the... Die. This is that thaumaturgy stuff? Space is golden glow. Consciousness is silver glow. By your opposing natures, lead this lamb to her lost fragments' true whereabouts. Kia, what's wrong? I can glow too. Calm yourself. There's no need to fret. Shoots Been her in the head. Punches her in the face. <laughs> yeah. Sh shoots her in the head. What did you just do? Calm yourself. <laughs> Calm yourself. Pray. Pray at my, my murder offense. <laughs> How do you feel, Kia? There's nothing else you can do? What a chip! I'm sorry. It will take so much more healing crystal power if you want to use my thaumaturgy. But I'm afraid that will be eight thousand dollars. Thaumaturgy strictly works within the confines of one's spirit and mind, which is to say, it doesn't. That's it okay. Pays... I, I, I can buy one, and then I can sell it to my friends, and that'll help me make up the money. You know, it sounds actually, like you probably... already are. You're already familiar with how thaumaturgy works. <laughs> you know, I could, I could probably make a lot of money doing this. 
Couldn't you? It pains me to say that modern medicine may be your best option in remedying her condition. What a shock! (laughs) Medicine, huh? Never heard of it. Yes, St. Ursula Medical College. Despite not much research being done into the field of spirit and mind, a few years back a new neurology department was formed, and I hear that an excellent researcher heads it. I'm sure a consultation there will open many more doors for you to take than continuing with the church's with the church's method. Neurology, you said. Hold on. Doctor Why does this sound so familiar? Yo, man. It sounded like this is our best bet for keto. Wanna check it out? Yeah. I'm on the same page of this contract that I'm about to sign. <laughs> Good. Sister Marvel, yes. I can't thank you enough. This is gonna change people's lives. You know what? I don't think I believe in modern medicine at all. I think it's all just a scam. And that natural post about it on Facebook. (laughs) And that the natural healing is the way to go. We're gonna take your advice and head to St. Ursula right away to picket them. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Just to shout at them through their windows. I'm so interested in MLM. (gasps) Multi-level marketing. Wonderful. I think that's for the best. By the way, my break is almost over, so please leave. I'm truly sorry I couldn't be more help to you. Please leave. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just you guys. I don't remember who voiced who. You guys! What's up? Yeah, that one's, wow. that one's Marge Simpson. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? You kids are as spunky as ever. Where are you guys heading off to? Monkey spunk. <laughs> Haunting. I don't remember Momo. I don't think she's shown up before. Um, Sunday school at the Crossbow Cathedral is about to begin. Ah, that's not too far away. You'll oh good, my fine. break is over. <laughs> You'll probably be fine on your own then. That being said, you all must live close to each other if you have Sunday school at the same time, right? <laughs> I got so caught up in playing with Re- with Rue and Zite that I accidentally ended up skipping school. Psh! It's not like it's your fault! How can we refuse an invitation to play with a freaking giant wolf? <laughs> Zite's the cutest. Wait a second now! I don't think I've ever seen you around before! What's your name, girl? Profoundly awful. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it hurts so much. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm not a girl. I'm Kia. Kia, huh? My name's Henri. The energetic guy right here is named Ryu, and the shy girl over there is Momo. Oh, that's nice to meet you, Kia. Uh, it's nice to meet you too. Yo! We don't exactly have the time for this right now, do we? If we don't get going, Sister Marble is going to destroy us! Oh, you're right. (laughs) Sorry, Lloyd. You see, we gotta... I understand. Don't worry. Don't be late now, okay? Wouldn't dream of it! See you later! Goodbye! (laughs) Thank God that kid's gone. (laughs) Destroy us? What? What? There's a... There's a bunch of people coming out of it! Yep. They're all people returning from the hospital. But what they don't know is that it's the hospital that's making them sick in the first place. <laughs> Once we get on it, it'll take us all the way south to St. Ursula. I don't like anti-vax Lloyd. After <laughs> <laughs> all, normal science says that spores and mold can get in your body and make you sick. But I'm only healthy when I'm full of spores and mold. After all, did you know science can't explain how bumblebees are able to fly? I didn't, I didn't know that. Uh, can I, I get to ride it? Hey, Kido, uh, don't listen to Lloyd in anything (laughs) regarding medical (laughs) knowledge. I trust everything Lloyd has ever said. Oh, no. (laughs) I hope you're excited. I am super excited. I hope you're excited to see this fa- giant facade that the government has created for us. Because the Earth is flat? Yes! 
Okay, come Whoa. on, let's get on. Didn't you guys see those tits on the wall? <laughs> Them tits were anything but flat, and that was a map! <laughs> <laughs> Don't trip on the way in, Keto. We call the shape of the world the goddess's bosom. My Randy sounds suspiciously like Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> oh, uh, Lloyd, Lloyd, look! It's so pretty! And what don't you see? That's right, Kia! A, a curve! A curve! There's no curve! There never was! That's right. too loud, Kia! The lizard men who run our country <laughs> will hear you! <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. He started watching <laughs> Alex Jones six weeks ago, and you know how it goes. Don't worry. That's Don't. a woman. That's very clearly the woman. <laughs> Don't worry about it. A lively kid is a healthy kid. <laughs> no, okay, go ahead. Are you going to visit someone? No. We just need to consult some of the hospital's doctors about the lies that they spew. <gasps> wow, I can see a cute little island over there! Oh, it's so funny looking! <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? <laughs> Sir, we not vaccinate lady. you? <laughs> Our little lady is always in with the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Super mutant. I'm going to be honest. I preferred the cum bit to the anti-vax <laughs> bit. <laughs> oh, what'd you say this place was? A hospital? Yeah. Yep. In, in Erebonian, that means house of lies. <laughs> I heard that on Senator Noseborn's podcast. <laughs> oh. Yep, but it's also a medical college. There's even a research lab here, too. It's possible that they'll be able to help you with recovering your memory, Kia, but I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, yeah, it's because it lies. Uh, is, it a, is it a big deal if I remember things or not? Lloyd, Randy, would it make you happy if I remembered everything? No, that would be leading you, and I can't do that because you're a child. Oh. I'm sure you got a lot of great memories stored in your noggin. Don't want to just lose them, right? Mm, okay. If I was abducted into human trafficking, probably not. Yeah. I will do my bestest to remember everything. <laughs> bestest isn't a word. You're a fool, Kia. A stupid <laughs> fool. You're a just another sheeple. sheeple. <laughs> However, don't overwork yourself trying to remember, okay? Got it. Don't remember anything. Alrighty, let's You're just a sheeple. The only way you can prevent yourself from being a sheeple is to uncritically listen to everything I spoon feed you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, I think we gave you the gist of the situation earlier. We were planning to take Kia to the neurology department. Do you know what a brain is? <laughs> I do, but I think you may have already met brain. Dr. Joachim Gunter is his name. Damn it. Oh no! Wait, what? Dr. Gunter spe specializes in neurology? Huh. Didn't see that coming. Well, I wouldn't at first... say he specializes in anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, at first glance, you just see a carefree fisherman, but I've heard that he actually made some amazing breakthroughs at a foreign medical institution. Here at St. discovered a heretofore unknown fish! <laughs> Here at St. Ursula, he manages the pharmacology and neurology departments. Oh my god, really? Well, that's pretty impressive. So you think talking about Kia's condition with him would be a safe bet? I do. I have no doubt that he'll be able to help in some fashion. If Even only though it is a bit of a HIPAA violation. He can, he can remove her brain and replace it with a squid, one of those electrical ones to stimulate her nerves. See if it works. I don't know what I'm doing. You know I'm not a doctor, right? I just wear this outfit. I just wear this outfit and hang out here. You should stop by the reception desk and see if he's available. Uh, come to think of it, do you even know how to get to Dr. Gunter's lab? It's on the fourth floor. If of the so, you could floor. show him. Yeah. <laughs> I can take you there if you'd like. 
I think we'll be all right. Thanks, though. Ready to see the doctor, Kia? Yep, to the research thingy. Let's go. Kia, follow me. Gotcha. Oh, she's learning. I'm um, gonna I'm on my way. Beep boop on the way. Good afternoon, doctor. Can oh, I'm thank you. You're not here. Let me push this work out of my way. Oh, look at that. All I have is a bag full of jelly with bones. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lloyd and Randy, right? I appreciated our little duel during the anniversary festival. It was a lot of fun, thanks to you. <laughs> Never change, Doc. I'm sorry about this, Doctor. I know you're usually supposed to set up an appointment for these kinds of things. Oh, no, you are? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I was just about to take a break anyway. Shocking, I know. <laughs> It's amnesiac you're taking care of. Is that her? Yes, this is Kia. Uh, hey, Lloyd. Is this old man with the glasses going to restore my memories? No, he's a fraud. If old oh. man? I need to go fishing. <laughs> I was hoping my outfit would help me look younger, but I guess I can't run from the truth. I'm old. Character bio, he's like 22. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're still plenty young. Listen up, Kido. In times like this, just stick with calling people Mr. and Miss, even if it's a little too flattering, all right? Well, that's why I should... Why should I do that? I don't know what hurt was, her line, or your pity. Well, whatever. Why don't you have a seat? If you could explain to me the current situation, that would be extremely helpful. Or I could just go for it. It's sometimes just fun. It's like hitting I'm feeling lucky on Google. <laughs> I think I understand the general situation. Even the Septian Church's thaumaturgy couldn't... Oh, that's a fun word to say in this yeah. accent. Uh, couldn't recover her memories. Well, it's not because it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> That means, just like the sister said, there could be an issue with her nervous system. Chat. Sure, I'll help restore her memories, but if it doesn't work, I get to transfer my aging mind into her useful <laughs> body. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid of that. Do you know of any other way we could potentially recover her, mem her memories? I'll be honest with you, research into cranial nerves and brain cells has only just begun. There are many different possibilities as to the source of her amnesia, but no treatments for the current uh, for the condition currently exists. However, Kia, do you mind looking into my eyes? Sure. Mm. No issues with her pupils. Over the past few days, have you experienced headaches or nausea? Uh, headaches? Naus nausea? He wants to know if your head or tummy has been hurting. No, I felt great. He said so. I don't think she has any brain damage then. I just looked at her. She's probably fine. <laughs> that must mean... Got some new idea? Well, it's simply my intuition speaking. It's possible that this case of amnesia may be the side effect of some drug. Drugs? Y you're telling me meds might be what caused her to lose a memory? Yeah. I mean, you said she was a victim of human trafficking, yeah? So, I mean, you'd have to assume. Yes, as few as they are, there have been cases like that in the past. A drug's ingredients can sometimes inhibit certain transmissions to the nervous system. So in most of those cases, amnesia is accompanied by a complete breakdown of the mind. I doubt we will be able, I doubt we will be able to apply the same rules to Kia's case, though. Oh, I've already failed as a father. My daughter's just a junkie. Yes, you... I'm you disappointed came, in you. You came in here talking about anti-vax, so that's not a surprise. <laughs> She's definitely not crazy, that's for sure. You're crazy. <laughs> Look, I might- no, I'm lazy, you're saying it's wrong. Definitely not. She's a regular girl, always bouncing off the wall. Huh? Does she literally bounce off the wall? Because that might cause cranial trauma. You know, the field of pharmacology is still very much developing. 
It's not impossible that the drug with these unknown side effects has been created. In other words, we should look at this from both possible angles. An issue with the nervous system and the side effect of a drug. That might be the best idea. Is it possible to perform some tests here at St. Ursula? You can perform tests anywhere, of course. Oh, you mean like doctor tests? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a hospital. It's just on top of taking a long time, there's no guarantee that her memories can even be recovered at this point. Oh, you point. mean like doctor tests? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what they tell me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I failed those. But if you're fine with that, then... <laughs> That's not very reassuring. So. What, my my diagnosis or the fact I don't have a medical license? You're both. So, yes. So uh, how long is this test supposed to take, Doc? Oh, probably around three decades. But if possible, I would like to run tests on her here for at least a week. Oh, three decades at minimum? That's how long it will take for the test to pursue... Uh, that's a tall, that's a tall, no! I took a drug, I shouldn't have eaten so much jelly with the bone. <laughs> that's you <laughs> have to take for the dead space, pursuing the drug possibility to finish. Did you make sure that you removed the mercury from the fish that you're eating? <laughs> Dr. You're you supposed to remove? <laughs> you're supposed to remove the mercury? Oh, if only I had known, if only there had been a doctor around. <laughs> It involves analyzing what's excreted from one's body using certain chemicals. Now, this is usually a costly examination, <laughs> but we can lower the medical fees given how unusual this case is. All you have to do is sell these crystals for me. How does that sound? <laughs> oh yeah, I just bought some of these from uh, Miss Marble. Oh Marble. damn it! You're already well, on, but never mind. You're fucking here. worthless to me. <laughs> well, I can buy some more. Oh, that just means more for me to sell. I don't know why you would think that way, but okay. <laughs> Randy, are you interested? I... Yeah, Randy, are you interested in buying some of these from me? Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're very useful. I, I've been just... carrying them around for about an hour, and I feel very invigorated. <laughs> just that one fucking... That one Brennan Lee Mulligan Oreo CEO thing where it's just yeah. like, we got, um, we got like this kind of Oreo, yeah. uh, d double stuff, uh, d d trip, extra stuff. What's the difference between double and extra stuff? It has more stuffing. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, how, how is big stuff different from double stuff? Uh, it, it's more. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> W would you mind staying at the hospital for the next three days? <laughs> Stay here? Uh, aren't you, aren't you concerned they're gonna indoctrinate me into the round earth society? Literally! Indoctrinate! Aww. Really? That was quick. Okay. Wonderful! Shall we go ahead and start the initial examinations? If she has any personal things or... Clothes, you should probably drop them by when you can. I won't be here. It takes three days for the procedure because that's usually how long it takes for me to remember I have a thing to do that isn't fishing. Yes, we'll be sure to bring them by sometime soon. Within the next three days, I'm sure. Uh, Lo uh Lloyd? I'm okay with staying here, but can I still sleep with you? Kia! <laughs> If I can't, uh, I'm sure I'll live, but... Well, that's not it, Kia. You see, only you would be staying at the hospital. What? Then where are you guys gonna sleep? Well, uh, we're gonna keep staying in the old SSS building. But I promise we'll come no. see you every... No. Uh, no. No. Huh? No. No. You guys are trying to get rid of me. I, I, you don't want to take care of me anymore. W th that's not true. <laughs> come on, he said it's just for a little bit. Once it's over, you'll come back and live with us like normal. I don't care. I don't, I don't want to stay at the guild or, or this hospital. K Kia. You're stupid, Lloyd. Ellie was right. You're stupid. Wait, El wait, what did Ellie say? <laughs> It is true, though. You are pretty stupid. 
Oof. She's mad. Real mad. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm sorry about this, Dr. Grinter. You went through all this trouble and... No, this is great. Now I don't have to work. I'm going fishing. It's fine. Besides, in that state, forcing her to take the test will just backfire. Actually, I don't know if those tests would have produced any helpful results in the first place. Get out of here! <laughs> but she's cool diet. <sighs> All right, I knew it. <laughs> Waiting for her. Man. Come on, man! It's not that medicine is stupid. It's just that this guy is stupid. It's true. <laughs> Waiting for her memories to return naturally might be a good plan, too. That doesn't involve me. If you ever need advice on the matter, don't hesitate to give me a call. But I won't be here. In the meantime, I'll look into some of these amnesia cases during my free time, which is always. Uh, thanks a lot, Doctor. Appreciate it. Who was I just talking to? <laughs> oh, well! <laughs> Ah, <sighs> darn. I didn't think she'd be that against it. <laughs> think about it like this. Keto wants to stay with you so badly, she ran away so she could. Yeah, you make a good point. Uh, for now, let's focus on finding her. I just hope she hasn't managed to get too far away. Drowning in a puddle? Yeah. <laughs> to think we've been forced into striking a deal with the, the sea. Of all people. Damn it all! This is all because you're utterly incompetent! <sighs> I have nothing to say. But, but didn't you get that doll yourself, Don? What the hell did you just say? Keep your mouth shut. It doesn't matter. The responsibility lies with us. It was our duty to not let any intruders in. Y yes, sir. Hmm. Whatever. Speaker Hartman has completely cut contact with us ever since then. Not only that, but goddamn Hayway is getting more aggressive. Uh, damn it all. At this rate. <laughs> Please, relax, Don. Our stranglehold on Crossbell is as firm as ever. If we can fend off Hayway's onslaught, I'm sure even Speaker Hartman- Garcia! Where the hell is the guarantee that we can even hold out against them? You haven't managed to even take the head of a single measly assassin! Damn. Well... Damn it! At this rate, we, we won't be able to rely on Hartman's assistance anymore. Uh, what should we do? God, there's more, there's more macaroni in his mouth every line. Mm. <laughs> Anything is fair game at this point. Uh, I've decided it's time we pull out our trump card. A trump card? Y you don't mean... Are you sure, Don? <laughs> Why so surprised, Garcia? That sort of insurance was made for times like this. But it's way too risky. Forget the police. This is going to get the Bracer Guild on our asses. The answer is simple. Crush Hayway like the bugs they are before the Guild ever finds out. This seems like the perfect time to conduct a test run of our distribution network. What? Okay. What we'll never hand over the reins of Crossbell's underworld to some goddamn outsiders! What? Would you mind bringing me the ingredients as I ask for them? Uh, I'm just about to start boiling the noodles. Hurry up, get the bread! Toss me the bread! I need okay. the bread! I got it! I, I'm sorry, Chef! I'm sorry, Chef! Chopped tomatoes! <laughs> Throw bread, chop tomatoes. <laughs> uh, re reliving your fever dream. God. <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? I got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Oh, we're doing 
doing this now, huh? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Magnifique! It's ready! She saw Yay, Randy. It's ready! <laughs> she saw she saw Randy doing his fucking yeah. Jaeger aura and she's like, here's my chef aura! Wow! <laughs> it's fucking absurd. <laughs> Uh, wow, that was incredible, Kia! You blew my cooking skills out of the water! Uh, uh, how, how did you know what to do? I don't know. Something just flashed in my head, and I did it! Did I do it wrong? Shutting down. Hmm. Definitely not. Uh, I doubt I could ever cook a dish as amazing as this one. Kia, have you learned to cook before? That might explain it. Uh, maybe. Oh, oh well, I just know that my tummy's rumbling, so let's go eat! Whoa, what's with this spread? JPEG pastas and JPEG salad? Telling me Keto really went and made all this? Well, I gathered all the ingredients and did the prep. But after putting the pasta in the pot, it was all her. Impressive. Agreed. You could have told me you got carry out and I'd have... You did such a good job, Kia. My spaghetti is ruined, but what if I... <laughs> I were to purchase takeout from Morge's Bakery and disguise it as my own? <laughs> <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Lloyd. <laughs> God, he, he would, too. Delightfully <laughs> devilish, Lloyd. Lloyd, Specials. <laughs> Well, special support section, I made it despite your directions. <laughs> Chief, you live here. <laughs> Lloyd, what are you doing? Uh, isometric exercise. <laughs> Aurora Borealis. At this time of day in this part of the country localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> May I see it? No. <laughs> <laughs> what if she's the daughter of a family of professional chefs? Lloyd, is that you? That's a good one. <laughs> okay, it's Noel. Uh, I mean, Sergeant Major Seeker from the Guardian Force. Oh, it's a little baby. Uh, hey, do you want to be adopted? <laughs> it's been almost a month since we last talked, right? Do you need the SSS to help you with something, Sergeant Major? Uh, yes, actually, um, um, there's something I need a little <laughs> private advice about, so I decided to call the police for some reason. <laughs> private? What's this about? Oh, I say a private, but it's not very much Guardian Force business. I'm, uh, sorry for calling you out of the blue like this. It's no big deal. We were in the middle of having lunch anyway. So, where are we now? If you want to talk face to face, we can make it happen. Really? You're leaning down? As of now, I'm at the city's north exit. Would you care if I came to you? Feel free. Uh, by the way, have you eaten yet? I could whip up some more pasta for you if you want. What? No, you don't have to put yourselves out for me. Oh, it's no problem. I'll have a child do it. Oh, what? Thanks! <laughs> I'll start making my way to the third building, if you don't mind. Awesome. We'll be waiting for you. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See you soon. Good click. That is, uh, I, I would like to applaud you, Jello. <laughs> that, that was riveting every fucking syllable. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, Trails of Zero. Only the highest of pitched voices for yeah. Shallow. <laughs> Who was that child? Yeah, I was, I was like, that, that having just happened makes me think Noel was really loud on the phone, so this is actually Ellie going, Who was that? <laughs> Who the fuck were you yeah. talking to? Sergeant Major Seeker, believe it or not. I don't. She's, like She's reverse aging like Benjamin Button. Uh, she says she needs some advice on something work-related. I assume it has something to do with her being a three-year-old right now. Her? Shoot, something must be up. Or down, like her age. <laughs> Ha-cha-cha! Is somebody coming to visit? 
Randy, like, going, like, oh, hooray, am I right? And then, like, raising a hand for a high five, and Lloyd wanting to, re to return the gesture, but being, like, a little too weird, and just going, cha cha and doing, like, a little disco dance while Randy is left angry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Noel, are you friends with sister? Not anymore! <laughs> Speaking, because <laughs> your hair is the same color as hers, and your faces are so similar. You think so? She's always been the cutest ecosystem until now, but my wish is a monkey's paw. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that she's actually just been de-aged to a toddler and nobody is commenting. <laughs> nobody cares. What? They're just like, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go full all this either if it weren't for my duty. Currently a word I find funny, yeah. but leaving <laughs> everything as is, as yeah, if nothing too. happened, I just can't accept that. Allow me to accompany you out to the Although I'm getting worse, I know I see oh, you no. in here, so I can tell it was very difficult, so I can take you all across Crossbell if you like. I wouldn't recommend it though. Are you seriously saying that we're the most qualified people in the entire city just based on the fact that we have been in an, or that we've been in a dungeon with the higher elements active before? To be honest, I just like hanging out with you guys. If I'm oh. just using it for transportation, it shouldn't be a problem. How about we head to the ruins after we finish up the support requests? That should work, right? I believe so. It'd certainly be more efficient to use the car, too. But seeing as though you are regressing in age, maybe somebody else should drive. I, for one, would love to be driven around by the Sergeant Major. It would be very funny. <laughs> Hell yeah! Looks like we're finally getting the First Division treatment today, guys. That fucking First Division officer who looks like Machias pulls oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> Pull over, routine inspection. Was he to be the problem? <laughs> yeah, I didn't believe it. <laughs> I didn't believe it when we received the call, but we did hear uh, that Lloyd and the uh, SSS were driving around with a baby. <laughs> or rather, a baby was driving around with the SSS. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll see, uh, officer, that that's not the case at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Uh, it's decided then. Kia, we're going to be out for most of the afternoon. Clean this shit up. Hmm. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll set no fires. And everyone, have fun getting rid of the big bad ghosts. Did you say that? Guys? Oh, I never set fires. I was told setting fires is wrong. Chapter yeah. 4. Creeping Wisdom. Creepy pasta. Creepy <laughs> pasta. So you want to collect a bunch of twinkets around here to grab for a special charm for your dad? Yeah, wow, that's really that's really condescending, Sergeant Major Seeker. <laughs> this is just She's my... a blind child. What are you talking about? This is my normal disposition. This is this is kind of fucked up. I'm just saying, like, like what we do, what we what we do back at the SSS building, like you. We can kind of keep some of that stuff there. I am shorter than her! <laughs> <laughs> That's been a crossbell and tradition for a long time! About Kia's condition, I've looked into everything I could find, but I have bad news. Nothing is a perfect fit for her particular symptoms. There is also a possibility that she's developed a new, never-before-seen form of amnesia. I call it right. Gunther Syndrome, do you like yeah. it? <laughs> oh, I see. On the bright side, it looks like I'm going to make tons of money when I uh, publish the medical paper on Gunther Syndrome. Oh, I, I mean, also, oh, no, like, no, that was the she's lie. Probably, she's probably fine. <laughs> Fuck. Besides, I'm no sadist. I don't want to trap her somewhere she's obviously uncomfortable with, you know? If I had to say, I'm more of a masochist. Uh, what are you talking about? Man, you don't make a lick of sense. Let's get out of here before you give Ellie ideas. Fucking weirdo. You know. Hmm. 
takes out. I a love fishing with mm -hmm. my ass. What? Huh? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, I'm pretty sure this road leads down to the ruins. You are correct. We'll have to continue on foot from here. Well, thanks, Adam Sandler's weird voice. Get on. Uh <laughs> Gonna move on if we're ready. Indeed. Why would you say that? <laughs> Stop looking at me, Swan. <laughs> uh, could these ruins truly be haunted? No, of course not. Ghosts and Adam Sandler aren't real. <laughs> uh, definitely looked like ghosts to me. That's for sure. And that light they gave off when they vanished was damn weird. The three higher elements are exerting a powerful force in this area. For whatever reason, this place is also brimming with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Now that you mention it, we all heard the temple bell ring just now, right? Is it possible it was rung by the ghost? Uh, 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 no, Noel, please stop. It was probably the wind. Yes, it must have been it, the wind. <sighs> Still stuck in the denial stage, Mademoiselle. <sighs> what How are you? What sir? is this? You are. What the fuck is this? Oh, he's just a little guy. <laughs> oh, okay, I see it now. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is he's this? A little guy. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, I'll let you get guy. Got got go 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 go. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, she's crying! <laughs> you too, oh. Noel. <laughs> oh, this, is, this isn't my baby. I'm leaving it. We throw the baby into the car, and the car gets <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's an ice cream guy. Ready. Now, where the heck are you? What are you doing right now? Y Yoda? Wow, I wasn't expecting a night owl like yourself to be awake this early in the morning. Ha! Implying I didn't pull an all-nighter. I, Did I, you just green text yeah, me I, with I, green I text? Saying, I have formatted my query in, in a 4chan green text. Angle bracket implying I didn't pull an all-nighter. My face when. <laughs> but enough about that, it doesn't matter. From how carefree you sound, I bet you don't know anything at all, right? Don't know what exactly. So you don't know. Well then, I, the great and brilliant Yona, will do you a favor. In the dead of night yesterday, well, technically today, if Will was here, by guess, <laughs> but that's beside the point. Either way, someone raided Heiwei's office. What? They were caught completely off guard, too. No offense, all defense, you know? Apparently, they took some serious damage. Yes, me, it had to have been done by those Ravash guys. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Thanks for the heads up, Yona. Ha! You owe me one, Lloyd. That was... I... This is not a question. That was Yona, because I could hear him fucking green texting at you. <laughs> yeah, something crazy's popped up. Well, step aside, then. Oh, well, step aside then. Oh, you are <laughs> fucked, buddy. Wait until I fucking... Mm, I'm getting back to the station. You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead, Lloyd. Do you hear that? <laughs> fucking dead. Goodbye, Dudley. I love you. <laughs> oh, I wonder why he's so mad. We believe Ravash's regular combat personnel to be behind the attack. If that's the case, then how? It's Sal, actually. Hmm. If that's the case, <laughs> then Sal. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, now. <laughs> uh, through their though their techniques were simple, their speed and power were, were beyond comprehension. They were able to brandish those heavy machine guns single-handedly. Man, we're awesome. I mean, they were. Uh, our defenses were easily crushed by their unnatural strength. They overtook the first two floors with ease. No fooling. That's. It wasn't only limited to their power and speed either. They had inhuman endurance as well. Afterwards, they fucked us quite literally, and my goodness, did it take a while. <laughs> and thanks to that, <laughs> and thanks to that, I had to put into practice a few dangerous techniques. Techniques. The over-the-shoulder, the loop de dick. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous techniques. 
the poisonous asshole. <laughs> you seem pretty knowledgeable about combat yourself, Sal. Toad in the hole. Oh, sorry, that's actually an English dessert. I call it the asshole. Though there is also a position called the toad in the hole where you shove a whole lemon. <laughs> Never get tired of making fun of that awful dessert. <laughs> I am nothing but an amateur compared to Master Yin. Impatient, excited, vigilant, anxious. How do you guys like my new thesaurus? I am detecting a wide range of emotions from them. Tio, don't act like you've got some special power because you can read a face. <laughs> I, I just want to be cool. No, nobody that's why else. I wear these. That's why I wear my Vocaloid headphones <laughs> everywhere. You, you guys mean that other people can do that? Oh, oh no! Oh. Can everyone talk to dogs. Now oh, my no, now normal. my sensors now my sensors are sad. There's no mistaking it. <clears throat> they must be on high alert for any retaliation from Heiyue. My sensors are detecting sadness. <laughs> so <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> This isn't going to be easy. For now, ascertaining Garcia's movements should be... This is Garcia. Why the hell are you here? <laughs> uh oh sisters. Oh, no. oh, Garcia Rossi, we were just about to detect you. Damn, that monster managed to conceal his presence? Guys, I'm detecting anger. Huh. <laughs> you guys. You have the audacity to show your faces around here after all the shit you've put us through. I won't make any excuses. Our deal with you only concerns Kia and Kia alone. Then we're understood. If you use a deal as an excuse to come waltzing into our territory, I'm gonna beat the ever-loving hell out of you. Oh! Well, aren't we a dangerous old dude? I'm fully aware of why you're snooping around. However, you won't be getting a single word out of me on that matter. If you understand, then get lost. Uh. He expressed signs of fatigue. I can relate with him on that front, which is no longer considered a unique power. <laughs> what in the world <laughs> happened to Ravage? <laughs> Let's proceed with the usual give and take session, shall we? What? <laughs> I'll be anxiously awaiting your arrival at the jazz bar. Who's she talking Go about? Make sure to bring your toad in the hole. Hear that? Bring the toad in the hole, guys. What? What's a toad in a hole? Oh, you know. Uh, how should we proceed? I mean, we have to bring the toad. In the hole. <clears throat> if she plans to talk, we'll hear her out. We should be cautious around her. I don't want us accidentally leaking anything to her. Hmm. Ravage sold a child! Dilly noted. Still, Grace, I think you know better than anyone that we can't casually disclose information about an open investigation. You have to bribe yeah, Here us. we are, again, doing this for the fourth time. Of course I know that, you silly goose. That's why I proposed a bit of give and take. After all, aren't you dying for some details on Garcia Rossi? Yeah. He's my dad. Hm. Whoa! My dad? My, you know my dad? Ugh. <sighs> All right, I'll bite. However, everything about Sao is strictly off the record, got it? Chat, you give me what I want, and I take your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Score! This turned out to be a fruitful little info slot. I hate to admit it, but it's been helpful for us as well. I hate talking to you, Grace. Mm. You're a disaster. In fact, now that we've sifted through all the details, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I still feel like there's something we're missing. Something we're missing? Yeah, to elaborate. We've been able to arrive at a convincing motive behind each action thus far, but they're all haphazard. Like, they aren't acting as one singular organization. I feel like Ravash had a particular style to their operations, characteristic of the darkness that lies in the city. But in these cases, I just don't feel it. So, that's what you mean. Now that you mention it, I'm inclined to agree. An efficient system created to take advantage of the mirror reserve known as Crossbell. For an organization such as Ravash to deviate from that system is highly irregular. 
So in other words, there's an element to this case that threw Ravash out of whack. Something like that? Right. It's just a gut feeling, though. Sal's description made it sound like these raiders who attacked Heiwa possessed unnatural amounts of strength, too. It's possible that could be the reason behind Garcia's strange attitude. Wow, I should have expected this from you, Lloyd. You're a sharp kid, aren't ya? Hey, if you get canned, how about joining me at the Crossbell Times? I was actually gonna make that joke if she didn't. We can aim for the full-out surprise together! Do you want to get sued? <laughs> yeah! No, I, yeah, that sounds great, actually. Hey, for the record, I'd appreciate Lloyd, it if you didn't make me worry more than I have to. Lloyd would actually be a pretty good reporter, to be yeah. honest. Eat this, punk! Oh, I love those cards. Yeah, me too. I want that deck shit! Hmm. I love the, the Luchador Jack, that's great. Man, I'm on the king, good luck beating me. Yeah. Nine, ten, Jack, king, queen, and king. A straight flush of diamonds, baby! Try to beat this hand. You can't. Huh, are you kidding me? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to pull out a hand that strong on our last round. Ha! This is my true talent. You tied one too many games using those tricky hands of yours, but that's coming to an end. Come on, show us your hand. Might as well give up while you're at it, too. Huh? Are you feeling okay, man? Who said anything about losing? <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? The only way you'd be able to beat me is with a royal flush straight. There's no way you could have. And that's where you're wrong, pal. Whoop. What? Oh. Five of a kind? And they're all aces? I can't believe what I've seen today. Eh. Uh, what hands beat a royal straight flush? Oh, what hands beat a royal straight flush usually depends on the rules, but rules or no rules, it's obvious that this blows your straight flush straight out of the water. <laughs> what? Don't screw with me, you damn cheat! Drake, you're his accomplice, aren't you? Well, screw you too. <laughs> Uh, I assure you, I, I'm nothing of the sort. I, I swear upon Ideos herself, and, and during my Agreed careful you. observation of the match, I saw nothing that suggests Mr. Arundel was cheating. Can it? How the hell am I supposed to buy that crap? Oh. I've got luck and intuition on my side. I'm supposed to be unstoppable. There's no way I can lose to this jackass. S sir, please calm yourself. Seriously, dude, take a chill pill. <laughs> Poker's just a game of luck. Oh, after all. Poker's all it means is that your luck has run out, luck, huh? after all. <laughs> <coughs> I refuse to believe this crap. Gambling should be a piece of cake after using that stuff. Stuff? Gams! Look out! He's got a gun! There's no way in hell I could lose! Ah, oh, let go of me! Let go of me, damn it! You have to calm down, Gantz! What's with this insane strength? Stop this madness, Gantz! Well, if it isn't my favorite pals! How's it hanging? Oh, I... I don't know what I was expecting. How can one man be so suspicious? <laughs> it is unfathomable. <laughs> Quite the class clown we got here. An acquaintance of yours, guys? Sorta. Not like we know squat about him, though. Whoa, hold the phone. A five of a kind versus a straight flush? What the hell even happened here? Bro, you're cheating. <laughs> it was a real nail-biter, Randy. I was on the verge of losing everything. Uh, I can barely keep up with this. At least we were able to neutralize the threat before anyone was hurt. Let me go, damn it! Let me go! Oh, he's frothing! I can't lose! I can't lose! Oh, he's a foamer. Great. 
<laughs> We're all standing around him like he's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, sweet goddess. How could such a thing have happened? He may not have been the hardest worker, but he was a kind man. There's not a soul in mines who disliked him. Mayor Big said. <laughs> for a nice guy, he sure was pretty violent for a sec there. Hell, I wasn't Listen, Ellie, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Listen, I know a thing or two about nice guys. Hell, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that both of us would need to hold him down. Yeah, I couldn't believe how ridiculously strong he was. Both of us, the mayor and Lloyd did it. You didn't do anything, man. Listen, guys. This is just my impression, but, uh... I'm Lloyd Bannings! Ha! <laughs> what do you think? Well, yeah, that's pretty good! Hey, wait a minute! I'm Lloyd Bannings! I'm Lloyd Bannings! You think the guy could have been on some kind of drugs? You know, weirdly, I, it would totally track for me if Ellie was just like, let me test the grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, pretty yeah, good. She's and, like, she had society, so... Yeah, now she had like no effect. She's like, oh, a little, th this small amount of coke won't do anything to me. Don't worry. My hair was brown when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Oh. P -p pills Goddess. No. So our theory was spot on. Pretty shade of blue. But what the heck is it? I'll, I'll find out. Here. Pure Colombian Bam Bam, of course. <laughs> <laughs> like from the Flintstones, they're vitamins. <laughs> uh, we can't rule out the possibility that it's harmless medicine yet. Hey, Plea, doesn't Nikolai seem a bit different lately? My name's Plea. I'm I just kind of bummed. I think that's <laughs> Plea. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, well, uh, you guys need to knock before you can. Yeah. You're late. You're late. <laughs> Interrogating, hey, do I really take you that long? <laughs> no, actually, we, we may have just stumbled into another case. But we'll include it in the usual report, along with details on the hayway raid. Right? Sir Jay, is that something... Is blue on your nose? What? Uh, no, huh? No, uh, I spilled some Kool-Aid earlier. <laughs> I, I, I've been snorting Kool-Aid. Uh, um, uh -uh. Chief? Sorry, was it too convoluted after all? Do I need to say it all again, but slower? What, do you think I can't read? You think I can't read? Long... Chief? Long back. I read all about them, the, the little blue bitches, like Tio! Huh? <laughs> uh, it's just this, this series of events. I'm starting to think that it might all be connected. I'm seeing the threads. Oh, no. Y you do? Seriously? Um, how do you figure that? Now Tio said you. something. Hmm. Look, I know a lot's gone down in the last day or two. But I want you to try and connect the dots. I want you to see it the way I see it. You better buckle up, Lloyd. We're gonna need those detective skills that you've been honing if we want to get anywhere with this. If we want to get anywhere, and I think it goes all the way to the top! Oh my god, Why are you talking that way as him? Is, is he on the pill? <laughs> sure, leave it to me. These books look right to you. <laughs> <laughs> so today we were able to discover roughly three pieces of key evidence. So a bunch of those mafiosos took the drugs to toughen up, and as a result, gave them all big egos. Is that it? Nicely put, everyone. Dude, you're doing great. Uh, by the way, you remember the ruined, uh, you remember those ruined rumors that uh, Ian told us about yesterday? Guys, I'm detecting some strange emotions from the chief. Like what? Of course, Drugs. the traitor in that stock room. <laughs> <laughs> you think those two are already under the influence of the pills? Pills? Who's under the influence of the pills? Pills. Under, under, under. pills? I'll find those pills. I'll find them. I'll find them fast. Did you oh, smash what? them up? Hey, have you ever smashed them up and you ever, like, just ah, sniffed them right up? No, no. Yeah, me neither. I don't know why anybody would do that. Who could say? At this point, there's... That's nothing more than the pure speculation. You've got it's a terrible nothing idea. Me. It's a terrible idea. You've got nothing. Get back out there. Solve the <laughs> city. <laughs> However, things are beginning to come together piece by piece. You, I see it. I see it, I Lloyd. See it. You've wanted my job ever since you joined the force. I'm watching. You feel the same way. You're son of a bitch, Lloyd Bennett. <laughs> I do. 
But if I'm being honest, I don't think the special support section will be able to handle a case of this size. That's nonsense, Lloyd. We can handle it. We can handle anything. Nothing leaves this room. I you know, fucking Dudley wants to deal special... with it. The fucking Dudley wants to see something. He can kiss my ass. Oh, he can come out here and meet me on the streets. <laughs> I, I don't think the special support off. section will be able to handle a case of this size. What are y'all talking about? You're all giants! You're giants, I say! Except except Randy, he's one inch tall! <laughs> we might even need to call in the first division for support, given the incidents that resolve, revolve around the distribution of illegal drugs. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing, Lloyd. Perfect timing? What are you... That's right. My intuition. Oh. I found you, and I have a gun. <laughs> what? Get him, Kia. Wrong, Kia. Just do it like we rehearsed. <laughs> What's Damn. wrong, Kia? She shoots the chief. Ah, ah. Kia. <laughs> Just like we planned. <laughs> Falls over. Oh, are you getting hungry? Hungry for violence? <laughs> no, not yet. I brought a visitor. My gun. He's super grumpy, but he said that he really needed to talk to you right now. Grumpy? Yeah. Oh, he also it's, it's has it's a detective. Officer Grumpy. It's, yeah, Detective oh. Grumpy. <laughs> it's like a, it's the new Layton series, Detective. Uh, detective uh, Grumpy. <laughs> detective Dudley. You're late. Or... You're late. You're always late. Apologies, Sergei. Investigation meeting ran a bit long. If this is about the same thing we discussed earlier, do you mind if we go ahead and begin? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds good to me. Uh, fill them in, too, if you don't mind. Are you on coke? No. <laughs> I don't exactly what? have time for jokes, Sergei. This isn't something rookies should know about, and... Actually, I think the information they found will have ended up being pretty useful to you in your investigation. Or should I say, witch hunt? Come on, it won't take any time at all. <laughs> Alex Jones warned me about you. <laughs> time has stopped. <laughs> time was never moving in the first place. Are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Dudley. <laughs> Am I insane? <laughs> Just still alive. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm still Yeah, me too! <laughs> <laughs> Someone's messaging me about some files. <laughs> and he started talking, and I turned away, and like his portrait like turned around. <laughs> so I was like, that's a different character. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> um, uh, am I crazy too? Uh, the, the, the pill dust is in the air. But again, I, I did lead the Hayaway hey investigation to the special support section. Maybe they should be in charge. Perhaps they should be fine then. No, no, no. What the hell am I saying? Oh, God. <laughs> that's right. I blew it all in the air. <laughs> oh, no. If I go down, I'm taking you all with. Um, Chief, if we're that much of a bother, we can always just leave the room. Nope. Stay right where you are. Take deep Right breaths. where you are. Don't move an inch. If you move an inch, I'll know. And I'll the shoot stairs. you. If you move an inch, I'll know. I control all the inches. They don't call oh. Dudley the ace of the first division for nothing, after all. He sees everything. I'm sure he realizes what he needs in a situation like this. It's the same thing we all need. It's, we all have it right here in this little baggie. You want the bag of you in this time? <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, can't stop grinding my teeth. The information I'm about to disclose is strictly confidential. I need my pacifier. Does not leave this room otherwise. There will be consequences. Got it? <laughs> yeah, that won't be a problem. <laughs> he's holding the medallion, but he's still sane. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, this is a secret. I love secrets. You would love secrets. Looking wouldn't you around at this spy. He is looking around at this, just like, yeah, this is all normal. Yeah. <laughs> Sergey sh so Sergei shoots at Lloyd and like misses by a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, you missed me there, Chief. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Disco Elysium. <laughs> Tell me too! Tell me the secrets! Well, the thing is... Secrets! 
Oh, there should be some leftover sweets in the kitchen. Why don't you go and share some with Zeet, okay? Some leftover sweets. Yeah, give that dog the chocolate. <laughs> I don't there trust should, that dog. There should be some leftover edibles in the fridge. Yeah. They look like JPEG salads, but I promise they're edibles. <laughs> First division is being pressured from the inside? JPEG salad is a great Discord handle. Yeah. Ah, it is. Well, it's not quite as simple as that, Bannings. After the raid on Hayway, we received orders to devote all of our resources to quell any disputes between them and the Mafia. So we recently had to end on our investigation into the, the mystery drugs circulating throughout my blood. <laughs> um, really? The first division was investigating the EBBBs too. <laughs> EBBB. <laughs> Indeed. It's been a few days since I, my, my decision was made. Nah, the decision, I didn't make it. It was made, but by not, my, by not me, another now. Yeah, I made the decision. Days. I make all the decisions. A few days since I my, my am the decision maker. maker. I'm the decider. Frankly, I'm shocked that you were able to uncover as much as you did. Have you so told anyone small. else? Yeah. <laughs> How exactly did the first division find out about the drugs in the first place? We bought them! <laughs> well, we were tipped off. <laughs> we were tipped off about them by a longtime informant of ours, Drug Scoots. <laughs> <laughs> we were tipped off by your dealer, Speedball Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we couldn't act on her word alone, so we did some digging of our own. And from what we could gather, it seemed just like a silly urban legend. Silly, silly, silly. I mean, medicine that grants wishes and can bestow happiness, but it's true. It's all true. It's true. Listen to me, Listen to me Lloyd. I took it, and now I'm a detective. <laughs> You were a detective yeah, before, but I'm a detective again. I'm again, Lloyd. <laughs> I'm a detective squared, like a, a math problem. <laughs> Nevertheless, like my glasses. We, couldn't, we couldn't ignore the drug trafficking allegations, and we're in the middle of compiling a list of involved citizens before it was put on ice. Why are you all looking at me like that? Why? Looks like we hit the jackpot. Show him, Lloyd. Yes, sir. Pull your gun, Lloyd. Finish him off. What? Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Take a look at this, detective. <laughs> I'll be rid of the first division once and for all. The EBBBBs. <laughs> Are the EBs what I EB? <laughs> we found them on a certain source during our investigation today. We were allowed to keep them on the condition that we protect their identity. Did you get that in writing, Lloyd? <laughs> Damn it all. So it is real. And you're saying that it's possible that Ravash is a distributor? We hate them! Dudley, about the order to stop the drug investigation. Let's reverse it. Any idea who made the call? <laughs> it had to be someone high up. Our chief didn't agree with the decision, but he enforced it nonetheless. What a mess. Wait, wait, wait a moment, please. Um, does this mean someone high on the CPD's chain of command gave it? I! His defense? I'm scared. <laughs> oh, Lloyd, when did you get here? That's unbelievable. Come on, how low can you go? That's the opposite not... of high. The situation appears quite grave. Your grave. Hey, Dudley. It's clear that you came to me because you don't trust the department brass. That being said, what's your move? It's skull. Uh, to be honest, I didn't intend to do anything about the drug investigation. I was just going to eat them. If any of us were to take action, our bosses would do whatever they could to interfere. That's why it's up to you and me. Here, here, reaches into his sock, pulls out a gun and tosses it at Dudley. We're gonna take back the city. We're gonna take back the detective agency. You and me, Dudley. The gun flies through the air, bonks off of Dudley's head, and three seconds later, he reacts to catch it. Ooh, ooh, points his finger as a gun. You and Dudley. <laughs> Let's do it. But as a member of the police, it'd be too... 
frustrating to let this go. Too right. goddamn frustrating. Ooh. Detective Dudley. Easy then. Leave the investigation to the special support section. Lloyd, Ellie, you too, Randy and Tio. From here on out, the SSS will form informally be collaborating with the First Division. He puts his hands together. You four will take over the investigation into these drugs in their stead, since they currently have their hands tied. Yes, sir. Understood. And in return, we'll get every bit of intel the First Division has about Ravash. Sound fair? Dude, I think my papers are squares. Sir, I'm coming down. Regardless of the circumstances, we can't just go handing out top secret intelligence. That would, that's bad, right? That's, oh. Can't say I particularly care, Dudley. You're stuck in a stalemate, you know it. But by all means, do whatever strikes your fancy. Fine. You can have whatever information your grumpy hands want. Don't worry. I'm willing to trade for that information. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. Ooh, so we're doing the First Division's drugs for him now, is that it? You better not. I can feel, I can feel the superiority washing over me already. Glare. Yikes. Comment retracted. Whatever. All right. You've gained my permission to handle the drug investigation. How do you actually plan on proceeding, though? I should ask questions like that. Uh, about that, we already hold the key in our hands. All we need to do is figure out what the drug is made of somehow. Not a bad start. Do you have any idea how to determine that, who to go to? Based on what we know, we can assume that this is a new, never before seen drug. Using the forensic tools back at HQ is out of the question, and I have, as I have no experience with them and would be easily caught. Well, there goes that idea. You know, maybe we should just ask the medical college for assistance. Oh boy, drugs! <laughs> I think we know just the guy, huh, Lloyd? Oh boy, drugs! Medical college. You're referring to St. Ursula. Don't bring us to the college. We'll get in trouble for doing drugs and being high. <laughs> cool, man. Right. We know a doctor there who specializes in pharmaceutical research, actually. I've heard nothing but good things about his work, so there really? might be a good chance we could figure out the drug's composition. <laughs> well, by his work, he's referring to his fishing. The, the, mm. All the medical shit is more of a hobby. <laughs> oh, that's a stroke of good luck. Hmm, that's a stroke. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it might just be our best option. Bames Nudley's having a donk call him <laughs> Angelus. <laughs> If you can, uh, could you put together a report on the First Division's intel and send it to us by the end of the day? End of the day? I've just been acting like this. Uh, I, I've just been acting like this as a means of uh, getting permission to take over the case from the First Division. What? No, but I thought we were doing the drugs together. I thought oh, I was cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, you sure did. That's because I knew And now I could report drugs. on you for doing drugs, you dirty junkie. <laughs> taking, down the taking down the corruption of the Crossbell Police Department. One pig at a time. I want them to decide how to approach the investigation for themselves. I know. I'll send it over as soon as I can. Well, I mean, then I should go. I don't have to report you to anybody. Can I extort him? Oh my god. This oh, is no. just the beginning of my network. Uh oh. <laughs> well, then I should go. Thank you for your cooperation, Sergey. Likewise. Oh, and don't forget to give them well wishes, too. The drug producers, <sighs> that is. Listen well, you four. Listen well, you six. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if you do anything stupid, this entire situation might nosedive, understand? Notwithstanding your investigation into the drugs, leave dealing with the Mafia to the First Division. Stay close to the ground, behave, and most importantly, don't get in our way. Big words for a man who's owned. <laughs> Jeez. That goof just can't be honest with his feelings or his personal habits. 
Anger is one way of hiding one's embarrassment, is it not? I can tell because I'm good at reading emotions. Maybe so. <laughs> Turned into droopy dog a little at the end there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, now we go to St. Ursula to talk to the world's most... Dr. Winter! <laughs> The world's most responsible doctor. We have to get all my characters in today. God, yeah, it really is. Where's Lazy? I went to the hospital and stubbed my toe. <laughs> I stubbed my toe very sexily. <laughs> uh, well, let's see if Dr. Gunter has some time to meet with us. Yes, we should probably ask the reception about that, you know. Yeah. Look at my immortal desk. line of dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope he didn't play hooky to go fishing again. Play hooky, I get it. I would not even be surprised if that were the case. I'm playing hooky. Have you seen my uncle on Great Village Bake Off? Uh, hello there, everyone. Are you here to visit Cecile today? Oh, not today. Uh, we're here to meet with Dr. Gunter again. Could you ask him if he's busy? Ha! Huh, Dr. Gunter, busy. Good fucking joke. Ah, uh, doctor, I see you picked up <laughs> the phone today. You have some visitors. If you have some free time, would you... Oh, bad timing? Do you have some examination or research to do? And no, not you're fishing? I see what's going... Oh, okay, I was joking. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Planning to go fishing, Dr. Gunter? That's no good. Try to do your j That's no good. No good. Try to do your job while on the clock, all right? He's the same as always. We love him. Though he is allegedly exceptional in his field, his dedication seems lacking. Yes, it's Detective Bannings from the special support section. Yes. Yes. Should I have them meet you in your laboratory then? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. Well, <laughs> Dr. Gunter can see you now. If you'll head up to the research ward, please. Thanks. <laughs> Looks like we threw a wrench in his plans. Good. Fuck that guy. <laughs> and probably saved a few lives in the process. This sounds like we threw a wrench at his head. And probably saved a few lives in the process. <laughs> why it makes you pick. There aren't any other destinations. I'm hoping you'll leave. Excuse us. Hello, not fishing. Welcome, everyone. How very nice of you to visit. Uh, about our interruption. We apologize for getting in the way of your hobby, Doctor. It's fine. Noon is the ideal time to catch noble carp. But if duty calls, duty calls. Trust me, I'm not going to hold a grudge against you for it. Uh... <laughs> he says that, but I feel like he resents us with every fiber of his being. I can tell. I can my... tell. I can read the threads of his being. R Randy just... It's okay It's okay, it's okay to you. It's okay to you. <laughs> and... Well, I'm happy we can leave this minor feud in the past. <laughs> Germans are very forgiving. <laughs> so, it's a German. What brings you here today? Do you need some advice about Kia's condition? Actually, it's about something else. Kia's the same as usual, though. Uh, there haven't been any pr improvement. Uh, there hasn't been any improvement with her memories. I see. Personally, I think you should have had her hospitalized. Mm, mm, stupid, stupid idiots. Mm. I mean, we about that. We tried suggesting it to her, albeit indirectly, but she just won't have it. She pulled out a gun. What are we supposed to do? Like, I'm mm. sorry we keep putting it off, but the baby has a gun. See, this is why any time I have to do anything, I just go fishing instead, because I'm not a stupid idiot who I hate so much. You can take your time, but please consider the option. So, what's this other matter? Is it related to my field of expertise, by any chance? Fishing. Fishing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. 
It is. That's why we came today. <laughs> Chat. Excellent. And thus, Thy Ouro Show me what you caught. <laughs> Ouroboros angler number 14. The Azure Hook was born. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind taking a look at these drug for us? Oh. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, those LBBs, that's the good shit. Oh, I made these. They are so blue. A coloring agent wouldn't be able to produce this. What? We found these pills among the possessions of a certain oh my individual. God. Does this actually... Does this actually have, like, septium in it or something? <laughs> We suspect they're illegal drugs. I think I understand. Please, would you fill me in on the rest of the details? We do. Either way, I can tell you right now that this is no ordinary drug. It's blue. What this? <laughs> Allow me to keep three of these pills. No, four. <laughs> Five. I can conduct a composition analysis right away. Allow me to keep three of these pills. With these four pills, I should be able to quickly deduce the makeup of the five pills you <laughs> <laughs> That would be great. Uh, do you know how long it will take for the analysis to finish? Well, I have the six pills on me and the general idea of her effects. I'd like to think I'll have its composition figured out by the end of the day, but Oh, I am so busy with the fishing. But if I am not able to do that, this may take a considerable amount of time. So we're flipping a coin then? Yes, like those awful monsters at the end of second chapter. <laughs> I can contact you tomorrow about uh, noon to let you know how it's going, but noon is the ideal time to catch the carp. Would that be okay? <laughs> With all this talk of rumors, I was reminded of one I'd heard recently. This Big young man fish. stubbed his toe. You should go talk to him. You too? What kind of rumor? <laughs> okay, okay. Remember, none of this was ever... officially. What is this music? Yeah. Oh, goodness, yeah. this is very unpleasant. Welcome, my <laughs> friends, to my evil carnival. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I'm a doctor and not a professor, am I right? <laughs> you never put, you never trust the trails professors. Okay, okay. Exactly. Remember, none of this was ever officially confirmed or explained, but... Several years back, there was an old rumor that floated around the pharmaceutical industry. It talked about a certain religious cult that had created a new kind of drug. A, a religious cult? A sect of radicals? Something like that, Dr. Gunter? No, it's not as simple as that. You see, instead of worshipping Idios, they worship a corrupted version known only as Odios. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they rejected... <laughs> At least uh, when I wasn't, I wasn't reading. <laughs> I was just <laughs> totally doing a bit. <laughs> they rejected the very existence of Idios and worshipped devils instead. Why? At least, that's what I heard. They worshipped devils? His story sounds more and more suspicious by the second. Dots. I don't know why I always need to say dots. <laughs> I definitely thought it was a third... Sorry, I went back into my native tongue. However, I can't help but worry about the effects of that medicine they created. I've heard that, by borrowing the power of devils, it can unlock the hidden potential within humans, even bringing the user good luck. How much of this medicine is made of devils? All of it. <laughs> that sounds like... Crack Bullshit! The same, the same effect of these pills. Excuse me, Dr. Gunter. Do you know the name of that drug? Fatalium. <laughs> Normalium. What was it again? Oh, right. I remember now. They called it True Wisdom. Gnosis. Or so the rumor goes. Uh oh. <laughs> Gnosis. That's quite a suggestive name, isn't it? Well, because of its absurdity, the store became somewhat of an urban myth. But you've heard the rumors of a secret society that was connected to that big incident in Liberla last year, right? Sort of nice not having them around. 
Maybe the two could be connected somehow. That must be the society that Estelle and Joshua told us about. Do you think a devil-worshipping cult might have some ties to it? Anyway, in order to uncover the truth behind these pills, I plan to contact some colleagues of mine to help with the analysis. Oh, are they, like, unearthly blue because they're connected to the Mirage tree? While I do that, I'll also try looking into that rumor to see if it has any merit. We'd appreciate that. A drug that borrows the power of devils. That's... That was a fun song. Interesting. Seem of I didn't get to go fishing. <laughs> do, 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 do. I can't say I was expecting to hear a story like that when we walked in, but for now we should just trust the doctor with the composition analysis. I agree. We need to return to Crossbell City before it gets dark. I just can't stop thinking about how there might be a drug out on the street that's just devils in the blood. Wow. That's nuts. There really Besides, are ghosts in your blood. <laughs> you should do cocaine about it. You have to do cocaine to get the ghosts out. Besides, the First Division's investigation report might have been delivered, and then we can do our job. Oh, I sure love spending all night staring at a bunch of papers. Tio, the, the sun makes it hard to see, but your face, it's so pale. I forgot, I forgot Mo wasn't here. Have you been doing drugs? What? I told you, I am fine. I just feel a bit unwell, it's all. Sounds like a contradiction to me. There's got to be some place to rest around. Tio says something also. Tio, shut down. Tio! I already to toiled loyal the fragment of this toiled, but let me expoil. I was snatched away from my parents when I was five years old. Held captive by a cult of religious fanatics. Uh, they couldn't be. Damn, this is a unique music premiere chapter. What the objective of the cult was is still unknown, but one thing is clear. They were attempting to obtain something by rejecting the goddess and, wor and, and worshipping devils. Then, something happened. Lloyd's brother Guy was able to break into the lodge. The team accompanying Guy was able to neutralize the cult followers and dismantle the lodge's operation. The resistance was strong, but the moment the lodge fell, most of the cultists committed suicide. While stepping over so many of their corpses, Guy finally reached what was known as the Ceremonial Chamber. And that was when he found the only child left alive in that nightmare. By the time Guy took me into his custody, I was debilitated beyond recognition. Because of that, I was hospitalized for several months in order to recover. What happened after that, I've already told Lloyd about. I definitely lost my way, that's for sure. Still, Tio Todd, you're being way too serious about all this. What's the I point? I mean, hearing the cries of those other kids on the side of the wall using your sacrificial hearing? That's hilarious! What a, what a kill I mean, I mean, you, you say it was bad, but you're gonna laugh about this in yeah. a few years. That's what I do about my backstory. It's the only thing I can do. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! We share everything. Embarrassment, our past pains, and of course, our happiness. And daily jokes, too. Fun memes you find on the internet. Silly little things. Fun Twitter posts. We share all kinds of stuff because we're friends. That's what be that's what it means to be a team, right? Please stop. Ah, she's so cute. It's too embarrassing. And it's burning up in here. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. It's just that Ellie and Ellie and Randy have been breathing in my spores. But for some reason, I don't think this is such a bad feeling. That's the shit we played trails for. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden beneath the sister fuckery is is some good. Also, There's some good spots. 
Also, At their height, Guy and I were the ones who tracked down and suppressed one of the cult's lodges. You, you did? Then, Chief, were you my brothers? Yeah, I was Guy's superior officer. Back then, I guess I stood out a bit more than I do now. One day, I got two unconventional rookies assigned to serve under me. One of them being your brother, the other being Officer Snakes McBad. <laughs> I always had a bad feeling about Officer Snakes McBad from the start. Anyway, Guy was impulsive. A bit reckless, too, but ah, he was a damn great detective. Now, the other rookie was in stark contrast with Guy, in all the right ways. What exactly was this other rookie? No way. Was it that Dudley guy from the 1st Division? Nope. That guy went straight into the 1st Division. He's a natural. You've probably heard of the other rookie before, actually. His name is Cassius Bright. No, his name is Arius McLean. I haven't. Who is that? Hmm. What? He was a part of the police? He was. He traded in his police badge for the Bracers Gauntlet some years back, and he traded in his police gun for a samurai sword. And, like, First Division was cool with it, because, like, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> Hell, that's probably one of the reasons the police here in Crossbell have such animosity towards the Bracers Guild. What a twist. My brother and Arios were both in the force together. Age-wise, Arios beats Guy in that category. Arios already tied the knot and had recently had a daughter. Trust me, he's always been the serious guy he is. On the other hand, Guy was a wild card, always acting rash, an optimistic fool. Given how different they were, that's probably why they started to get along in the first place. A little less than two years after joining the force, these guys were heralded as the police's ace duo, which is why you've never heard of this until now. <laughs> we never solved the entire riddle, but we did understand what the meaning of the G is. It stands for Gnosis. Oh. The drug that unleashes demonic power, Dr. Gunter told us about. This has got to be connected. It's already been six years since that whole mess. Those zealots left behind a lot of mysteries, but I know one thing for sure. Oh, hang on a second. That evil ice cream truck is driving by. I need to pick something <laughs> up. Evil ice cream. <laughs> Come back to us, Tio. <laughs> Delish delicious, therefore good. <laughs> it's just ice cream. It's how they capture all the <laughs> Oh my, it's all connected. Out of my decades on the force, this was one of the most disgusting bunch I ever had the displeasure of taking down. Bastards used those kids they kidnapped as sacrifices at their lodges. The abduction cases Mr. Grimwood mentioned yesterday. The DG Colt. They had more than ten active lodges spread all across Zemiria. I am an expert. <laughs> there is an old Sith legend about the no Sith. <laughs> that, that fits hilariously. <laughs> Yo, Doc, how do you know an old Sith legend? <laughs> so, how'd you end up snuffing them out? Right. <laughs> like I mentioned yesterday, this issue was spreading into each country. So a joint investigation team was organized by the nations affected. Each country's armies, police forces, and the Bracer Guild collaborated. Oh, that's in top right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. A large scale operation to round up and suppress every lodge operated by the cult was mounted all under the command of a famous Bracer. I love, uh, like, I know we're all like, eyesing at them, including Cassius in this shot, but I like to point out how much, like, fitter and better Sergei looked at this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Sergei? Okay. Yeah, far left. Jeez, like, he has put on, like, 30 pounds since then. <laughs> it, that guy has a mustache, so... Oh. As for my small squad of three, 
We were in charge of taking down a lodge located on the outskirts of Altair, located in Western Calvert. Is that Got how that's pronounced? Eh, Altair, Altair, whatever. Altair. <laughs> Guy rescued Tio Plato, who was eight years old at the time. Tio was completely and utterly debilitated, but still in better shape than the others. We still couldn't save any of the other children. But, compared to the monstrous rituals happening in the other lodges, I like to think they were shown a little mercy. Pardon my selfishness, but from now on, I'll be butting it too. Chief! On the contrary, we'd love your help. You trying to imply that you haven't had our back up until now? God, Who knows? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's about time you know. I founded the special support section based entirely on Guy's very original idea of just making bracers cops. S seriously? My brother. What about the SSS being created to oppose the guild's popularity? That was purely an excuse to appease the top brass. While he was alive, Guy told me something I'll never forget. He said wow, that I'm Cross never going to forget this. <laughs> he said that what Crossbell needs is the strength to overcome barriers. A place where youth can continue to move forward, despite failures, joining their strength into one. Don't you think that's what the police really needs? He asked. Guy. <laughs> I swear, you had yourself quite the earnest brother, Lloyd. Then, this is simply coincidence that Tio ended up joining the SSS. Whoa. I imagine not. She probably wanted more than anything to be in a, guy, uh, a place where Guy's will lives. Not that she's told me anything like that. I see. That makes sense. You can have all the advice you want. I'll even take care of comms for you. But you're going to make your own decisions and solve this case with your own will. So... Are you up to the challenge? Yes, sir! Understood! Oh boy, starting tomorrow. Sounds like we're gonna have our work cut out for us. Tio says that's no? That's of my dialogue. Acknowledgement! Confirmation! Sarcastic forehead wipe! Tio says something also. Sarcastically, I'm in charge. That's it. That's every cutscene in the entire game. We did it. I can only imagine the reason I am in such pristine condition is because he, I spent so much time with you, Kia. <laughs> Yay! You're a lifesaver, kiddo. Oh, indeed. It's as it's as if it's as if she's our very own special pick me up. Should we be talking about this when we're like talking about like a lot of drugs recently? Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of our special pick-me-up, does drugs? <laughs> no, we're not going back. We can't go back. No, but but, you know what, I'm... guys? I forbid it. I <laughs> but will I, But I'm print screening. <laughs> it will not play ball with yeah. our cum nonsense. Yes, a uh, special support section. Lloyd Banning speaking. Uh, hey, rookies! <laughs> hey! What the hell have you found? F what are you doing? Shit. Probably, probably <laughs> Dudley, right? If he's calling uh, Rookies. Probably. Oh, oh yeah, I guess. Is, yeah. Is that you, Detective Dudley? You're damn right it's me. You guys didn't go sticking your noses into Ravasha's business, did you? Uh, <laughs> no, not exactly. We're focused on the drug investigation right now. Why? Did something happen? Why else would I be calling? Their office is... Shoot. Oh, forget I said anything. If it doesn't concern you, then don't do anything rash. Carry on with your investigation. Uh. Uh. Cool. Thanks, it's, man. It's like on fire or some shit. <laughs> Was that a detective? They look up. On it's floating. <laughs> what's, what's uh going on? It's just uh. someone tied eighty thousand balloons to it, and it's just trailing <laughs> away. Well. What's Poindexter's deal? His change in demeanor is sus. Clearly something must have happened with Ravash, right? Yeah, most likely. We better go check it out <laughs> then. Better than standing around here twiddling our thumbs. 
True, but we were told not to interfere in the conflict. Our hands are tied. Let's just do what the bracers do and interfere anyway. And do it anyway, yeah. You're if right. If the mafia Let's is connected that. to the missing persons case, then that is our probable cause. Damn, what the hell are the top brass thinking? For how long do they intend to they intend I can't read. For how long intend do they intend to tamper on the soft earth? The intend to tamper on the sample pample. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Dudley, you're all twisted Dun around. Nons having a strong. <laughs> I've, been bush for, I've been in too deep. I've been a bush for so long. I don't My remember roots. how to talk. I don't know how to be a man. <laughs> huh. Look at you acting all grown up. I'm a big boy. <laughs> as long as you understand the circumstances, I won't be the one to stop you. I've seen that burning heart. It's hereditary. You should see a doctor. <laughs> or at least get some Boy, time. out for fishing. Enjoy dying. <laughs> you may tag along, but don't slow me down. Anyway, please protect me unarmed in combat. <laughs> e excuse me, you're coming with us? Given the circumstances, do you really think I could leave everything to some rookies like you? From now on, this operation will be under my command. I'll be taking full responsibility. No questions. Understood? Totally. Oh, lighten up, sunshine. Those glasses ain't hiding your true feelings from us. Get over here, Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Why? <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> Stop, he was 14, we can't. <laughs> His actions seem to indicate a caring nature deep down, don't you think? Why don't you two shut up? <laughs> also, I have a question. Why are your eyes so small? Wow. Oh, that's just you... glasses. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we should proceed with our search. I'm very far-sighted. <laughs> report report okay. anything suspicious or out of the ordinary to me ASAP. Yes, sir! I'm here now. Yeah, so oh, he's, you can actually he is, play it. He is far from a uh, helpless NPC. He's even he got, he's got, he's got a fucking, he's a real man. Style. You want to see wow. something cool? You want to see something cool? Detective Dudley's special move, killing a man. Oh, <laughs> limited within the city. <laughs> wow, that just killed someone. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, no. Special he... move. That's so funny. Special move. <laughs> That's like an Ace Attorney joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also funny. So he has joined the party, but you can you'll notice we're still allowed to leave and do stuff. There is special Dudley dialogue for all of these side quests oh, that you could fun. still have open, where he's like. Why are we going here and doing this? <laughs> you motherfucker. That's really funny. <laughs> Overdue book retrieval. We're on it, sir. Why? Is this what you guys do like every day? <laughs> you said you the take SSS responsibility. <laughs> no, someone has to take responsibility for these overdue library books, sir. Oh. What? Oh, wow. Tio Tot's sixth sense saves the day. Those two old guys definitely look like keyholes to me. Oh, little guys. Just a little guy. Just a little yeah. guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> just a little guy. He's <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice to be. It's nice my birthday. I'm just a, I'm little, just a guy. little guy. <laughs> God. <laughs> we can only assume that smuggling monsters is one of their business practices. To what end? <laughs> You know, monster smuggling. <laughs> Seems like they were hiding them in here along with those mutts. Smuggling monsters? Is there that high a demand for them? Yeah, they're likely targeting eccentric millionaires who enjoy that kind of thing. And if you're gonna monsters. smuggle monsters, why are you smuggling the ones from Liberal, which are obviously the worst design <laughs> trash I've ever seen in a JRPG? Shit. <laughs> it goes without saying that smuggling monsters is illegal in most countries, for good reason. Boy, what a shocker. Heads up, Lloyd. I feel the presence of some more critters roaming around the place. Whatever the case may be, I advise we proceed with caution for now. What? This it's is gonna be gonna be a bunch of jellyfish floating around? Is it like a, a, a fish with one leg? There are uh, wiggles about. 
This is the place where they bring all the monsters and they can cut off their fronts and backs and make them all <laughs> symmetrical. Make them perfectly radiant. symmetrical. Well, like, this guy's not too bad. Yeah, he has front-facing eyes. Still, though, kind of weird choice for a security mechanism, Daunt Cha, think? Could have just used the key. Adding to that, this device appears to have cost an obscene amount of Mira. Perhaps it's Macaroni's personal tastes. Yum! Macaroni flavored. Macaroni. I've heard rumors that he's an avid fan of new toys and odd novelties. Macaroni. I'm sure that proves a hassle for the people working under him. Question mark. Yeah, immediately Question disproving mark. those. So, uh, if Mo were right handling the script, that would have been, do you think that proves a hassle for the people <laughs> working under him? I'm sure it she's, does, Ellie. She's a Desho girl. She ends everything yeah. like that. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. She's constantly asking questions. I'm like, you didn't have to ask that in question form, Ellie. You didn't have to. So would that translate to like the, the valley girl question mark? <laughs> like where sentences that's, end like this? That's what I've been doing. Oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> doesn't, this, doesn't this place remind you of an old building that's been renovated? This location oh, no. appears to serve as Ravash's armory, according to first division intel. It's like a little voice. This is it the is, first yeah. time I've yeah. been for myself, however. The sound of the machinery is strange. <laughs> Everyone, enemies are approaching. Prepare yourselves. Like, prepare yourselves? Like, prepare yourselves? Huh? Hey. God. What are the these things? A shell type monster. No, that ain't right. Oh man, can you imagine the back massage those things could give you with Ooh, those hands? Yeah, actually, whoa, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. They look like they're some kind of mechanical monster. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Focus on the enemies in front of you. We can talk later. <laughs> It wow. was like, what? A, what? <laughs> His head craft is remove jacket punch. I oh, I have to say, I kind of love Dudley. I love him. <laughs> He's <that> great. Too. <laughs> um, him oh, doing no. the twirls hair boy. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> over here. Really what I was doing. <laughs> Ellie's like, ooh. Hey, Lloyd and Randy, are either of you guys interested? <laughs> hey, it looks like I was right about them being mechanical monsters. The hell was that? The hell was that? You didn't have to put those your things shirt packed back on in me. Punch, man. <laughs> that was Dudley. Autonomous machines, otherwise known as arca ar ar archaisms. Archaisms. The foundation has been researching them, but they have yet to use them as weapons. God, oh God. God. Geo's voice doing it is infuriating. Yeah. <laughs> There is a rumor of a certain society having already harnessed their power. You can just say Ouroboros. A certain society. It is like that blue suited <laughs> They were used by that man? Yeah, the blue suited lawyer? He'll be fine. You mean that mysterious organization <laughs> Estelle and Joshua were talking about? The real question is, how did Ravash get their hands on them? Huh. To think that a lot of you know of the society's existence. Everyone knows about it. You know about them too, Dudley? Of course I do. The First Division conducted their own internal investigation of the incident that incurred, occurred in Lyborough. In what sense would that be an internal investigation? It's not in Crossbell and you're not investigating yourselves. That's just an investigation. Shut up. After a half, <laughs> and half a year ago, we heard rumors that the society's weapons had made it onto the black market. Super punch. Do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That might be one of my most favorite S crafts in this entire series. I've been well aware about what you two pulled at the Schwarz auction. I heard you would use that f sick fucking stepsister cover. Disgusting. That was not my idea, and I don't know what sex is. <laughs> Nux, bro, me neither. <laughs> the First Division has been trying to put a stop to their illegal activities for a while now, have they? Oh! <laughs> well, I guess we showed you up. Uh-oh. He prescribed drugs to some warhounds and even provided a surefire method of easily manipulating them. 
Damn, man. It takes the Jaegers a long ass time to train those canines. How many of them have they had sitting in their arsenal? Never did sit well with me. Does that mean a member of the cult has been in cahoots with them? But who could it be? Have they been caught in flagrante delecto? Have they been for have they been caught? Eddie Flagrante, tertiary protagonist of the musical Zombie Prom. There's a poll for nobody. <laughs> yeah. we, can, we might be a little early, but let's put all this aside for now and have some tea. I would love to. Ooh. Let's go have some tea, Potter Mater. We have a long day ahead of us, after all. In fact, it may well be the longest day in Crossbell's history. And <laughs> the longest day in Crossbell's history. Chapter 5, The Longest Day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I actually like I like that as a chapter title, but it's very funny yeah. how they blatantly teed that up. Yep, finale, Crossbell's longest day. Oh, look, they get models. Look at this Scott derogatory. <laughs> okay. We'll assume responsibility of Shizuku and keep her under our care. Chief Sergei and Zite are usually at the SSS building. They'll be able to keep watch, so you need, needn't worry over her. Right. I'm counting on you. Be a good girl and wait for me, Shizuku. Yes, father. Um, please be careful out there, everyone. Oh man, is he the second strongest bracer of Crossbell? On paper, he probably is, yeah, sadly. Who, just, Michelle? No, um, Scott. Scott. Just, Scott. Like, just like how the second strongest bracer in Liberal is Kurt. Yeah. Kurt. Of course. You don't need to worry about us. Yeah, we've though... We've got Scott. Yeah, we've got Scott. Yeah, though, it would have been better if we weren't short-staffed. She's right. This place is an open target once we're all out there investigating. With Scott on the case, you can be sure they won't be getting away scot-free. <laughs> I don't get it. Are you, are you sure you guys are fine with this? If we're lending you a hand with your investigation... Relax, man. Stop worrying so much. Scott's on the job. <laughs> You're still waiting for a callback from the hospital, right? Finding out that drug's composition is important information. I heard about what happened to Cassius Bright. Ever since my wife died, I had to get my dick flattenings from Guy. But now even that simple <laughs> pleasure is denied me. <laughs> He's gotta be messing with us at this point, right? Like, wasn't Gunter gonna contact us at noon? Yes, he was. I called the hospital, but apparently he shut himself up in his lab, conducting all sorts of experiments. I bet he took the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm putting my money yeah. down. I'm putting my mirror down right now. With, Gunter took the drugs. These, and went I will be the ultimate fisher. I think we made that joke last time, but it's worth making again. I like the idea that this is the one time where Gunter is, like, working super, super hard because he accidentally created the situation for a pandemic to unlock, <laughs> to unleash, and now he's just, like, locked himself away, frantically being like, Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! They're going to trace this one back to me, little oopsie! The doctor may have run into trouble while analyzing the drug's composition, then again, he may very well have let his lazy nature take over and left to fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the case this time, Tio. I know it is. <laughs> hmm, that doctor still hasn't got back to you with the results? No, sir. According to St. Ursula, he's holed himself up in his lab, running test after test. If things continue like this, it might be better to go talk to him face to face. Huh, possibly. I want to know what that drug's made of before anyone else gets hurt. You four hurry to St. Ursula. Leave coordinating with the guild to me. Thank you, Chief. We'll leave right away. Then I guess we better go catch a bus down to the St. Ursula Hospital. 
from the background on the phone. The mafia is gone. Who will bribe us now? <laughs> yeah. That was most of my paycheck. I'm a cop. I'm a hawk. <laughs> It'll be much easier to convince the top. It'll be much easier to convince the top brass to take action once we found out what those pills actually are. But I'm afraid we have no choice but to place our faith in that doctor of yours. Believe me, we're not excited about it either. <laughs> By the way, what's the man's name? Oh, we haven't told you yet? Dr. Jo Dr. Joachim Gunter. He's an associate professor of neurology and pharmacology at St. Ursula. He's only in his mid-30s, but he's managed to build a name for himself as a fisherman. Hmm. I see. Hopefully it means he'll come through with proper results. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? A doctor, you say? I recognize his name from the evil he used to do. <laughs> Back up a second. You said Gunter, right? Wears glasses? Far too relaxed? Uh, yeah, that's him. Uh, have you two met? Oh god, is he gonna- Oh no. Uh, Why the silence, Dudley? Oh no. I met him for the first time two months ago. I was investigating the man who plotted the mayor's assassination during Ark and Seal's private performance. The mayor's former secretary, Ernest Rice. Oh wait, I remember that guy. Sergei may have informed you already, but Rice was completely deranged. So as a last resort, Sergei called Rice's physician, a man working at St. Ursula. And thanks to Gunter's help, I was able to finally question Rice. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Well, hold on a minute, Dudley. Are you claiming that Dr. Gunter was Ernest's physician? Oh, yes, no. the very same. I'd gained an immense amount of respect for him, given how helpful he was, but... Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, no, that got me. Understood. We'll see what intel we can get without tipping him off. God, how did that get me? Good plan. Anyway, try not to waste any time. I'll contact you later. Hey, they pulled a Weissman on me. Yeah, we can't trust any doctor. Like, let's be honest. Sorry. I, I may not be a professor, but you you cannot trust me. <laughs> Yin, did you kill them? <laughs> Who cares? Yin, that's fucked up. No, I simply used a form of acupuncture to cut off the flow of their chi. Oh, it's a sort of Eastern, Eastern breathing, breathing technique. <laughs> yeah. I, I used this to cut off their ability to use any breathing techniques, including breathing. No matter- So yes, they are dead. <laughs> like how it even just straight up says, you can add her. They're not, they're not, <laughs> yeah, even Tio, the UI is the pretending. The game knows, yeah, the game knows, we just don't. Tio leans over point? to Yin and is like, Am I allowed to tell them you're obviously Risha? I kind of figured they'd be able to figure it out even though- Oh, she's like, also got Kill a Man, although hers is not quite as good. No. <laughs> Lloyd leans over. Hey, am I allowed to tell them that you're Risha? I figured it out quite a while ago. Yeah, it's really like, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Randy leans over. Hey, am I allowed to tell them that you're Risha? <laughs> Ellie's like, Do you have any uh, men on men porn? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, do you have any BL? <laughs> Just asking for uh, a friend. <laughs> I have this friend named Risha. He's, she's super <laughs> into it. It's likely <laughs> some sort of miasma. <laughs> Our opponent here may be more troublesome than I presumed. Damn them! Also, my asthma oh, theory? Dude, what you... are you? What, what are you going to suggest? That we do bloodletting? Hey, Lloyd, I read your blog. I know you buy <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's goop, so you can shut the fuck up. Yeah, hey. but I'm a mushroom. It's great for growing smaller Lloyds. <laughs> <laughs> can I kill you? Oh, cool. These guys can't wow. get blood. Earlier than I expected, I have to assume. Uh, you'll see. Oh no! Oh no! Dude. Ernest! Oh, he's evil Ernest now! Hello, Ellie. It's been uh, about two months now, hasn't it? The night is young, yet the moon looks positively gorgeous. What the fuck is Turn yourself up a little, Mo. Here. Uh, Ernest, your eyes? Hmm. 
He's already given himself over to demonization. A thing. Hmm. Oh. oh, the legendary Yin has graced us with his presence, has he? My future would have been secure if only you'd kept your damn mouth shut. Allow me this opportunity to sincerely express my gratitu gratitude towards you all. Shadows are my domain, and I won't allow anyone to assume my name, even if they have obtained a demon's strength. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> You're one to talk, Yin. So you are the one responsible for manipulating the monsters here. Why are you here? Uh, uh, how are you here? Aren't you supposed to be in prison? <laughs> prison? No prison is darker than the one nice men make for themselves when they no. pursue sluts like you. <laughs> no prison is harder to escape than the friend zone, as I know all too well. God! <laughs> that pathetic building, just like this hospital, has already fallen into our hands. God. What? The prison it. guards should all be members of the CGF stationed at Belgard Gate. You saying the Mafia attacked the gate, too? <laughs> Not exactly. Also, don't mix us up with those pieces of filth, Ravosh. They're nothing more than puppets to help us achieve our goals. I knew it. You're using some trick to manipulate the people who've consumed Gnosis. Right you are, Bannings. Everything is going exactly according to our great comrade's plan. Well, this is a cop game. I'm going to beat up some commies. <laughs> pawns. Ravash are mere pawns to aid us in the execution of our grand ceremony. Oh, my God. Your great comrade? It's some sort of incel cult. Oh, my God. A remnant of the D triangle G. Therefore. Yeah. Well, they D in the D later games, when they reference it, they just say DG cult. A remnant of the DG cult and the mastermind hiding behind the mafia. In other words, the resident of this office. I can't. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> That's right. I learned the eight leaves style. <laughs> I have spent these years, as all men yeah. under 5'5 five, five do, mastering the blade! Yeah, while, you were, <laughs> while you were taking your cop exam, I studied the blade. I can be you or Angle, or you or Devil. <laughs> oh god. Three higher elements have surfaced. Their names are Fido, Kuro, and Ernest! <laughs> <laughs> if you wish to know the answer you seek, try to defeat me. I, who have received the blessings of Gnosis from my has great received. comrade. It should be have, right? Yeah, it should be have. Has. Get ready. I, 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 I think this is our first taste of this uh, boss theme, also. This is called That's Ganondorf Sword. This is called Demonic Drive. I can't right now. I can't believe that this has happened. Well, yeah, I didn't think that Ernest would be what we already knew he was, and I sure didn't think he was coming back to be the Gilbert of this game. I have the power of the devil and anime on my side. That is literally what is happening. Ernst, Ernest Ernst. showed up with a fucking katana. Like, I'm high on devil drugs. That's I, pretty great, right? <laughs> uh, I, like, I'm really, this is taken, like, the Dr. Gunter stuff, okay, okay, yeah, that was pretty surprising, not gonna lie. I figured er Ernest was just going to stay, like, in, uh, being irrelevant. I figured he'd wait until the next game to show up again. Yeah, or something like that. I just... Katana Ernest has taken me by surprise a bit, I'll be honest. <laughs> Didn't even level up. Huh. You four truly are the CPD's most annoying division, aren't you? You've exceeded all my expectations. Ernest, why are you doing this? Betraying Grandfather and becoming a lapdog of this monstrous cult? How did you fall this low? 
me fallen? No, Ellie. I've simply come to realize the truth. Oh yeah. Nice guys. Yeah. Finish, Finish last. Finish last. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the true meaning of this land of Crossbell. I can see everything for what it really is now. I've heard enough. Former First Secretary Ernest Rice. Under state law, you are hereby under arrest on the charge of assault, incitement of a riot, unlawful seizure of property, drug use, jailbreak, and more. Surrender and come quietly. Why the rush, Bannings? The night has just begun and the show our comrade has written is just starting. Your personal invitation is right over there. Be sure to give it a thorough examination. What? Are... Are, are those files? Is this a real <laughs> screenplay? We meet, oh God. we meet again, SSS. After you cross the land of death standing in your way, that is... He definitely practiced that line in front yeah. of the mirror and thought it yeah. was really cool. No! There's no escape. Come on, Yin, jump out the window, Whee! shit. I would kill for that what? to just murder him. I can't, I can't! I'm associated with these guys, what's going on? Who grabbed me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah me too. Cool. Yeah, I was like, that's the correct <laughs> yeah. reaction. Uh, um... That, uh, that thing he grabbed onto, did you see that? It appeared to be the- what? The dragon we encountered at Stargazer's Tower. Jello wasn't there for that, that happened, session. That happened off screen. It was an optional monster quest that I did right before this session. What? That's so not fair, man. No one else got to see the dragon. After we went out of our way to kill it. <laughs> hmm. I suppose it's impossible for us to pursue him now. Time is of the essence. Hurry and take a look at his invitation. After all, it must have been prepared by Rius's so-called comrade. I would, but it's like 200 pages long, and it's got like a million monologues. Interior, Ugh. day, Dr. <laughs> Nunta, an incredibly sexy fisherman who neither fish nor women can resist, waits in his <laughs> office, knock at the door, a sexy fish with legs for days walks in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out. Gunter is specifically into reverse mermaids where it's yeah. human legs with fish <laughs> upper body. That is my goal with Gnosis, to turn people into man -mers. Now, as for these files... Interior uh. day! <laughs> we should see what's in the white file, too. Exterior! <laughs> <laughs> oh no... No... Hmm. It seems to record the victims of their ceremonies six years ago. Those sick bastards. How could they do something like this? Uh, I'm sorry, Tio. We have to see what's inside. Please do not apologize. Just continue with your investigation, Lloyd. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I think my looks have improved over the years. Tio. Of course they have. Haha, <laughs> you're so cute now I can hardly recognize you compared to this ugly fucking cow, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, move on my way. I know you're simply trying to cheer me up, but thank you. Lloyd, please continue. Right. Oh. Oh? No? That who I think it is? Ren. It must be. So she's connected to all of this after all? That girl is an acquaintance of yours, is that right? Around she's so cool! <laughs> Around that time, I had heard rumors of kidnappings taking place in the Eastern Quarter. These cultists must be guilty of those crimes, I'm certain. Hmm. What the? What's this? Kia? 
They put Kia in a hamster ball? That son of a bitch! Was it too much to ask for her to be left out of this shit? The girl you rescued from the Schwartz auction. Hmm. This looks like a newer photo than the others. Could it have been taken recently? Yeah, probably so. Damn it! He knew everything from the very beginning! We brought Keto here to ask about her memories. That slimy bastard wanted her to stay at the hospital so he could run a bunch of tests on her. Or Boros. You work alongside that absolute <laughs> fuck whistle, the dire wolf, don't you? <laughs> Tell him he's, his fashion sense sucks and he's a big dumb smell man. I do every day. Oh, you know of Walter? I've met him in battle once before. In the end, he ran away, <laughs> leaving things unresolved. Oh, of course he of did! Course. <laughs> Funny, I'm sure he probably thinks the same thing about you. He is wrong. <laughs> I believe it's about time for me to be going. Everyone, have a pleasant <laughs> evening. Jet, interior, the courtroom, a fish judge with gavels for miles walks in. Walls <laughs> <laughs> for miles! What? The hell? I have a dragon too. Mine's made of metal and has lasers. Bye. It's a Digimon. I. The. The fucking people on the first floor. What the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, why is that here? It's been here the entire time. Hello, you've reached the crossbell <laughs> branch of the Bracer Guild. Unreal how much dialogue <laughs> this character has. <laughs> Michelle, uh, this is Lloyd Bannings from the special support section. Do you have a moment? It's an emergency. Oh, hey, sweetie. Is this business a pleasure? What's the matter? <laughs> if you were wondering where any of my braces are, none of them made it back yet. S seriously? Do you know when Arios will be back in the city? Arios? Well, he should be on his way back already if everything... Uh-oh. Who? Identify yourself. I hope you aren't foolish enough to cause trouble in the bracer... Oh, oh shit. No! Not Michelle! Uh, I, Michelle? What's wrong? Crap, did someone cut the line? We have to save Michelle. Ennings, what's the situation? Yes, it's a me. <laughs> There's something that I need to let you and the others know about. Contact with the Belgar Gate Forces has been completely severed! <laughs> <laughs> what? This is my favorite delivery. How did that even happen? I don't know. We're trying to look into it right now. Deputy Commander Balls instructed me to report all this to you just in case. Roger, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> oh, wait, there's something we need to tell you, too. The kill was what? I understand. I'll report everything to the Deputy Commander ASAP. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but be extremely careful, okay? We will. Same goes to you, too. Okay, bye. I love that noise so much. Understood. Oh, shit! Oh, Dudley? Oh! We'll watch over everyone. I forgot Six. Sergei had a fucking shotgun. Hell yeah. Roger. Damn it. We have to do something to protect these two. Wait, what's that? Another vehicle? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Uh, well, well, you're right. I, I'd recognize it anywhere. Hurry up and get in the car. <gasps> you're here, Belle. What are you doing here, Mary Bell? We don't have time to talk. Hurry on inside, everyone. R right. This way, Kia. Okay. I got you, Shizuku. Uh, thank you. Bada bing, should we do something? Oh, there we go. Should we bada bing? Should we bada boo something? Yeah. Bye bye. God, I love these little blonde bitches. <laughs> isn't it wild that my father isn't the villain? Not yeah? only Ravash, but the Guardian Force as well. Sounds like we're in a bit of a predicament. Yeah, honestly, all of this feels like some insane nightmare. But by the way, how did you know we needed help? 
Ah, you see, I was just heading home from a business meeting in the Republic. While passing through Tangram Gate, we were ambushed by the Mafia. Luckily, we sh oh, I thought he said luckily we shot them. <laughs> luckily, we shook them and made it to the city just in time to see that you were all in a pinch. I mean, we shot them with a with a two-ton bullet. <laughs> we got lucky. Man, you seriously saved our skin back there. Uh, this car bulletproof? Indeed. This car is a bullet. Indeed, it was custom made. The glass is bulletproof too, so it can take a beating. The latest model of bulletproof limousine manufactured by the Reinford Company. Oh, interesting to see them literally making a defensive product for once, if I'm not <laughs> mistaken. This thing is a beast. Well, it's not like it would withstand explosions. Father, are we returning to the IBC now? Yes, that's the plan. I'm sure our friends here are exhausted from what's happened. Let's prepare beds for them right when we get back. Sir, you don't really don't have to do any more than this. We appreciate the offer, but we really should. Ellie, please don't talk like that. The okay. IBC's front gate is made with a special alloy. It won't come down easily. And as the CEO of the IBC, I cannot allow myself to turn a blind eye to this chaos. If possible, I'd love it if you could give me a brief report on the situation. Well, it won't be brief. Uncle Dieter. Understood, sir. I apologize for all the trouble in advance. <laughs> well, that's that. <clears throat> you two look like you're about to pass out from exhaustion. Huh? No. I'm not sleepy. Not one bit. I I'm fine, too. Oh, I can hardly blame them. It's almost 10 p.m. after all, and they've been shot at. Ugh, I can't forget that we dragged the poor kiddos all over the city, too. <laughs> Once we arrive at the IBC, we'll find nice warm beds for you, too. All right, now that everything's settled, it's time to floor it. Oh! Slides ah! <laughs> out the front windshield. Same day. Some day. Luckily, this place is a fortress. <sighs> Father. We don't have evidence decisive enough to confirm anything right now. What do you mean? You've got two binders full of it. We'll have to pr prioritize evidence collection at some point. Mm, you're right. From your perspective, that's the long and short of it. However, I feel overwhelmingly disappointed in myself. Of course, the remaining cult members are partially to blame. However, I'm dumbfounded at the fools who's associated with them and allowed this to happen. Right. I'm more than aware of the sheer complexity of Crossbell's state of affairs. I understand that the very existence of Ravash and the rampant corruption of our politicians are, to some extent, unavoidable. However, it seems I was a complete and utter fool. Uncle. Right you are. IBC is a mammoth of business and holds considerable influence over Crossbell and politics. However, Father has intentionally remained neutral to this point. My naive laziness is the cause of our current predicament. This is what happens when you're a centrist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm unsubscribing from r slash enlightened centrism right now. I apologize. Here, watch me do it, and I will make a tweet saying that uh, it's like one of those, like, video, uh, like, it's like a chain of YouTube thumbnail screen caps. Love being a centrist. <laughs> I am no longer a centrist. Capture <laughs> <laughs> Kia completely unharmed. I imagine that was the order ingrained into their brainwashing. Well, given how she is cute as a button, I can relate with wanting to kidnap her. Oh, Mary. Oh, oh I have more. <laughs> I believe that <laughs> I believe the man responsible is called Joachim. He seems like a creep. Says the person who just related to the desire <laughs> to kidnap a girl. 
something Mo said because I thought it was really funny of just, I can't believe Ernest is back. Like, that's right, I'm high on devil drugs. Katana Ernest has taken me at my surprise a bit, I gotta be honest. And Jay responded, my favorite part of anime politics game is when the anime and the politics touch and mix together like chocolate milk and hornets. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this salaried man is here. He is on drugs. He does have the soul edge. His boss theme does indeed fuck. <laughs> um, let's see. How about I make you both some cocoa, okay? It'll warm you right up, and then it's nighty night. <laughs> Frown at me more, children. See where it gets you. <laughs> <gasps> Scary. All right, get in the vat. I'm making you cocoa. <laughs> uh, I said I would make you cocoa. <gasps> Syntax, dears, you need to pay attention. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never went to school. I've just been in the hospital. We have to protect them. It's our duty. So we're fine leaving them with Maribel. Bubble and broil, children. <laughs> <laughs> God is new. Oh, how are they this strong? Oh, they beat Fuck. us. Boo. Damn it. There's no end to them. <laughs> is that all? Well, I suppose you did put up an admirable fight. Oh. Oh? What's all this then? Uh. Boggins? The hell, man? Why are you. Oh, Randall, don't misunderstand. Oh, Your Randy, old co-worker. Don't misunderstand me. Your old co-worker isn't here right now. I'm merely borrowing his body so we can have a little chat. Ugh. The way he talks, it's very German. <laughs> the one person with that accent. No. This is impossible. Did you watch him? Uh, close yeah. enough, Danny. <laughs> It seems as though you've read my invitation. How delightful. I suppose this means that fool Ernest isn't completely useless then. You've got some nerve, pal. What are you planning? It's it's like you want Crossbell to plunge into chaos, and for what? <laughs> With the ability to control this many people, Dr. Gunter can fish all the oceans of the world at once! <laughs> I have all of Crossbell under my control, like a school of fish yes. coming to my lure. <laughs> Just what is the DG cult's goal? If you wish to know that, I must insist that you become my comrades. Come, take a bit of gnosis. You would gain access to everything I know, of course. Oh, okay. Stop it! Stop making light of what you have done! You, you're nothing but a monster! A beast that does nothing but commit atrocities! A beast am I? Now, Tio, it would be unfair to pin the actions of every large on me. Then again, I did collect all of the experimental data on our notice Gnosis prototype. And with that, I was finally able to perfect it, oh, I was finally able to perfect it in this ancient and holy land. Oh, yes. All according to fate. You're insane. Yeah, the hell are you on about? <laughs> it is none of my concern whether or not you fools who've yet to reach wisdom can comprehend my actions. Now, I have one simple demand. Return to us, Our Lady Kia. What do you want with her? Lady Kia? Absolutely not! What could you possibly want with her anyway? Oh, do not misunderstand. Lady Kia is our divine child. That you happen to stumble upon her is nothing more than happenstance. I am just restoring her to her rightful place. No more joking around, Joachim. Oh, you said my name right for once. You'd involve an innocent girl in your insane fanaticism? Uh, yes, L obviously. <laughs> Listen to what you just said. You're spouting nothing but delusions. 
you hen would freeze over before we'd hand Keto over to a rat bastard like you. Leave and never return! A shame. So our negotiations have fallen short, then. If so, I'm more than happy to step over your corpses on my way to retrieve my lady. <laughs> Bring it on, asshole. Very well. I recommend you finish praying to that goddess you love so much. Now then, prepare to die. Now die. Aww. Oh, Kia, no. K Kia, what are you doing? No, get back. Oh, Lady Kia. Uh, don't hurt them. If you do, I'll never forgive you. We're fine, Kido. Just, just head back inside the like, like a good girl, okay? Where the hell is Maribel? Right. I killed her. <laughs> Go back and play with Shizuku. I've come to usher you home, Lady Kia. I beseech you, forget this foolishness and return to your rightful place. Though you may not understand your role in this yet, you remain our beloved. Shut up! <laughs> I don't care! Just promise me! Promise me you won't do bad things to them anymore! Wah, 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 wah. What, 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 what? Kia? I'm glowing, Kia, now. I'm different. <laughs> what? You, my lady, are most worthy of being our divine child. Very well. If you come with me, my comrades will stay their hand. You mean it? You won't do anything bad? I swear it. Now, come this way. No! Lloyd! No! Listen to me, Kia. You're afraid of the dark, right? If you leave us, won't you be lonely? I'm begging you. Don't listen to a word he says. He's tricking you! But, but... I... I don't have any memories. And I don't even know who I am. If I'm just a burden to you, why do you want me to stay? A burden? You've only been a blessing! I want... No, we all want you to stay by our side for as long as you can. Uh... That's right, you are a blessing. Because of you, we've figured out what we want to be, Kia. You've helped us mature. Watching over you has allowed us to discover our true meanings in life, and I, I mean that. It is true. Sometimes, I could not understand why I lived. What reason could there be? But being with you, that has given me the resolve to do anything. That's why, Kido. That's why you shouldn't sweat about the small stuff like this. All we want is for you to grow up happy and to keep that goofy, carefree smile on full blast. Because that smile gives us the strength to push forward, to overcome the struggles we face. Ellie, Tio Randy. Dog here too. Oh, and also I'm a dog. dog. And Zai dog. too. <laughs> We're police officers, Kia. If your memories worry you, we can track them down. We can find them for you. So, believe me when I say there's no good reason for you to listen to his lies. Just don't go. Lloyd. Okay. I'll stay with you forever. Wait a minute, what? And ever. Oh, Kia. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What have you done? I mean, tricking our divine child with those meaningless gestures. I can see now that entrusting you to her was quite a blunder on my part. Special support section. Prepare yourselves to suffer a slow, painful death. 
Ugh. Well, at least his incessant rambling provided us with a break. Stand back, Kia! Listen to Lloyd. We gotta get you back inside, okay? That will be unnecessary. Uh, what? Huh? When did you... That's Ask right, Arius motherfucking McLean. Eight leaves, one blade, second form. Gale. Do they really expect me to use the back door to my own bank? <laughs> Strike! Arios! <laughs> the Defiant Blade of Wind! Holy hell, great timing, dude! <laughs> you have that planned? It wasn't my intention to appear at the last minute. You can trust me on that. I don't! <laughs> and I didn't come alone, either. What? Do you have Cassius Bright with you? Damn, he beat us to the punch again! Whew! Apologies, Dudley. Age is starting to catch up with me, I'm afraid. It's alright, I still came. Oh! This is the chief! And Detective Dudley, too! This whole time, Allie was barking up the wrong yaoi tree. <laughs> she, she really was. She missed out. <laughs> Impossible. Ha! Trying to impress us, Chief? Gotta say, you aren't doing a half bad job. Thank goodness you're safe. I was worried after our separation. Good thing we ran into Arios when we did. Luck must be on our side today. Oh! Supplying them with the necessary technical information. Is oh. such an Aram pain voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that Yona? From now on, call me Yona the Genius. I've already Yona the Genius. <laughs> I've already the restored the Orbal Network too, with a little bit of help from the IBC. Don't let my hard work go to waste now. Haha, <laughs> we owe you a pizza. Officers should be en route, so hold on for just a bit longer. I'm going to try to contact my sister and the guards at Tangoon Gate, okay? Please be careful. Yeah, remember, only losers die. Uh, like <laughs> Lloyd's brother. <laughs> oh. we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep that in mind, asshole. What's up, bird shit? Love that we get to take this car. <laughs> Boop a doop a boop a boop. I'm really happy that Sergei is here with us. Yeah. Woo! Chief, you're incredible. Yeah, you broke through their line like it was nothing. Tell her me surprised. Well, it's been about half a year since I was behind the wheel, but I still got it. All right, now we'll keep cruising like uh, now we'll keep cruising like this till we get to Old Armorica Road. No complaints here. Girl, I want to stick my head out the window. Zite? I saw another dog. I'm gonna bark for the next seventy <laughs> miles. Something coming, boy. Vehicles on our six. The Guardian Force caught up to us. What? Oh. That's exactly what the roads look like in Cold Steel. Good dodging, <laughs> goddamn. Missiles. They're here and they brought missiles. They're, they're not factors. using their chain guns, but oh, okay, there they go. I mean, we're not explosion proof, but we are bulletproof. You know, in a world where these are the defensive measures, it is literally insane that anyone would fight with a bow, staff, or a knife. <laughs> yeah. Crap! Ah. Uh, this isn't ideal. They really brought out the big guns, didn't they? All we can do is shake them off. Hope you're wearing your seatbelts. Our what? Ah! Ch Chief? Um, are you all right? Yeah, no, that thing tore me in half. Don't worry about me. It's just a scratch. But, but that injury. We gotta stop the bleeding. Another vehicle approaching from the rear. No way. Please, just stop the car. 
We have to treat this now. Listen, I said I'm fine. Now hold on tight. Clearing the way for you youngsters is my responsibility as your superior. And I'm not letting you down. Ch chief. Who's this hothead and where's our chief? <laughs> Wait. Their reinforcement vehicle isn't one of the newer models. It's Noel's. Yeah. Hello, guys. I'm evil now. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these things suck. Tell me, do you know how they do in Tokyo? You see Estelle and Joshua doing a commission to repair a light on the side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> <laughs> what was the code again? <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Major Seeker. She came for us? Ha <laughs> ha! That's the Guardian Forces up and coming star for you. Good thing she never took any drugs. Everyone, do you read me? This is Sergeant Major Noel Seacock. We hear you loud and clear. Sonya's pride and joy, huh? Ah, you saved our asses, kid. Uh, it is my duty, so <laughs> you can lead the remaining of a vehicle to vehicle. Please, go along the head! Got it! Be careful, Sergeant Major! Damn. This endgame's pretty hype. Yeah. 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 Man. Credits start rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Can you fucking imagine? <laughs> Find play, out what play happens Trails next of Zero time. Two. Find out what happens next time in Trails of Cold Steel Seven. <laughs> yeah. On our order, my name is Joaquim Gunter, High Priest of DG. Six years ago, our order was on the brink of extinction due to the efforts of the authorities and the Bra Bracer Guild. I alone escaped danger and took refuge in this land of... <laughs> it was the guidance of the great... <laughs> that helped me survive, so I could realize the ambitions of our order. Since the time will surely come, I will record data in each of these terminals on which they shall base the new testaments. Yeah, with the testaments! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> To discuss the origins of our order, I will first have to turn to the abominable history of the, the Zemurian continent. Content fuck. <laughs> Yagenator is back. <laughs> the Great Collapse, approximately 1200 years ago, marked the end of an advanced civilization, and with it the established order, giving rise to the bloodshed and poverty of the Dark Ages. In their fatigue, the people committed a grave sin. They let themselves be deluded by the flattery of pompous fools and accepted their invented self-centered cult with open arms. The foolish blank and their symbol that of the <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> the Dark Ages met its demise and this faith spread throughout the continent. Let us consider. If said truly existed, can we not assume that she would bestow equal salvation upon all of us? <laughs> However, disparity yet exists, and people continue to perish in disasters and misfortunes. Does that mean said ideals, I assume, yes. discriminates upon whom she shall bestow salvation? This thought alone is too ludicrous for words. Oh, it looks like we found Joachim's YouTube channel where he yeah. smokes a Gandalf pipe and refutes Christianity. Oh, he's a <laughs> rational, he's a rational skeptic. I am a <laughs> rational thinker. Here is my rant sauna. It's a fish. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> welcome to Fishing for the Truth, where we don't let big, we don't let small-minded sinkers off the hook. In the end, the <laughs> idol invented by the Septian Church to amass power, a goddess uh, as such, simply does not exist. 
Having reached that conclusion, our predecessors embarked on a long journey to find El Bibebe. Their efforts were not in vain, for at the dawn of the Middle Ages, in the depths of this land, she was known as. This is Doctor. Gu uh, this is Doctor Gunter's research. It seems to me more like an outline of the entire cult. Really, bunch of mumbo jumbo to me. I have a feeling that those bites of information were erased intentionally. Restore. Why would you bother? <laughs> why would you bother censoring ideas? <laughs> Just fill in the fucking fill in the fucking blanks. I, I he's actually left us, he's left us some dangerous Mad Libs to fill in. <laughs> I actually hate that Trails does this. Like we've translated the black records, except not the interesting bits. It's like, man, fucking just give it to us. Stop mm. it. <laughs> the, the, we're like twenty years into this franchise, mm. and like nothing tantalized is interesting enough to Kingdom Hearts about it for this long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Restoring the data would be a feat. I might be crazy, but I could have sworn that Septian Church and Goddess of the Sky were two of the things missing. It's almost like if Estelle Bright could figure yeah. it out, yeah, then no you fucking... didn't need to... Estelle can't even read. It's <laughs> almost as true. if they're shouting to the reader that Idios isn't real, like a moderator on r slash atheism. <laughs> Hello, my goonties. Before I begin today's rant, we're going to start with my YouTube channel's theme, Walking on Sunshine. Hello! <laughs> 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 About to do a potato mukbang with Joaquin. Oh, okay. <laughs> At a blank blank, unfathomable five centuries prior, the completion of Gnosis lay within reach when we hit an unforeseen obstacle. Due to the scale of our experiments, we were detected by the authorities and the Bracer Guild. They led coordinated assaults on our lodges and, ultimately, our order. Foolish beyond words indeed. After all, what are a few sacrifices at the cost of... <laughs> In secrecy, I collected the data from the destroyed lodges. You got... really? You, it was insane, they left it behind and arrived in Crossbell, the land of... Mirage? I don't know. <laughs> As... oh, okay, maybe I was right, actually. As pleroma grass, the foremost ingredient for gnosis, blank, in abundance in the blank blank of there would never be a blank blank, in addition to the highly advanced facilities, once by the from the in the depths of the sun, of Fort of Sun, <laughs> I was blessed with an environment to continue my research and finish the secret remedy. Looks like a lot of the details were deleted. Unfortunately so. I think we still have enough information to create a report on that drug, though. Looks like the details have become deletails. It seems almost certain that Joachim was using this place as a research facility. And after working these past several years, he's finally hit the mass production stage. Hello, me again. On the Define Child. Crossbell is the home of DG and the blank blank. Uh, as it is this very place where our sect blanks Divine Child. Oof, please, I don't want to think about what that blank is. The rest of this is illegible. Yeah. Divine Child, DG, Sunfort. Sunfort, Sunfort. Yeah. Might be hard to believe for us mortals. However, I have seen her with my own eyes. This in the blank, referred to as the blank blank, blank 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 blank, up. Blank blank. The blank blank was blank by the blank 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 blank. Based on the blank blank, had the big fish was caught by the talented fisherman, Joachim Gunther. Based on the using pleuromagras to make the ultimate tackle, I fished our lady Kia out of the ocean. Yeah, there's nothing to be found there. Who cares? Gosh. Um. That is the prophecy left by the predecessors of DG, and the ambition we shall fulfill. The hell's this terminal's deal? Pack a moth seed at it or something? <laughs> I'm thinking this might be confidential information held by the cult. Um, so this divine child has got to be Kia, right? Yes, most likely. Considering Dr. Gunter addressed her as such in front of the IBC... Honestly, that sounded like nothing more than the delusions of a madman to me. Maybe so. Still, the only way to find out for sure is to ask the man himself. Yeah, imagine I'll him, send him an email. 
someone in chat, imagine him trying to carry these computers down here by themselves. Yeah, this is beyond impossible for one person to have set mm -hmm. up. Have, haven't I seen you before? Your faces are rubbing me the wrong way. No way. It's the special support section, brats. Well, those brats who ruined this year's Schwartz auction. <laughs> you know, it wasn't exactly our intention to send the entire uh, the entirety of Michelam into a panic. As uh, as if you did not deserve it. Shut your mouth, you ingrates! This is all your fault! If that hadn't infuriated the speaker, I never would have had to turn to these drastic measures! This is all on you, punks! Talk about dodging the blame! Are you trying to say you aren't the one- aren't one of Joachim's accomplices? Of course I'm not! How was I supposed to know how horrifying Gnosis could be? Originally, we just thought it would make everyone stronger. Everyone in Ravash started down in it after the raid on Heiwa. If we kill them now, we can get away with it very easily. Now you know the real story. I am the victim in all this. Hurry up, let us out, and lead us to somewhere safe. Don't push your luck. <laughs> 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 Joachim Gunter is the mastermind. How can you claim no responsibility in this knowing that? Ravash was the sole provider of Gnosis to the citizenry, right? Tell me I'm wrong! Kill him, Lloyd. Well, you see... I know your plan. You used Crossbell citizens as lab rats to evaluate the safety of Gnosis. If things went smoothly, you'd have begun to market the drug to potential buyers, expanding its reach all over Zamuria. Am I wrong? Uh, we may have gone too far in some places. I doubt any diet member will accept to sweep this under the rug for you. Oh, Ellie. You you think that, Ellie? <laughs> you think that? Uh, as for Speaker Hartman, he's under investigation for multiple ties to Gunter. Know full well that nobody will be able to shield you from the law now. <laughs> Well, now that they know that, what happened to Garcia? Wasn't he caught alongside you guys? The boss fought Joachim until the bitter end. Unfortunately, the raw power of all those monsters was too much for him to handle. And we haven't seen him since. That's so. That is bad news. Yeah, it is. Hey, Lloyd, what are you planning to do with them? Oh, I was just gonna leave yeah. them here. <laughs> I think it'd be dangerous to leave them in a place like this all alone. But if you know what else would be dangerous? Marketing a demon drug to the entire continent of Zamuria. Goodbye. Oh god, how bad is he going to be now? I'm just waiting Probably for the same. coat. <laughs> Here at last. He's got like a big fur coat and like <laughs> like like Sephiroth the uh, fucking <laughs> like Sephiroth deep V. Oh, god, I'm just waiting. That. I think That's he's going to look voice. the same. Ernest! Yeah? No. Oh, okay. Dude, lose the suit if you're gonna try and rock that sword. Ah, oh, I've <laughs> definitely seen this creep before. I think he sent me a dick pic. <laughs> he was looking into Ellie's window while breathing really heavily. The would-be assassin of the mayor, if the SSS didn't put a stop oh, to him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh you brought bracers? And you cooperated with Yin earlier, too. You have a, quite a lot of friends, don't you? You can cut the quips. Unlike the Mafia and the Guardian Force, you're completely in control. And aiding and abetting willingly is just going to add more time to your- Mo, you're breathing very hard into your mic. I'm fucking losing it over <laughs> here over this fucking- <laughs> I'm trying Aid not to laugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Aiding and abetting willingly is just going to add more time to your sentence. You Mo know that, Mo's right? Mo's just trying to add to the accurate ambiance. <laughs> oh. This is what it's. This is what it feels like to hear him behind <laughs> yeah. you in line. <laughs> yeah. huh. What crime have I committed? Laws are merely childish rules created by mankind to reign in the weak. You can't prove that I. <laughs> I am also a moderator on our slash atheist. <laughs> 
from today onward, Croth Spell shall become a new glorious holy ground. Of reason. Oh, of reason <laughs> and logic. <laughs> no femoids allowed. <laughs> Knowing that, why should I bore myself with petty rules such as your laws? Ernest, please. Ernest, please. This is so cringe. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cringe. Cringe? Cringe is just a descriptor used by mankind to debase the base. Words are useless. Leaves us no choice then. Uh, how you met Gunter? Your motive behind all of this madness? We'll find those answers when we question you. After all of this is said and done. But for now, stand aside and let us pass. <laughs> You wish to pass? Very well. My holy comrade has bestowed upon me the power to reach wisdom. Feast your eyes on the power of Gnosis! You know how dumb the term reach wisdom must be when you can't see that wisdom is capitalized? capitalized. <laughs> this again? Stay on your toes. Oh, okay. Back here. Demonization! Those mafia dudes were nothing compared to this. Actually, uh, they're, they're very comparable to this. Oh. Wow, that looks so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what an extraordinary feeling. Oh, is that what he sounds like? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. With the power of a demon, I have finally transcended humanity. This, <laughs> this is the path of wisdom. Moses. Ernest, how could you let this happen to yourself? Look at you. Every time this part of the music happens, I think it's gonna do the uh do new 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 guile me. How much lower must you sink until you're finally satisfied? This is too sad to watch. Yeah. Well Die! His hair! Yes! It's pretty great. Oh, it's like oh, an no. owl oni transformation. He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> Someone in chat. Before battle, I don't need a girlfriend. I have risen beyond it. After battle, please date me, Ellie. Oh God, please. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Doctor Gunter told me that my rage and my jealousy were a source of power. He said that if I didn't nut for all of November, I would achieve this form, and he was correct. I don't understand. How could I have lost? I haven't fapped in months. I, oh God, I, I'll do it myself. She takes off her hair ribbon and kills him. <laughs> oh my God, she took off her hair ribbon. That's like third base. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Someone in chat, it all comes back to come, huh? <laughs> so now, our best course of action is to leave him here and move on with a bullet in his skull. True. Our friend here can rest bullet first in the dirt, but we ain't stopping. He he literally looks like G and Weissman fusion. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. I've just been sitting in this room fishing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen from the special support section, as well as the esteemed guests from the Bracer Guild. I'm glad you could join me. Camera got real low there. <laughs> you monster. A laid back one at that. <sighs> Joachim Gunter, I'm going to cut to the chase. Release everyone who's been brainwashed by Gnosis. Now. I don't know the science behind it, but I know you're the culprit. Of course. I wouldn't mind. Uh... I told you at the IBC, didn't I? Hand over Lady Kia, and everything will come to an end. Crazy face. Don't be stupid. Stop with your crazy talk. Looking for a fight, bastard? You're the sickest criminal that has ever had the misfortune of existing. This guy has the same messed up personality as the professor. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> Even Weissman was this exact person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, what a shame. 
You're making this conversation harder than it needs to be. Lady Kia has always been our humble organization's divine child. Our love. Is it so unreasonable that we would want the object of our worship back? Do you think we aren't aware of what happened six years ago? I you gave you never... the docket, so obviously. <laughs> you will never lay your hands on that girl ever again. Better yet, tell us everything you know about Kia's identity. <laughs> Chat, look, he's holding the fishing rod, but he's still sane. He's still sane! <laughs> there, I love the one above that. Uh, just, um, I am Weissman's younger brother, Weiss nice boy. boy. <laughs> just a month ago, Lady Kia was sleeping in that cradle you see resting at the top of the altar. She had been slumbering in there for over 500 years. <gasps> what? That's not possible. You bastard, cut the bullshit! Oh, there is no bullshit to cut. Surely you can't be that surprised. While modern technology cannot hope to achieve such wonders, it is easily done with the technology of the ancient civilization. Five hundred years ago, there lived a group of alchemists who gathered in this land with the intent of studying artifacts. I could say that this very altar was built using their powerful tools. The same alchemists that constructed Stargazer Tower, I bet. It's kind of crazy to think these connections stretch back to such a long time ago. As I said, Lady Kia has been in, had been in slumber since those times. But of course, no one in our order knows her origins. That is the truth. I can't believe this. What the hell, man? Kia's past. I thought together we'd be able to help her find it. <laughs> and now, what's with all the long faces? Lady Kia doesn't need the past. Because, after all... Soon she will take her rightful place as the true god. During your journey, you must have realized the truth by now. Ideos, the goddess of the sky. <laughs> there is no such thing. Why can't you understand that her very existence is a fabrication created by the Septian Church? Have you lost your mind? I can't believe that there are people who genuinely doubt the goddess. Magic is This real. is the truth that DG faithfully preaches. However, we're often misunderstood. You see, we don't worship the devils at all. Quite the contrary, actually. We simply use them because they're convenient in our fight in denying the very concept of this goddess. Fighting fire with fire, so to speak. That's actually just idiotic. <laughs> you can't be serious! <clears throat> if that's really the truth, what compelled you to do all those horrible things to us? All of them. Everywhere I looked, it was nothing but screams and cries for help! And I'm supposed to accept that the lodge I was in was one of the luckier ones? If you aren't worshipping devils, why? Why did you do all those things? Tio. Tio Tat. Uh, Tio Plato. I remember you well. An Altair Lodge test subject whose superb sensory receptivity was almost miraculous. Lucky me being able to meet such a wonderful test subject like this. <laughs> Suppose now's as good a time as ever. <coughs> <coughs> Boy oh. just dies. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, too much sulfur. Uh, uh, I suppose now is as good as time to ask as ever, since you're on that topic. Answer honestly. What was the goal of those inhuman rituals that took place ac all across the continent? Witness, you still haven't figured it out. Every ceremony serves a greater purpose of enhancing gnosis towards its prime form. The willpower and hidden potential that blossoms when one is brought to their breaking point. That kind of data was necessary if we wanted to perfect Gnosis. 
The reason we used children for our test was simply because it ensured more accurate data. You see, test subjects that have yet to reach puberty are in various aspects. <laughs> That's enough! Have you no shame? This cruelty is just... Never thought I'd meet someone more screwed up than we were. Joachim Gunther. Based on everything we've heard, you must have been the person responsible for organizing these experiments all over Zemuria, right? Oh, precisely. My box does a little wiggle. <laughs> However, my rank within the Order isn't something to brag about. <laughs> After all, we're all equals under our true god. To be honest, I don't give a crap about whatever your cult believes in, but you must have known about that place. One of the cult's most infamous lodges. Paradise. We read that name earlier. It was mentioned in the Black File. Oh, you know of its existence, then. That particular lodge was formed by the higher-ranking officials of the Order. Whenever an influential figure visited Paradise and exposed their ugliest weaknesses, they became easy to bend to the Order's will. Truth be told, that lodge deviated from my research principles, which I did not appreciate. So, it's true. Just like we thought. That answers another one of my questions. You lured Speaker Hartman to Paradise in order to coerce him into helping the cult, didn't you? Um... There's our connection. I only begun to truly understand what happens there after I pored over the results of every established lodge. After that aggravating operation six years ago, we lo nearly lost all of our pre precious lodges. Fuck. Fortunately, we stumbled across a perfect backer for our cause, Speaker Hartman. Conveniently enough, he came with a nice bonus of Revulsion Co. Everything's falling into place now. And you manipulated the Crossbell Guardian Force through the same connection, didn't you? He must have. <clears throat> How'd you even get him to take your crappy drug in the first place? Oh, that was simple. The CGF commander is Speaker Hartman's protege, so he effectively dances in the palm of my hand. All I had to do was pass Gnosis off as a new supplement developed at St. Ursula. How fast he believed me did come as a bit of a shock, though. <laughs> what a dumbass! How idiotic can one guy get? If I can segue back to Paradise, there was something about its demise that bugs me. Instead of being ambushed by that operation, it was decimated entirely by the society as it caused the Liberl incident last year. Oh dear. Just what were they thinking? Mm -hmm. Well, the destruction of Paradise only left me with one genuine regret. That being the loss of a young subject who demonstrated a remarkable level of adaptability. Oh, she was simply a marvel. The best character in all the <laughs> trails. Through harnessing notions, she could absorb other failed test subjects' personalities and manifest them in her own mind. Oh, if only we could have recovered all of that also valuable data, but alas. That's enough. We have what we came for. You can shut your disgusting mouth now. Sorry, Lloyd. I think we might have cut your interrogation short. It's fine. Thanks to your help, I was able to draw a lot of conclusions about the case. <laughs> Gunter, if I can segue this, gets away on his scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Later, losers. I'm prepared to arrest him now, without hesitation. High Priest Joachim Gunter of the DG Cult. According to Crossbell State Law, you're hereby under arrest on the charges of assault, incitement of a riot, unlawful occupation of property, misuse of drugs, and child abuse. Telling you is just a formality, but rest assured the search and arrest weren't have already been approved. The jig is up, buddy. Don't resist. Uh, how intriguing. I have an idea. Why don't we make a wager? Which of us will be the ones to accomplish their goal? <laughs> oh no, he McBurned! I'm Weissman! 
<laughs> His hair? And some sort of orbal staff? <laughs> this is my true hair color, if you were curious. As a result of repeated gnosis consumption, my body has grown somewhat unordinary. As a result, I haven't been able to get a wink of sleep for the past several years. Suits you, you sick son of a bitch. I actually really like that. So that explains how you were able to accomplish all of this while working full-time at the hospital. <laughs> Except that it doesn't. Shush. Maybe you're... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're a better detective than I gave you credit for. I mean, it at least explains how he could work a day job and then spend another eight hours every day bringing computers yeah. into his underground lair. This stuff here is one of the Oberon masterpieces created by the ancient alchemists of Crossvel. Its power even surpasses that of an average artifact. <laughs> And it allows me to command these to my every whim! <sighs> no way! Archaisms from the Middle Ages created with the power of alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe it's time for our finale to get underway. If things go as planned, today will be the greatest day the world has ever seen. Joke's on you, the chapter's not called Crossbell's Greatest Day. <laughs> The day where our desire to see Lady Kia become god and take her throne is finally realized! Keep dreaming! I will never lose to the likes of you! Like, I, I would love it if they mentioned something where it was just like, oh yeah, he can't sleep, but yeah, like, so fishing, fishing, is, to fishing is calm enough that it can yeah. like, burn his brain out a little bit. Yeah. I'll just pretend that's canonical. It makes sense. He's like, yes, it is relaxing, and then I can get some rest. There's something you should know. So I'm gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Notius doesn't just enhance the user's physical strengths and capabilities. It also heightens their sensory rece receptivity, unlocking humanity's true hidden potential. When used correctly, Anything can be achieved. Gunther. What? The, the hell is this? Our movement has been sealed, but how? This is just like Weissman's evil eye. That should be impossible. We need <laughs> Ren. Only Ren can save us from this. Oh, no. The two of you have had quite the adventure for the last two years, haven't you? The Liber Arc and... Well, if something else happened, I'm not sure what it would be, because <laughs> we didn't need to play it. <laughs> Was it? How does he know that? It's like he's looking into our memories. No way. Is he using them to recreate Evil Eye? Wow, that, uh, yeah, no... Boy, Diet Weissman keeps getting dieter and dieter. <laughs> <laughs> Weissman... From the looks of it, him and I would have gotten along quite well. How interesting. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be forced to use my trump card. But here we are. My body is somewhat unordinary. You can hear I've got fucked up damage in my lungs. Be nice to me. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. <laughs> That can't be, he's just a little guy. Allow me to enlighten you once more. What you see here is perfected gnosis. My life, he's a Resident Evil villain. Yeah. My life's work, you could say. If we call the drugs you found blue gnosis, then the only appropriate name for this is red gnosis, right? Does he mean to? He's gonna, the ones hit, that turn he's the gonna hit him with the same pill that turned Ernest into a monster! The red <laughs> pill! Oh my god! <laughs> god, the, the instant you started talking, I could just hey. like future vision hey. that entire joke and like, my, my <laughs> god! That hit me with the same level as an actual twist. <laughs> <laughs> he's not just a moderator on r slash atheism, he's an admin on r slash the red pill! 
<laughs> like you are. How else would I get my checks this color? <laughs> Don't. That's too big a dosage. And yeah, no, he just goes straight Resident <laughs> Evil. An overdose. Come on, we have to make him spit them out. No. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I see it. It's right there. It's an almighty D, origin of lost power. <laughs> oh, a, a real 3D model. Acknowledged. What? Did he? You can't be serious. Intense pressure. Joshua, do you think? Definitely. Oh this man, we're skipping that line. <laughs> ah, how refreshing. Oh, I feel it. I have reached the truth of everything. I can see the state of the world and the hidden designs behind it. Damn it, get a hold of yourself. You're spewing nothing but lies. Truth isn't something you can just seize just like that. <laughs> Only humanity is bound to such trivial ideals. I can see everything. The truth behind Lady Kia's disappearance. The truth behind your brother's murder. And the inevitable fate of Crossbell. Just sees Rufus sitting in a chair. Huh? Stop making shit up! There remains no reason to allow you insects to live any longer. Now, lament over your fragile existence and die before me. I'm just a big guy. <laughs> Is. <laughs> It is. It's, not, it's nothing like Ernest. Yep, that moron was just a little baby. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy compared to this monster. There's nothing we can do but stand our ground and fight. Yeah, get ready. Ellie, Tio, Randy, Estelle, Joshua. This is it. Our last stand. Don't give up no matter what. <gasps> Yes. Right. Weissman! <laughs> he broke through the floor. I, I... Man, when Chrono Trigger was like, yo, here's our final boss with two alien Geiger orbs next to it, every other JRPG <laughs> in history was like, oh man, oh, I gotta get that. me some of that. <laughs> he is really cool. ah! Shit. No! Oh, here it comes. Ooh! Where is she at? Ugh. Damn it! If this holds up! We've made it this far! There's no way we can let this end now! Not until she's. Until we can finally hold that girl in our arms and grant her the happiness she deserves! We're the same! You can't stop us. We're making it back to our little girl no matter what. Guy, please! Lend me your strength! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I may not be your brother, but I could still give you a hand. I can't even get any credit for calling this because it's so fucking obvious that this is what they were gonna do. Uh. We saw that back at the hospital. Potter Potter! Ren! Pitiful, but he probably deserves this. I'll put him out of his misery. Potter Potter! Blast him to smithereens. Double Buster Cannon. <laughs> Chat, she's a bright already. <laughs> We're free. Hell yeah, let's finish this. This is your last chance. You can't keep it up much longer, so hurry and finish this. And, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to help you in this one. I've done my part. Deuces. I didn't have an iota of dislike towards Ren at all until earlier in this game. And now yeah. I, I can't stand her. And it's not her fault. She's the no. same character. She's just being framed wrong.
Yeah. Oh, well, that went real easy. <laughs> you continue to surprise me. I hate to admit it, but you made me regain control. For that, you have <laughs> my thanks. You're Joachim. Why? <laughs> Please, spare me your pitying looks. Our goal may still remain unfulfilled, yet our ambitions are reached. She can do it. Someday, Lady Kia. <laughs> I I thought <gasps> you thought you'd give up after learning about paradise. Once you learned about paradise, Estelle, I was convinced you would. If I was the same person I was two years ago, I might have. But after meeting, like, wonderful people like you and Luve, I've become stronger than I once was. Wonderful, strong word to describe Luve, given our relationship, but we'll grant it for this scene. Also, I just noticed Joshua and Restell are levitating two inches off the <laughs> so... <laughs> no matter what things happened in the past, good or bad, they're irreplaceable moments that make you who you are. And with every bit of my heart, I can't help but love you. Oh. It might be better for you to return to your family here in Crossbell, but no matter how unreasonable this may sound, we want you to be a part of our family, Ren. After coming to Crossbell, we came to that conclusion all over again. <laughs> I... I don't understand. Kill them! <laughs> yeah. Pottermotter? Why are you moving? There's no way. So that's it. He's been worried about Ren this whole time. You are Potter Motter now. Hmm. Stop! B please! Oh. Caught you. Ah. Thank you, Potter Motter. Oh, even Joshua's got a little blushy, blushy oh, going weird. on. Uh, I only cry when Estelle kisses me. I only that sounds the... really I... sad, actually. <laughs> uh, I usually save this portrait for when I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's supposed to feel like a good-natured chuckle, but it's really funny to imagine the SSS coming up behind them and Lloyd just pointing. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking Nelson Muntz. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is beautiful. It is. I still don't feel emotions. <laughs> Didn't think I'd be shedding a tear today. Oh, thank goodness. Lloyd, Ellie, Tia, Randy, you're all okay. Girl, woof. Girl, woof. Oh, what are you doing here, Kia? Ha, <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a whole slew of visitors. All of the CGF troops within the city fainted only moments ago. So, naturally, we took her and left as quickly as we could. The four of you need to teach her some manners. She wouldn't stop throwing a tantrum until we agreed to bring her with us. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's no surprise to see why she meshes with you all so well. <laughs> you say that, but how very much like you to comply. Sergeant, they're married. Yeah. There's tension here. <laughs> Ooh, I've got a new... <laughs> I have new protagonists for my next friend fiction. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, you're here too, Deputy Commander Bales and Sergeant Major Seeker. Can you imagine, like, hanging out with someone and hitting it off with them, and at the end of the night, they close with that? Hmm. I've got a new protagonist for my friend's fiction. Gross. <laughs> Run. Great job, and now have we won? <gasps> the camera has arrived, everyone. Step aside, folks. Out of my way. da 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 Grace! Even your Wait, hair? Wait, her theme music. da 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 Here to be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd let a scoop this juicy escape my clutches? <laughs> Get real! Anyway, I'm going to need you all together nice and tightly. 
I think this whole situation calls for a group photo. Come on, people! No need to be shy! Say fuzzy you... pickles! <laughs> There's no stopping this lady, is there? We're gonna be in the picture. Only if she promises to show it while the credits roll. Hmm. Yeah, so give her give her your biggest smile, okay? Okay. Shall we join them, Zite? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you voice. want us out of here or what? I feel like we shouldn't steal your thunder. Oh, shut up. Get your butts in here. You too, little missy. Well, if you insist. Only if I get to be front and center. <laughs> this is an utter waste of time. Surely it's fine to indulge in times like this, no? Wait, Deputy Commander Bells and Chief Sergei can get in on the sides. Okay, fine. Hmm, I do wonder how this photo will turn out. I needed a line of dialogue, too. Hmm. Here we go, guys. Put on your best smile. Say cheese. Say oh, God. red You meat. didn't even... <laughs> they didn't even, like, uh, I don't know, do, like, an anime picture of everybody. There is Chairperson who makes two on who of representatives in says NG Bell Autonomy and brings autonomies to Towie Legislature together. No space. It is a working politician of touring statute. As for leaders of assembly members of the Empire sect, it becomes the support of Rabarshi. <laughs> that is the mafia in local organization. Snob who thinks owns right RCEP priority. Autonomy state government is approved anti and chairp not oh my god <laughs> chairp knob ursons two representatives thinks own portly assembly of rubarche that snab who thinks my own sat government repri Resentatives, DS, contrary to him, Bama, aristocratic high, and arrogant Ving, both power of th is a working politician. <laughs> Does Bruno Mars is gay? Does Bruno Mars is gay? The story come out! The rumor come out! Oh, no! <laughs> I like how the text that it shows in the main article is also the exact same text that is just repeated everywhere yeah. <laughs> on this article. More a profitable poly of- Hello. D. De Croix. <laughs> Autonomy state government is approved, approved by mayor and chairperson. Just yeah. keep going. Who hair person who makes to one of representatives in Crossing Bell or Autonomy State and brings Autono, a working politician of Toweying st sure as for loaders of Assembly Man members of the Empire sect. <laughs> I love, uh, if you look at the uh, graph showing the uh, split of the votes, uh, the leaders of Assem were really waged out by Christocratic cum. <laughs> <laughs> Is Kia scrappy? Oh, here we go. Oh. Aww. Aww. See, See you later! later. We've turned up the saturation to unbelievable levels.